I got a whole bunch of rows of teeth to chew you with. Dinah, Dinah, Dinah. Oh, now, wait a minute. I did have a chubby kid on a raft earlier today. It's okay, though. I've been swimming a lot lately. Mmm, yummy, mmm. <laughs> Dump. I, um, I like you, Brandy. I like you, too. That's weird. You're on a weird date. Peter, what are you doing here? Pulling the popcorn bucket trick on myself? I still can't find it. This is humbling. What the hell? Ay, Dios mío. Oh, great course, it's one of them. What? Stewie, adults are allowed to say racist things because of traffic. Oh, my poor 98 Toyota Corolla. We all have 98 Toyota Corolla. Que? I allowed to say racist things because of traffic. Marvel's The Offenders. Good morning, you see. I gathered y'all together, Kevin Spacey, Roman Polanski, <laughs> Woody Allen, Steven Seagal, Matt Lauer with the pudding pop. Brett Ratner, and you, lesser-known offender, James Toback. Don't forget me! Harvey Shower! I, I, is Matt Damon coming? No, but he knows about all of us. He's very aware of what's going on here, you see. This isn't even how I really talk. This is. This is how I talk. The accent is nothing more than an affectation. A coat of armor to get me through the day. Just an image I cultivated so I could feel special. What do you mean by that? Well, this is my real voice. I don't hear a difference. How about now? You freaking hear that? What about now? Sound different? Giggity? What about now? Coming up now, this voice. Ahoy, it's me. And I'm a gay alien. I'm sorry, that just all sounds like the same person. Well, we started the dialogue. You screamed black porn at the top of your lungs in front of women and children. <laughs> what can you tell me about this one? Oh, that's just an old tank I use for those commercials where I declare war on high prices. Now, about that sedan. <laughs> Hang on there, Slick. Now I see your game. We come in here wanting a practical car, but then you dangle this tank in front of me and expect me to walk away. Now, I may be an idiot, but there is one thing I am not, sir, and that, sir, is an idiot. Now, I demand you tell me more about this tank. Peter, you can't be serious. This is a 30-ton war machine. I'm still not sure. Did I mention the tank is a tank? Sold. Ooh, let me have some of that Cool Whip. What'd you say? You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. You mean Cool Whip? Yeah, Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying it. Cool Whip. You put Cool Whip on pie. Pie tastes better with Cool Whip. Say Whip. Whip. Now say Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're eating hair! <laughs> ah! What the hell was that? Ah! Oh my god! Lois, don't get alarmed, but I think I might be Jesus. I'm Jesus. Peter, that's a static shock. Your pajamas created a charge of electricity when you dragged your feet across the carpet, and when you touched Chris, you passed it on. Kneel before Christ! Ah! <laughs> Dad! I am not your dad. I am Electric Man. Well, there once were two cowboys all alone out on the trail. And they discovered they could sleep with another male. Now they're having butt sex. Cowboy butt sex. Sodomy. Come on, everybody! Sadame! Sadame! Sadame. You and Carter are meant for each other. You go together. But like the couple from the movie Grease. Mr. Rama Lama Lama Kadinga Da Dinga Dong, do you take Miss Shubop Shawada Wada Yippity Boom De Boom to be your wife? I do. And Miss Shubop Shawada Wada Yippity Boom De Boom, do you take Mr. Rama Lama Lama Kadinga Da Dinga Dong to be your husband? I do. If anyone objects to this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. <gasps> Mr. Chang Chang Changity Chang Shabop! Hello? Mom, where are you guys? Who is this? It's Meg. Where is everyone? 
Well, this can't be Meg. She's with us here at the pier. Who is that? Someone who says she's Meg. Give me that. Okay, Meg, if this is you, what's your birthday? March 23rd. I have no idea if that's correct. Good day, sir. Sorry about that, everyone. Now let's get back to the fair and enjoy our March 23rd. Before the night is over, one of you will betray me. This is some bull crap. I'm the only one who's the color we're supposed to be in this thing. A local Yankee fan's dream comes true when he's diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease. But first... Hey, the TV went out. Huh. huh. Oh my god, the Wi-Fi is out! Hey, do you know where I could find any books about, um, the Pancrease? Meg Griffin was an honest man, a kind man. A man who knew how... Oh my stars! I have nothing. I kinda feel bad, there's nobody here. I know, we're not even here. This was the right... Uh, Dad, you're reading the paper upside down. Wrong again, idiot. I can't find a job anywhere. A lot of people seem to be turned off by my dishonorable discharge. What, from the army? No, it's a euphemism. Oh, yucky. <gasps> Bo Peep! What, what's going on here? Um, you've got a friend in me? Leave me alone, you guys. Relax. We're taking the day off from bullying. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Very funny. Who put the Ark of the Covenant in here? <laughs> <laughs> Meg is so stupid. She couldn't handle the glory of God's love. There's a song we call Mommy and Daddy's Room, and we think it's one you can all relate to. When everybody's gone to sleep and you've said goodnight, moon, there's plenty of noise still coming from Mommy and Daddy's room. Oh, Daddy says please, Mommy says no. Daddy says come on, Mommy says whoa. Daddy goes uh, Mommy goes ow. Daddy says I'm done, Mommy goes wow. Daddy rolls over and falls asleep, Mommy drinks wine in the dark. I ain't done nothing to antagonize nobody. What a droid can't walk down the desert no more. I got rights too. Who's there? <laughs> Thank you, we're the Cantina Band. If you have any requests, shout them out. Play that same song. All right, same song. Here we go. Did you hear something? Probably just another drill. You know that last drill we had? I was about to finally bone my girlfriend, and then we heard that there was this drill, and she told me there was no way. Oh, Vince Vaughn's on the cover of Entertainment Weekly. Here's my summary of every Vince Vaughn movie. Oh, I'm incapable of loving another person. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. The end. I don't even want to look at his face. Which calls to mind the question once again, why, with all the two armed youngsters waiting in the minor leagues, does this team stick with an armless second baseman? And he hasn't had a hit in ever. In ever, Jerry. I'd have to give it to Janet Reno, because I've always had this business plan for home delivery of prescription medications, and that, that seems like it's more her market. This is stupid. I want to talk about vaginas! Yeah. Oh, and you got a little tear on your pants there. Oh, that's on purpose, though, isn't it? Uh, uh, you're a bad boy. You're a bad boy. Society wants your pants to be intact, but you're just not going to listen, are you? Look at this one. A desk of Cheez-Its. A desk? Where, where are you getting these units of measurement from? Mary? <laughs> that is still funny. Okay, you stay right here, big funny gal. I'll be right back with a hammock of cake. Meg! Meg! Meg, 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 Meg! 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 Uh oh. Pardon me? Guys, you gotta let us out of here. The real criminal's getting away. Yeah, the bastard's making a break for it, just like South America. Hmm, a lot of black guys over there. Hey man, where you going? Oh, I'll be back, I'm coming back, I'll be right back. You can't just pretend to be something you're not. Yes, just ask Edward Scissorhands. 
Okay now, I'm an excellent night nurse, so you two get some much-deserved sleep and don't worry about a thing. I will take such loving care of this wonderful little gift, and when you wake up well-rested, your precious little baby will be smiling as bright as the sun. It's dead. Ugh, you look like a nude Larry David. No, no, no! Oh my god, Super Mario! What are you doing here? I jump on a turtle, Stewie. It's not an exciting life, but it's my life. You know, we Jews got it right working with our hands. Yeah, let those eggheads in Rome do the brain work. We Jews will do the brawn work. Hey, Italians, put a book down once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right, yeah, right. Put a book down, yeah. put a book down. I know you're gonna have fun and make lots of good friends. Yeah, and not fake friends, like guys whose wives are friends. <laughs> you have to get me that recipe. Oh my god, the cookbook? It's right in the kitchen. Sports? No. Movies? No. Hiking? No. Cars? No. Porn? porn? Yes! Gay porn? No. After all, I've certainly done worse. I replaced Peter's I Can't Believe It's Not Butter with real butter. But, what? But, I, I can't, I can't believe you. I don't know, Doctor. Looking back, I think it may have been real butter. Your husband murdered three children. Uh, what's CSI babies? What's this? They can't solve this crime. They're just frightened babies. They don't even know it's a crime. They just know their parents aren't there. They're scared. Now I'm scared. Turn this off! Ah, oh, this is not what I want! Ah, oh, I'm gonna go hide in my couch fort! Is CSI babies over yet? Just because they're my kids and they all look like me doesn't mean we have anything in common. <laughs> I've never felt proud of any of my children until now. Maybe it's time to ease off that Tinder, huh? No! No, ah, damn it! <gasps> Grayscale! Hey, listen, Quagmire, you're our friend. All right, we hate to see you like this. I don't have any friends, only sex people from the phone. Hey, come on, Quagmire, let's go for a walk, huh? Get some fresh air? Oh, for God's sake. You're gonna have a baby in your butt, man. Can't leave. Heather within five miles is coming. Are you Glenn within five miles? I can take my glass eye out if you want to try something different. I got a good feeling about her. Maybe she's the one. Let's do it in the garage. It's kind of cold, but we can do sweaters on, pants off. Look, he left his phone. I'm just going to nudge it with my knee into this empty pizza box. And it's stuck to my knee. I'm joy. I'm sadness. I'm anger. I'm disgust. I'm poo. Oh, I need to use the bathroom. Yay, I win. Oh, my God. I still can't believe they wore each other's underwear. Like, can you imagine? I know, right? Like, icky times a thousand. Hey, this is crazy. But what if we wore each other's underwear just for a joke? What? No, that's a terrible idea. Nah, just, just joking. He's so stupid! Can I be done now? What is a birthday? I think it can best be understood by breaking down the word birth and day. Where the hell is everyone? Ah, okay, now it makes sense. I'm officially canceling Christmas in Quahog. Canceling Christmas? Now we'll never know what's behind the last box on the M&M advent calendar. It's M&M's, Peter. They've all been M&M's. You don't know that! You ate my whole family, you fat bastard. One more. Day. We now return to Christopher Nolan's tenet. I'm already completely lost. Hello, Padre. Funny I'd find you here in the church bathroom. This is the confessional. Well, then I have something to confess. <laughs> oh, mother of mercy, how much mutton do you eat? A lot of people say pea stream is weak, but the truth is, pea stream has never been stronger or more vital. When I chose to bifurcate Peace Stream, people said it was going to be a mess. And sure, there's been times when Peace Stream's been in the red. It hurt. But this isn't the time for Peace Stream to be yellow. It's clear now. I am staying. Was that just Yeah, a... it was just a... Joe, thank God. 
We need to get to the Weekapog Inn fast. Can you drive us? No, no. I'm standing here for some reason doing the weather in a giant black man's body. What kind of a Friday is this? Freaky! Back to you, Tom. This just in. All kids report to the blue van in the park at 3 p.m. for free popsicles. What the hell? Am I doing them a deal? Oh, Lord. This time I'm going to need a chainsaw. Don't do it. Don't do what I was going to do. No. No. You've perverted something beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Ho oh, ho! It's funny because different voices are coming out of different mouths! Ha ha! Alright, alright, uh, just, just calm down, okay? Now you're tone policing us! That makes me uncomfortable! Anything that makes me uncomfortable in 2017 should be illegal! You know what? Fuck you! <gasps> I'm not a racist, alright? I just told a bad joke. There's a huge difference, but nobody on the internet ever takes the time to ask themselves, is this worth freaking out over? Or, are there bigger problems in the world than this tweet? Well, I assure you, there are. And just for the record, I love black people. I watch tons of black porn. So what do you all want from me? Huh? Do you want to ruin my life? Then congratulations, you did it! Everybody hates me. I can't leave the house without getting harassed. No one will hire me. That was a problem before. I can't turn on my phone without strangers telling me to kill myself, or that they're gonna kill my family. Leave me alone! I'm the self-righteous liberal douchebag, not you! I've kissed a transsexual before! How many of you can say that? Where's my fucking medal? I am so far left, I'm spinning in circles, you shitheads! Instead of killing myself, I should kill all of you! It's just so sad that young people can't pay attention to something longer than six sec- <laughs> Oh my god! Whoa. Whoa! What the hell, you guys? I was talking! You know, there's more to life than just what's on your phone. Wrong, idiot. Anyone know how to turn these things off? Aw, oh, now I want to be on that side. Well, that didn't work. Now to take a slidey toilet seat soaking wet brudette. came at the perfect time. That was beautiful. If you think the birth is beautiful, you should see the conception. This is O.J. Simpson's Heisman Trophy. Are you crazy? You shouldn't claim to have that. Relax, it's fine. What are the chances he tries to steal it back twice? Hey, did he sign your head? No, he signed my head. Oh, God, how does it look wet and dry at the same time? You look like if Shelly Duvall ate Shelly Duvall. Peter, you have to get a haircut. Okay, come on, guys, it's just hair. I'm still the same old Peter. Nothing's gonna change. Oh, I'm late. The hair doesn't know yet that he doesn't need a brief thing. I'll give you $10 for your L4 vertebrae. So, uh... I guess this means, Peter, you're our Joe now, and Joe, you're our Peter. That means you gotta do anything for ten bucks. Okay. I have a request. Yay! Joe's chin! What will you be having, sir? Yes, I'll have what I had last time, pheasant on the glass. Don't you mean pheasant under glass? Nope. <coughs> yeah, now turn around and lay an egg on the glass. Ah, oh, yeah. I defy you to tell me exactly what's wrong with this. We'll be right back after this message from the Indian Census Bureau. Too many people! Stop with the people! This is obviously Chris in a costume. Huh, well that can't be possible, because here comes Chris walking in the door right now. Hey, 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 here comes Chris Griffin, a rudely toot toot. Yeah, okay, whatever, Meg. Meg, you must be talking about me, a rudely toot toot. <laughs> Oh, 
Do they all say a rudely toot toot? A lot of them, yeah. It's a medieval sci-fi universe adaptable to TV, movies, toys, games, and mobile apps. I threw together a 2,000-page treatment last night, and I just figured the hell with it. Why not build a scale model and record voices for all the characters? Watch. Well met, stranger. Arashkadika Vaplitsho. That's a Nebulon mage. He speaks Gabi, this dumb language I wrote. It's then illegal? What? Hello? Peanut, what the hell are you doing? First, it's not Peter. When I am in this outfit, I am Maxi Petty, the fiercest enemy of heavy flow. Peter, you look... Okay, that's clever. But, Peter, you look ridiculous. I've been hearing that ringing all week. I just thought I was losing my mind from lunatic screaming in my face. Your mother's a whore! I told you that in confidence, Gary. Pete! Stewie, help Mommy out and just open the latch, huh? Stewie. Stewie? 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 Stew. 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 Stewie? 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 Sweetie? Stewie? 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 Stew? Stew what? But you said you'd be my lawyer. Did I, Peter? Think back. I really want you to think back really quickly. Peter, we could have had fun, but I died. Yes, I, I, I don't want to think anymore for a while. Oh, I moved for a five-minute recess. <laughs> Lois? My clothes were in the wash, so I borrowed your clothes in Peter's bra. Boy, my morning jog was murder. Beer is courage. The courage to moon people from a not-moving car. Beer helps you achieve new heights, atop the shoulders of unwilling strangers in a chicken fight. Beer makes you grab the brass ring, or the taser of a casino security guy. But if you won't listen to me, listen to Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. I liked beer. Still like beer. Did you guys know you have a pool in the backyard? It was just overgrown with grass and weeds. Cannonball! There's no water in it, though. Oh, no, no. Phew. That was a close one. <laughs> oh my god, Meg's gonna commit a robbery. What am I gonna do? Chris is in distress. Herbert is in distress? Oh, diddle. Hey, Stewie, I wanted to apologize for last night and also maybe charge my phone. What the hell? Hello, Brian. If you're watching this, it means you couldn't find your phone charger and came in to use mine. Man, am I that predictable? Yes. Yes, you are. Anyway, I can see that my disease has become a burden to the people I love. So I've decided to take a bus to Vermont to have physician-assisted suicide. What? Oh, also, you can have my penis enlarging machine. It's in my closet. Ah, did you look? <laughs> will, you, will you text me if you looked? I don't know what happened. I told the doctor C cups. I told him something else. Hey, Brian, check it out. Hot or not dot com. Ten. One. Ten. One. Five. Five. She's couples counseling. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone. Wives, huh? He gets it. So the new couple pairings are as follows. Cleveland and Lois. Oh, cool. My FICO score just went up 100 points. Quagmire and Bonnie. Joe and Donna. And Peter and Kimmy. Yay! I win couples counseling! What is it, Brian? Oh my god! Hey, could you close the gate? Couple of calves got loose. Ha <laughs> pow! Brian, you're all sinewy. Your whole body looks like Paul McCartney's neck. Thanks. That's not a compliment. You look terrible. What does your girlfriend think of this? I dumped her. She couldn't keep up with me. Hey, grab me some more band-aids, will ya? I got like eight more nipples to cover up before my run. The only thing we really sell here are these little packets of weird vitamins that vaguely suggest they help you in the bedroom. Performance and stamina for men. I know what that means. Peter, enough. Come to bed. Uh-uh, Lois. The packet says I gotta play till I'm raw. Mr. Peter, Mr. Joe, Mr. Bonnie. She doesn't know what Mr. means. Mr. Mort, Mr. Muriel. Mayor West, Mr. Well, he could be. It all depends on what his astrological sign is. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Check it out. I'm a robot from outer space. Hang on, I'm coming down. 
Go, go, gadget skis! Oh, why didn't I think of this before? I should just check the Find the Jew app on my phone. Huh, there's just two big clusters on each side of the country. Oh, no, look, there's one down south. Ah, oh, they got him. Stupid right-wing dick. Yeah, you, hey, you, you want to sign my book? Yeah, you can sign my ass book. Is what would have been awesome to say. Ha! Look at John Krasinski look at the camera. He can't believe this guy. Oh, but there were going to be more hijinks in Scranton. <laughs> Scranton. <laughs> Dunder Mifflin. <laughs> funny words are funny. Look, what the hell are you so hostile for? Because you brainwashed our dog. Hey, listen, sister. I just... I'm sorry. In one of the bloodiest battles of the war, Carter nearly lost his life in a battle with the infamous walrus-backed Nanook Wafa. Mama, may I have cookie? No, Diabito. Roll back to kitchen. Oh. And your, your sirens, sirens sound like, like gay, gay guys, guys having, having a threesome. A threesome. And I will buy you laudanum and rhubarb cakes. Oh, look, there's Mort's house. Oh, but I hope he doesn't have some gross Jewish candy like like rugelach or, or hamantaschen or or, or ha -ha. Excuse me, ma'am. No porn at the bar. Oh, it's okay. I'm transgender. Oh, I I had no idea. Do whatever you want all the time. Your husband is in a coma. Oh my god! And to deliver the news to your teenage children, I've hired an EDM DJ. Your father's in a coma, 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 coma. He's gonna die. This is awesome! Yeah, I saw this guy playing in an H&M and I got his number. That green leafy thing? That's a Casey. That thing flying through the sky there? Casey. You can't name everything Casey. All right, fine, Eve. What's the word for that thing flying through the sky? I don't know. A bird. Oh, bird? Bird is the word? Bird? Bird. Bird? Bird. Bird is the word. Peter, cut it out. If we want to get arrested, the best way to do it is to get caught on the Ring app stealing people's packages. I forgot to steal the package. We now return to Jesse Eisenberg and Emma Stone in Opposite Eye Sizes. Sorry, guys. All I have left are one pair of extra large contact lenses and one pair of extra small. Uh, we'll, we'll be, be fine. fine. This calls for champagne. Pop. Glug, glug, glug. Bottoms up. Go with it. Ugh, Corbell. It's not Corbell, it's... Go with it. Yes, I had some left over from Denise's wedding. Who's Denise? Go with it. Fine. How is Denise? Did she have the abortion? Abortion? Go with it. Uh, no, her alarm didn't go off, so she missed it. So, Brian, is this your first orgy? Not going with it. If we're not going to Koha Jail, where are we going? The only place where there's room for the weekend. The state penitentiary. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? Wacky mugshot montage! Hey, uh, are my friends coming? No, they're all calling lawyers. You used your one call on this party photo booth guy. Eh, we'll see who has more fun this weekend. Hi, chair. That's still a chair. Chair. Say something other than chair. What if I can't think of anything? You can pass. How do I pass? Just say it. Say what? Say pass. Chair. <laughs> I think you've had enough, Peter. Ah, you don't know. You get away! I I know my body better than you. Hey, good looking. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> oh.
Oh, we should totally phone Gaspard. Oh, he would love to hear this tale. Oh, but I only have 15 Fenix on my phone card. Happy Gerbits Day. Oh. 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 For I am not who you think I am. I am not Little Mary Sunflower, daughter of Bradley and Teresa Sunflower. No, I'm not. I'm Desmond Sunflower. Desmond Sunflower. Go for a ride in the car? <gasps> Come on! Well, I'm off to buy imaginary groceries. So what do you say we get this casting session started, huh? Let's do it! Yeah! All right! Oh, yeah. And the Oscar goes to... A red guy! Who's the douchebag who keeps dying? I'm not a douchebag. I'm new. Look, if you're no good, why don't you just go hide till the end? All right, I'll go crouch behind the, uh... Is this a crouch button? Ah, oh, who dropped a grenade? Idiot! Oh, you're not playing! Moron! You suck! Oh, just thinking about it makes me all giddy. Like a group of women ordering dessert. And then we have a chocolate chocolate cake that's infused with chocolate, served with chocolate ice cream and a molten chocolate topping. We'll have one of those with four spoons. More like four of those with one spoon for me. <laughs> Big corporations never tell the truth. Look at the Kleenex industry. Well, we had another good quarter. I guess a lot of people are sneezing out there. Jerry, I'm going to let you in on something, and it can't leave this room. Our research shows the primary use of our product is sperm. What? Yeah, and brace yourself for this. The second biggest use is women crying about nonsense. But I thought sneezing Jerry, was... Jerry, Jerry, it's sperm and nonsense. Damn it, there's no way across. Spidey, can you swing us across with your web? No, I can't swing you across. And it's Spider-Man, not Spidey. I'm pretty sure I've heard people call you Spidey. Yeah, close friends. What's your name? Petey. Hey, Petey, do stuff for me. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, you don't like it. And you're a fat nobody and I'm Spider-Man, so how do you think I feel? Case for work. Mort, do you take Rachel to be your wife in sickness and in sickness? I do. And Rachel, do you take Mort to be your husband in bad times and bad? I do too. Hey, look, a pair of working legs. Dibs on these. What? Oh, come on, Quagmire! Joe, I said dibs. No, no, you're right. You said dibs. This is America, Lois. Men have always run things, and there have never been any problems whatsoever. And don't say the economy, or Iraq, or income inequality, or racism, or Brett Kavanaugh, or air pollution, or Vietnam, or slavery, or Watergate, or capitalism, or Me Too, or homelessness, or police brutality, or homophobia, or Monica Lewinsky, or school shootings, or Native American genocide, or Fox News, or Tim Allen, or climate change. Uh, you make a good point. Why is this story all about mom this week? What, are we giving Seth's voice a rest? And we don't know how to end these shows anymore, so we just do nonsense. You know, you're not supposed to be in the house, Brian. You're more of an outdoor dog. What the hell does that mean? This is so humiliating. For God's sake, I went to Brown and he's got me out here tied to a post like some kind <laughs> Ow! Ow! Everybody! Everybody! Where am I gonna go next? What interesting adventure? You don't know. I'll have my award now. I lied. I was a princess the whole time. You bitch, I'm gonna punch you in the face. I got you now, mouth! Yeah? Well, up your ass, cat. Quickly, 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 run fast, run fast, quickly! I like to eat people from other planets, especially y'all. I like to eat you with my little mouth, too. Oh, now y'all get back up inside me, little mouth. I wants to play, too. Get back inside. I'll get you when we's eating them. Zoop. I've got so many problems. Hey, nothing that can't be fixed by staring at a lake. High school is such a serious thing. Mm -hmm. 
these problems matter. If he says one more cool thing, he's in. I wear long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts under long sleeve shirts. Wow. Oh my god, you're oh my awesome. God, you're so, so cool. Awesome. Wipe your shoes on the mat when you come in the house. Someone just clean that floor. Woohoo! Say what, what? Ha ha! Hey guys, let's go swim in the old quarry. Yeah! Wait a minute, kids. Don't go swimming in that quarry. It's dangerous. Wow. Thanks, GI Jose. Oh. Sometimes you chase helicopters. That's kind of lame. Yeah. Um, besides, I do that to protect the house. Helicopters are going to hurt us, and I make them stay away. You know what? Didn't look at it that way. Thank you for protecting us. Oh my god, a baby! Are you okay? And my day was even worse. I got pegged by a new form of spitball. Oh, the Mr. Sulu show. Sulu, he's star of the show. All the guys just along for the ride. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cause I told you. Mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly what just happened. Well, it was great seeing you, Glenn. I've decided I want to open a sushi restaurant. What do you know about sushi? I don't care about the sushi. I just want to yell at customers when they walk in the door. Irashaimase! Hajime maste! Here comes a black guy! You're like a black woman in hindsight. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cause I told you. Mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly what just happened. What do you plan to do if you win the lottery? And how about you, every Persian guy in the world? White BMW! All right, boys, go get him over there. And now, please welcome Mr. Bruce Jenner. <laughs> I just wanted to remind you fellas what you're all fighting for. You sure it was such a good idea to cash that lottery check? It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah! Right. yeah money! Woo Woo and as for you, Anna, you're dreadful and so is the program. I didn't write it. Yeah, but you know the people who do. That Alan Ball, you know him, right? Yeah. How come everything he writes is so dreary? I don't know. Tell him to cheer up. Things ain't so bad. This is a weird episode. Hey, you can't park here! Excuse me? Having been officially challenged by her natural enemy, the black female prepares for combat by taking off her many rings. Meanwhile, the Italian male looks around to make sure the other Italian males are indeed seeing what he is seeing. Sensing the impending battle, a flock of Jews flies quickly away, as avoiding confrontation is their best chance for survival. Everyone knows you always get bad news in the middle of the night. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Huh? What? You have cancer! What? Yeah, I thought you should know. Okay, go back to sleep. Wait, I have questions. <sighs> it's very late. I'll tell you one thing, when I get home, I'm gonna sleep like a log. Hey, I'm gonna plug in the nightlight if you don't mind. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to not do that. Oh no, they're shooting at us! Good thing bad guys are such terrible shots. Man, these guys are elusive. <gasps> Murdered? Who in the world would want to kill a camper? Don't look at me, I'm just here to drop off my son. Justin, Justin, that does not work for me. Like those anal retentive bandits who robbed Quahog Bank last year. 
All right, hands in the air, vertically. Both arms should be parallel to each other. You, fill this bag with clean, unmarked bills. But first, fix that notepad so it's at a right angle with the corner of your desk. And tap that pile of receipts against a flat surface so they're not sticking out haphazardly. You know what? Forget about the money. Everybody grab a broom. We are straightening this place up. I'll be like an Italian mom without bad kids. Hey, 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 what the hell is all the commotion in here? We're not doing anything. You getting fresh with me? I'm tired of bailing both of you out of prison. We're both in college, and we consistently make the dean's list. I'm telling your father! Good. I finally got something better to do with my Saturdays than sit at the mall and watch Japanese girls laugh at normal conversation. So, I drove to work this morning? <laughs> and I had to stop for coffee? <laughs> so there's a Starbucks near my house? <laughs> You people are a circus. Man, I love street fairs. They got rides, games, and ethnic food cooked horribly by white Americans. Tacos! Hot tacos here! Oh, are those tacos? You better believe they're tacos! I love tacos, especially on a corn tortilla. Oh, I love tacos on a corn tortilla! Oh, damn it! Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm death! Sorry, dude. Super death. You're done. So, what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a death dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. Each year, the environment covers more than 40% of the Earth. Every animal on Earth lays eggs. Wait, wait. Don't go in there. He's doing his podcast. Oh, that's cute. Now that I like. What do you think about this, you old bag? Oh, no. This is the treasure, Bri. You want a Vicodin? Isn't it dangerous to do drugs 10,000 feet in the air? Yeah, exactly. What the hell? Never gonna die! Your friend is like the coolest guy I've ever had up here. Ah, you gay ball! Well, keep that freakish thing under wraps. I don't want it cramping my style while I'm macking on toddlers. See you around, bitch. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Anonymous. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Peter, Peter, you hear that? I'm matching the sound. Is what I'm doing helping? Hi, Forrest. I know you just got back from Vietnam and you love me, but I'm gonna go run a train with this group of Black Panthers I just met. Okay, Jenny. Hi, Forrest. I know you came all this way to New York to visit me, but I'm gonna go do blow and have sex with a bunch of stockbrokers. Okay, Jenny. Hi, Forrest. Now that I have the most contagious and incurable disease known to mankind, I'll finally have pity sex with you. Okay, Jenny. You been drinking tonight, sir? Uh, no, officer. I just had a glass of dinner with my wine. Okay, I'm gonna need you to step out of the car and walk a straight line, please. Stewie, do you even know what a menstrual cycle is? Uh, yeah, Brian. It's a good way to get around town, that's what it is. We now return to B-E-T-E-T. -E -T. Don't you need to phone home? Nah. I hey, you guys noticed how many Asians there are at this school? I mean, how'd they all get so smart? I don't know. Guess that's just the way God made them. Gentlemen, I give you the Asian. Ooh. Ooh. Compact, hairless, and fiercely intelligent. The penises, while tiny, are extremely efficient. We're projecting 10 billion within five years. Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. Do they eat just, like, regular food? <laughs> no, 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 the opposite. Hey, I'm just glad you enjoyed it. And I'm sure Buzz Lightyear would have enjoyed it if you had bothered to show up. Hey, how would you like to go to my apartment and beyond? Which of these leading brands of canned soup has less than 100 grams of sodium? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, keep going. Not that one. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, not that one either. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, nope, not that one. Look, this isn't even for me. It's for my homosexual lover. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, the Bible's pretty clear about that. Okay, you're good to go. I don't even know why it's called Nepal. The mountains look like nipples. Well, you can't just call a country nipples. What about 
Nepal. Ooh, I like that. Ha, shocker. God gets it right. Ew! I'm sorry, Brian. I I've got to go. Damn it, you guys. Her dad's really rich. Balzac. <laughs> Homo erectus. <laughs> Spotted dick. <laughs> the results have been disappointing. I always thought Spotted Dick had something to do with Morgan Freeman. Hey, Meg, you want to huck some water balloons at nerds? Sure. What the hell? <laughs> hey, I just realized we're the rock. What do you mean? Together, you and I make one biracial wrestler. <gasps> do you have any folding chairs? No. That's all right. I'll use this. Folding chair! Ow! Stewie, you get down from there this instant. Munch me, bitch. Right now, Stewie, or you're in timeout. How many gray pubes you plucked today, you old bag? Uh-oh, there she is. Oh, no. Peter, quick, change pigments. <laughs> that was close. I love my wife, Donna. I wish she and Peter's wife got along better. That's why we're on this airplane. I'm Cleveland. Whose ringtone is Barracuda? Oh, God, that's Frumpy Ann. Frumpy Ann does everything. Look, I, I gotta get this call, but don't do anything stupid. Yo, girl, how you living? Oh. Peter's always been special. In high school, he didn't play sports, but he did wear a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Peter, I love your chin, but I gotta ask, what's it like going through life with a scrotum so close to your mouth? You know what? Hold on, I'll just ask your teenage daughter. <laughs> You know, Peter's challenging the stereotype of Irish guys being fat, drunk, and stupid by throwing a little gay in there, too. <laughs> oh, nice. Homophobia. Peter's got a small penis, but hey, nothing grows in the shade. This just in is what Peter had to say to his wife on their wedding night so she knew it was actually happening. Peter, you're loud, you can't hold down a job, and you got high blood pressure. You could be a black guy if your dingaling wasn't so damn tiny. <laughs> I asked Peter what he got on his SATs. He said mayonnaise. Peter moves his lips while he's reading, because he's trying to eat the book. Roasted! Hi, Dad! We're all your children. We came from your semen. Semen. <laughs> semen. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, sorry. Wrong house. Look, Eddie's at the wrong house. Ha-ha! 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 Chris, could you please get Hannah a thank you basket and schedule her next appointment? I'd like to see her again in two weeks. Of course. Mr. Quagmire can fit in you at 3 o'clock a week from Thursday. That works. And you know to fast the night before? Yep. And would you like to leave your panties in the fishbowl for a chance to win a free lunch? Good luck! When are you going to do that drawing, anyway? Oh, there's no drawing. I just like smelling the bowl. You know, you're doing a great job, Chris. Why don't you jerk the rest of the day off? I always have trouble at the airport. Sir, you're not allowed to be on the carousel. Well, and maybe you shouldn't have named it such a fun word. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, I'm not yours. He's stealing me! I'm being stolen! Excuse me? I think you've got mine? Oh, that's a good idea. I'm hurt pretty bad. Like that time I was running with scissors. <laughs> you run like a girl. I'm looking for a Peter Ferrari. Obviously, that's me. Yes. There's a soiled pair of Ferrari underwear in the men's room trash. Who took them out of the sink? They were soaking! Sir, I can't park this. There's diarrhea all over the front seat of your PT Cruiser. Working on, Stewie. My plan to be rid of Lois once and for all. 
It's a Terminator robot, living tissue over metal endoskeleton. But don't get too worked up. The technology is still years off, even for me. I've got a lot of kinks to work out. What's this other drawing? Oh, that's just a lame hand turkey I drew. I was created by Nathan M. Cause there's two other Nathans in the class! Hi, so I told you about 10 minutes ago, something's wrong with 14? Yep, somebody's working on it, sir. Dad, what's going on? This sucks! I wanna go home! Please, my wife's out of town. I... I don't know what else to do. You have to help me! You have to help me right now! Should just be another couple minutes. Dad! No, I didn't. Dad! <sighs> I loathe the little wheeze at the crest of every breath you take. Yikes. I hate the one story you tell at every cocktail party about almost meeting John Carey. That's a good story. You didn't even meet him. Almost. Your eyeglass lenses have been smudged for 19 years. Ah, crap. Everyone hates it when you see fireworks and you announce, this is a finale. Please stop. Pink Floyd is multiple guys. Fred. Hi, I've got my gun here. I'd like to rent a stall, please. Sure. You need a tutorial before you start? <laughs> yeah, it's a gun range. I think I got it. Wait, I think I did it wrong. So how was the gun range, Dad? Did you shoot up that silhouette real good? <laughs> that is so my dad. Come on, let me introduce you to the president. He's kind of like my boyfriend. Uh, hang on, he's still getting ready. I've never told you that I can't throw a boomerang, but it's true. <laughs> See? I told you. Hey, Dad. I want you to meet my new friend, Meg. Pleased to meet you, Meg. You have a beautiful rack. Oh, thanks. I was talking to my daughter. Stewie, she's got your time machine. But don't drag that down the stairs or... Ah! Thank God. Everything's back to normal. Phew. Gross. Oh my god! It's literally everyone! That can only mean show ghosts! Minions 3? Yeah, and this one, Gru, has been replaced by Harvey Weinstein. Oh, you like working for bad guys? I'll show you a bad guy. Now you touch it. You know what to touch. B banana! When is Brian coming back? Oh, never. I'm having him euthanized. Euthanized? Oh my god! <laughs> euthanize, euthanize, euthanize. Oh my god! I gotta do something! Damn it! Now I have to do that with every dictionary here! Hold on, Brian! Hold on! This new year was a bigger surprise than when they're making fun of a celebrity on Saturday Night Live and the real-life celebrity walks in behind them. <laughs> oh, boy. They're really socking it to the celebrity. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine how mad the celebrity would be? I mean, wherever they are at this particular moment, if they're watching, they must be... <gasps> oh! <laughs> That's the actual celebrity walking up right behind them! He He's catching him right in the act! The, the SNL actor doesn't know! Oh, he's gonna get in trouble! Look how mad the actual celebrity is! He's folding his arms and frowning! He tapped the SNL actor on the shoulder! Look how surprised the SNL actor is! Oh, he's completely busted! <laughs> how is this happening? <laughs> Should be my Olympics. Shut up, Meg. No, you 
shut up, Meg. No! You shut up, Meg! Hurry. You want me to be the one who says jiggity now? Where are you going? Home. Where's home? The White House. Okay, I'm here. This is my house. You can go now. Thanks for taking me home. Go ahead. Go inside. I will. You can drive away now. No, no. I, I want to make sure you get inside safe. Yeah, but I, I got to look through the mail first. You know how it is. Really, I insist. It it's totally okay. Go. At this point, it's more about me than it is you. It's a bad neighborhood. If I don't see you go inside, I'll be thinking about it all night. Come on in, Mr. President. Okay, before we go, I should wet my eyes. There. He is? That was the first time I noticed you didn't have an ear. What? Never mind. Suspected heart attack. He's not breathing. No pulse. I can save him, but we gotta move fast. Give me 20 cc's of music factory. Clear. Everybody dance now. Again. Clear. Everybody dance now. Clear. Everybody dance now. You did it. Great work. Don't thank me. Thanks, silly 90s songs. What do we got? Head injury. He got knocked down. We'll get him up again. I need two milligrams of chumba and one of wumba. You're so predictable. I know every word that's going to come out of your mouth before you even say it. Boulder Dash. Heavens. Stop, stop that. that. I, I worked for Purolator Courier before, before they, they went, went bankrupt. bankrupt. Appearance. <laughs> Intelligence. <laughs> Penis size. <laughs> and another thing. Well, Lois, you are a master. Okay, Peter, think. You're a cartoon character. You can conjure up anything in the world to get yourself out of this. So long, Lois, and lady I accidentally called sir. The lines are speed. I didn't draw any food or supplies. I drew... My God, we're in the trash outside. We've got to get down from here. Quick, pass me that baggie. How am I supposed to get down? That was the only baggie. Use either the tampon strings or the discarded dental floss and rappel down. Which one did you go with? Neither. I was hoping to kill myself. So Carol was just going on and on about how I should be mayor. And it's got me thinking, it is an interesting idea. You think I should do it? Absolutely not. I mean, if not me, who? Anyone. If not now, when? Never. You know, why not me? A million reasons. I mean, who do you want in there? Some career politician? Yes. What are they gonna do? Govern. Thanks, Dewey. Your support means a lot. You don't have it. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Guys, I have an announcement. I'm gonna run for mayor. That's a terrible idea. You idiot, Brian. Meg, fat on Brian. I can't. I don't have one in the chamber. And one time I give you a chance, you're not ready. Chris, tag in for Meg. I had a hell of a time getting off sugar. Chris, can you pass the syrup? Oh, you want the syrup, old man? Yeah, nice attached head, Meg. Body, throw potatoes. <laughs> Win and I come across a lot of dicks. Or I guess I should say wankers. We do like that word, hmm? Or tosser, git, prat, sod, chuffer. Take your pick, eh, Dr. Pritchfield? We? Oui? Yes, we. Oui. I'm not following. The accent. The accent? You speak with a British accent. Yes, I'm aware. Well, I've often been told that I have a British accent. Oh? You mean to tell me you don't hear me speaking with a British accent right now? No. That's odd. Because everybody else does. Everyone hears this. Well, just the people who can understand me, which you appear to be one of. But that's too complicated to go into. I'm not even sure I get it. 
The point is, Stewie has a British accent. That's like a known thing. Ask anyone. It's all dirty in here. I don't care. Keep going. Shouldn't I wear some sort of protective suit? Why? Don't you trust me? I do, but our friend Bartholomew went in lots of chimneys in the 80s, and now he's sick. Still trying to put the world back together, I see. Hello, Peter. We're not joining your team. I'm putting together a team. We're in. Good. Let's shake hands like tough guys. Some of your sweat went in my mouth. Is this the Veterinarian's office? No, this is the Veterinarian's. I think you want the Veterinarian's Center next door. Ah, I see the confusion. This must happen all the time. We're ready for the German Shepherd. Yeah, that would be me. This is a very confusing lobby. We did it! We switched bodies! Wow, this is really weird. It feels like... Hey! What the hell have you been complaining about? I told her I have a dog, so would you pretend to be my dog? Oh, well, well, well. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Brian, come on, I'm serious. Will you help me out? Glenn Quagmire, there are not enough tennis balls in the world for me I to- I have six. I'll do it. Should we drop our trap somewhere else? Like where? I don't know, maybe we tried David Harbour. It's that harbor nobody even heard of until three years ago, and now all of a sudden it's huge. Hey, we could try Michael Bay. Although I hear that Bay was mean to Megan Fox. Maybe Roger Waters? George Strait? Billy Ocean? Ricky Lake? River Phoenix? How are those celebrity water puns working out? Well, this has been a bust. See Thomas Howell? Anyway, your guys were good too. Beat it! You don't want to see what I'm about to do to Miss Tiggy Winkles. <gasps> oh my god! I can't read decision. God, I wish it was Joe in that box. I do too, Bon. Oh, did I say that out loud? No, but at this point I know what you're thinking. It'll be soon, babe. No. No. Do it too! No. Oh, he's gonna hate me for changing this one. Hello? Stewie? Brian, is my mouth in my butt? Yeah, my mouth's in my butt. You've got to fix this. I'm trying. Ryan, where's my butt? No. 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 Ryan, you did it. No. Oh, sh Sorry. And that's the story of the Great Flood. Now God only brings natural disasters to places that have too much butt stuff going on. God, if you stop this rain, I promise I'll never do butt stuff. God, if you stop this rain, I'll never do butt stuff again. Let it pour. Who's your little friend? Not now, prison, Lois. So it's over? And what was Venice? Same thing it always was, babe. A dream we both wanted to believe. <laughs> Peter, who was that? Not now, front sex, Lois. I love you, Meg. Oh my God. No one's ever told me that before. This is the best night of my life. Chris is still in there. Somebody save Chris! You know what? He's earned that. Now, I was wondering if I could put a little saddle on your back and ride you like a horsey. Oh, okay, okay. No, I know, I, I understand. It's too much. It's okay. You know, I like Hillary Clinton. I don't care what anyone says. Ah, Peter, what's... Yeah! Ah, yeah! Uh, come on, old Paul's Pete! In your come on! Ow. Yeah! Oh, come on! Yeah. Come on! Come on! That is some tasty stuff. That's from the uh, bake sale that Lois would... Yeah! Ooh, one down. I know somebody who won't be having any... Welcome. We open today's bidding with this pair of panties confiscated from a prostitute. Fifty bucks. She had nine STDs. Forty-five bucks. And when we caught her, she wet herself. Fifty bucks. 
Oh, gosh, by gosh, it's a brand new paper boy. That's a mighty full sack you're carrying. Piss off, you perverted old freak. Oh, we got a fighter. Please rise. Now sit on it. The Fonz be with you. And also with you. Let us A. A. You're Mel Gibson? Yes, I've put on a few pounds for my next role. I play Peter Griffin, a heroic warrior who defied the English to free England from the English. Holy mackerel! Let me show you to your room, Mr. Gibson. Peter, watch the road. Lois, get off my back, will you? I'm trying to watch TV. I swear to God, sometimes I think your head's screwed on backwards. I mean, do you have any idea? <gasps> <laughs> Hey, Crashy. What are you doing down there? I don't trust you. You put your seed in my daughter's belly. You're fired. But, Pa, you can't fire me. You're lucky you're my brother, too, or I'd kill you. Fifteen years ago, I swallowed everything I needed to escape from a hostage situation. <laughs> I'm starting to feel funny. Well, I feel fine. I guess I'm gonna be... <laughs> oh, boy! That means I win! I get to eat... <gasps> Chris Tucker and Jim Caviezel? Is that it? The guy from the first one? Passion of the Christ 2 crucified this. To use one of these? You know how to use one of these? This July, let he who is without sin kick the first ass. Here comes the next float honoring uninjured veterans. Yeah! We rock! Our wives stayed with us! Big fast! We did! Peter, did you paste a new picture of yourself on our wedding portrait? Yeah, I think it looks better. You pasted it over me. Yeah, I think it looks better. You know what really grinds my gears? This Lindsay Lohan. Eh? Lindsay Lohan with all those little outfits, jumping around there on stage, half naked with, with your little outfits. You know? You're, uh, you're up there jumping around, and I'm just sitting here with my beer. So, you know, what am I supposed to do? Meg, stop staring at Mr. Griffin. I'm sorry, Peter. I'm afraid she's got a father's libido. What can I say? I'm a vegetarian. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all gone. I think it's... <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. Man. <laughs> Peter, Peter, I need you to hold my ears. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm just going to put on a pair of gloves and we'll deliver this baby. Well, these don't feel like gloves at all. They feel like used needles. But this is where I always keep the gloves. Well, maybe if I dig deeper. Nope, just feels like more needles. Well, that's the craziest thing. Oh, now I'm sure this isn't the glove drawer. Hey, Rick, it's your cousin Marvin. Marvin Astley. You know that mediocre, generic sound you've been looking for? Well, listen to this. Never gonna give, never gonna give. Hola. Uh, me, me amo es Brian. Uh, uh, uh let's see. Uh, nosotros queremos ir con ustedes. Yeah, that was pretty good. But actually, when you said me amo es Brian, you don't need the ace. Just me amo Brian. Oh, you speak English? No, just that first speech and this one explaining it. You, you're kidding, right? Que? 9-11 changed everything. Peter, you didn't even know what 9-11 was until 2004. That's not true, Brian. I remember 9-11. Heh, <laughs> must have been a woman pilot, eh? Oh, that was great. Thanks. I know you have a choice in airport sex, and I appreciate your choosing quagmire. Please exercise caution when standing up, as the contents of your vagina may have shifted during coitus. You fine and everything okay? Yes, thank you. Well, you just let me know if you need any... How do these jeans look? <laughs> Mr. President, did you reach a missile pact? Well, you could say that.
There was a missile, and something definitely got packed. <laughs> did you discuss ICBMs? Well, I did see a BM. <laughs> so, would you consider this a successful summit? Oh, yes. I summited three times. Are you finished with the butt-fucking puns? When you say USA, I just say hooray. And if you're not from here, God's gonna hunt you down and give you AIDS. USA! My daughter needs a makeover like there's no freaking tomorrow. Uh, it's been 24 hours, got my money. Oh, all right, you know what, just give me till next Friday, I'll have it for you. Oh. Oh, that's funny. I could have sworn I said have it today. Yeah, I don't have it. Sorry. Oh, well, all right then. Mm, that's good, OJ. <laughs> ah! Channel 5 News has discovered that there is an atheist among us. Local churchgoer and junior Christian soldier Meg Griffin has identified the atheist as Brian Griffin of Spooner Street. Here's the reaction from City Hall. Oh, shocking, to say the least. I'd rather have a terrorist living in our midst. At least they believe in a god. Even if it's a smelly brown god. I'm... I'm not really a man. I'm a woman. Oh my god, you're a woman? Well, actually, I'm not really a woman. I'm a horse. Oh my god, you're a horse? Actually, I'm not really a horse. I'm a broom. Say, which gate is flight 209? 209? That flight left half an hour ago. Oh my god! Oh my god! That plane's going down! My friends are on that plane! They're all gonna die! What? Oh no! And that's not the worst part! Here's the condom I said I put on! <gasps> <laughs> Aren't I just the worst? Is there any way you guys could take Anna Lee? No, Quagmire. We got enough kids of our own. Plus old Brian over there. Right, buddy? I sharpened a pencil in my bum and now I need a band-aid. We have to destroy everything that's harmful to God. Well, I'm glad you married my daughter. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, actually, it wasn't me. It was... No, it, it's okay. I'm used to it. You know, sometimes you just gotta make a decision and go with it. Like when I decided to try that radical penis enlargement. Peter, I don't think... Ryan, your objections are duly noted. Now hit the gas! You know that would never work again in a million years. You don't need it to, Brian. I'm afraid your parrot is dead. No! Did he at least die with dignity? Well, he convulsed a lot and fell off the operating table. Then he flopped around a little on the floor, and then a passing nurse accidentally stepped on him and kicked him into a puddle of urine, which must have frightened him because his bowels released all over himself. I tried to pick him up, but then I got angry because some of it got on my thumb. So I threw him against the wall, and that's where he died. That's the way I want to go. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm no different than any other guy. Joe, would you put on your hand shoes and take out the garbage? Thank you. <laughs> Put my gun down! Not until I have my husband back! <gasps> my perfect ass! Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. I was aiming for your spine. <laughs> Damn it! Joe, I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible shot. <laughs> for God's sakes, just give me the gun! I'll do it myself! <laughs> Why haven't you sent for help? But she said she never wants to see me again. Well, I'm sure you can come up with some excuse to see her at the vet. Is there any more coffee? Anna? I'm here with my dog. He's not feeling well. Fuck you. Hey guys, I wrote a song. Oh, that's great. Oh, good, Ringo. Fantastic. You know what? I'm gonna put it right here. Right on the refrigerator. That way we'll get to see it every day. All right. How much you pay for that fake mustache? Two ninety nine. Ah! Oh! 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 Listen, you just got.
got to give me more time. Ah! Hey, looking for a good time, sweet cheeks? Oh, my God. Peter, get in the car. Okay, but it'll cost you. What do you want, a Cleveland steamer? I said get in the car. What's a Cleveland steamer? It means the hill. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be cool. Be cool. Yeah, so go to Maple Street and then take a left and then uh, you go... Uh... Okay, so you want a party or what? Get out of this car right now! It's eerie, isn't it? Like looking into the future. Ryan, pick up. Over. What? Ryan, please say over when you finish talking. Over. What? Over. Do you see the wire yet? Over. No. No what? Over. No, over. Okay, I'm gonna start feeding it through. Over. Wait, if you haven't started feeding it, why'd you ask me if I could see it? Didn't copy that. Over. I said, why'd you ask me if I could see it if you haven't started feeding it? Over. Oh, that's better. I can hear you now. Over. When did you guys get a pool? Oh, it's a moat. <laughs> I know it's silly, but my husband thinks our family needs extra protection now that we're, well, we're rich. Does it work? Well, it does keep the Black Knight at bay. So anyway, here's Quagmire walking through the park, minding his own business. Uh, I just happen to be there with my video camera when a ninja shows up! And then a Nazi came! And then an evil pots and pans robot! Destroy! Destroy! Do you see it yet, Over? You know, you're a jackass. For the record, I don't want to hang out with you anymore when this is over. When this is what, Brian? Over. I said I don't want to hang out with you anymore when this is over. When this is what? you got to finish your sentence. Over. That's it. My sentence is over. Your sentence is what, Brian? Over. My sentence is... Wait a minute. I have to say over even if the sentence ends with the word over? Ends with the word what, Brian? Over. Oh, I see the wire. You see the wire what? Over. Over! <laughs> oh, no! Quagmire's dead! Wait, we might still be able to save it. Oh, no! Dun, 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 we are so, so sorry for your loss. Still no sign of the deaf team, I notice. Hey, you guys are gonna be late. Maybe they're not in there. All right, boys, now watch how this is done. The key is to put it all in your groin and your back. Take your legs totally out of the equation. Lift with your lower back in a jerking, twisting motion. Wow, Lois Griffin. Hey, I love your act. Nice melons. Hey, listen, pal. Peter, I'm holding melons. Oh, and her hooters ain't bad either. Now, hang on a second, Dad. Peter, I'm holding hooters. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem. Your wife's hot. All right, that's it. Oh, boy, I usually only get this excited when they say the title of a movie in the movie. I'm telling you, these drug dealers represent a clear and present danger to the United States. Yeah, yeah, he said it, he said it. All I'm saying is, what if this is as good as it gets? Yeah, yeah, there it is, there it is. The only way for me to solve this crisis is to be Superman 4, the quest for peace. Oh, that's why they call it that. Stop making that fart sound every time someone says Meg. <laughs> so, how was your day exploiting the town's resources, Meg? <laughs> <laughs> Meg! <laughs> Meg! Meg, 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 Meg! Meg. Can I get some covers over here? No, no. Hey, you fat, keep you warm. No, no. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, let's go to the bank. You can't give up sex, you've got a responsibility. You see, Meg, you're what they call a practice girl. Excuse me, can you tell me where I can find assault rifles? Aisle six. How about a list of known local homosexuals? Aisle four. Come on, hop in my limo. Wow, a limo! Shotgun! Oh crap, the LAPD. Come on, Pete. I want to save some tape for the Hollywood sign. Okay. Hey, thanks a lot, you guys. Hey, our pleasure. Have a nice vacation, sir. Oof. Shaving time. All right, hand me the razor. Yeah! Oh, my God. Peter, you killed it. Well, you guys relax. He's got eight more lives. Okay, seven more lives.
Six. Five. Four. Three. Peter, stop doing what you're doing. Look alive, ladies. Allow me to introduce the best of the best. The Black Knight himself. And this is his trophy wench, Maid Madeline. Ding! Ah, my boy wants to know about sex. Came to the right place. Chris, what you always want to remember is that sex is perfectly natural. Well, uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Swanson, um, I wasn't really talking to you. Chris, I know a lot about sex. Yeah, and I'm sure you have fond memories, but I was kind of hoping to get some advice from someone who isn't broken from the waist down. I'm a father! You're a two-wheeled monster! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dylan! All this stuff in here is mine now. Oh. Well, okay, but be careful opening the closet, because that's where the evil monkey lives. Yay! I haven't been in my closet for years! Boy, there is a lot of feces in here. Hey, Chris, guess what we just did, Bonnie? Tell him. We had sex. We had sex! We had what Joe calls sex. I'm abstinent, Lois. It's all in these pamphlets Meg brought home from school. Sex turns straight people gay and turns gays into Mexicans. Everyone goes down a notch. They're gonna love that. Well, you think you'll look for another job, Meg? <laughs> Meg! 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 Uh-oh. It was my job to keep the children from eating each other. Hey! Hey! No! No, no, no! Spit him out! Jeffrey, spit him out now! And Mike, you spit out Timmy! How's the weather look, Ollie? Not too bad. Right on. Brian! Welcome home, you son of a bitch! So did you lose? Oh, you gotta tell me all about it. Hey, how was a bachelorette? Was she a dumb bimbo, like you said? But, 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 with a big rack? <laughs> Come on in and tell me everything. I bet your stories will make me laugh so hard I shoot milk out of my nose. Uh, Peter, this is Brooke, the bachelorette. She's, uh, having dinner with us tonight. I went over this with you a few minutes ago. <laughs> Vaginal intercourse is... It's just tops. It's the bee's knees, Meg. Oh, when you rattle it around just right. Oh, my God. I mean, you remember when we had that old car with the bad shocks and I used to take the old dirt road on purpose? Meg. Meg? I love you. My wife messed around with another chick. Thank you, God. Don't mention it, Peter. God, he knows what turns you on. Have fun. Oh, that's a bad mud puddle. I wouldn't want you to step in that and get your nice shoes all ruined. Joe's getting desperate and we haven't raised nearly enough. Is, is there any way you could help us out? Of course I could. But it's funnier to me if I don't. In about an hour, I'm gonna piss away 20 grand. What, are you gonna bet on the Knicks? <laughs> Is it? I'm sorry. I mean, how often? I mean, oh man, nobody thinks that's funny? Ooh, that's Joe. Say, Joe, I think you're cool. Joe, I think you're cool. Well, thank you, Brian. That's gonna get me through the rest of this yard work. No, just kidding. You suck. No, just kidding. You suck. Queer. Queer? Ah, well, there goes my smile. My God! He's violating Seapreys! No, no, he's just awkwardly positioning himself. Now he's violating Seapreys. Man, what do you think these things do? <laughs> huh, guess it doesn't do anything. Well, that seems odd. Ah! Oh my God, Peter! You're me! Holy crap! Ah, oh, sweet! <laughs> <laughs> squeeze, squeeze. Look at all my dew. I'm covered in dew. Feather, you're covered in dew. Oh, you spoiled the surprise. I'm making you a cock out of dew. Doesn't matter how you find the pot of gold, be to the Ryan. All that matters is that you beat the leprechauns. That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't have to make sense when you look like this. Ugh. I am hotter than phone sex with a blind girl. You sound hot. What are you wearing? I don't know. 
What can you tell me about this one? Oh, that's just an old tank I use for those commercials where I declare war on high prices. Now, about that sedan. Hang on there, Slick. Now I see your game. We come in here wanting a practical car, but then you dangle this tank in front of me and expect me to walk away. Now, I may be an idiot, but there is one thing I am not, sir, and that, sir, is an idiot. You know, Ireland has more drunks per capita than people. Oh, that's a negative stereotype. I don't think the Irish drink as much as people say they do. Over 200 reports of ear sex have been confirmed so far, prompting a new slogan. Once you go black, you go deaf. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Someday. Oh, Meg, we've talked about this. In order to make a baby, a man has to be aroused enough to ejaculate. Sorry, Dad, I forgot. That's all right, sweetie. Now you run along and play in the mud. Up, huh? the toast is ready. I'll get it, Lois. There you go. Uh, Peter, maybe you shouldn't bring your lance to the table. Lois, if I'm going to get good enough to impress the Black Knight, my lance must be with me at all times. Oh, you guys are going to be so proud when you see me out on that field. Now, if you'll excuse me, i got to go practice. Ah! Oh, my God, that my earring! Dad, stop! Ah! So, James, we just want you to do the voice. Henceforth, sexual intercourse is illegal. It is gross and disgusting and punishable by death. Origami keeps my hands busy and my mind off sex. There we go. I made a swan. Stewie's a good leader. I wonder how many of these swans I can fit in my bum. That's a beautiful shade of lipstick. I bet you enjoy the music of Met at Work. You're incredibly foxy. Take off your shirt, take off your pants. Wow, what a body. That feels good. I'll give you a call. You better get tested. It's just been revoked. Uh, Peter, he didn't really set you up for that lethal weapon line. It, it doesn't really work here. Oh. I'll have what she's having. That's... better? Peter, what the hell is that? Lois, I'm tired of Mort always mooching off us, so I made a scared you. Peter, we're not gonna have this in our front yard. It's racist, and for God's sake, you ruined your best suit. Now we're gonna have to get you a new one. Shh, shh, Lois, Lois, look. Hey, guys, I just wanted to return you. Oh! Oh, my God, it's Hitler! He's back! He's back! Hurry, protect John Stewart! He's our most important Jew! It just feels like I'm lying to Peter. Like Jesus lied to the meek. All right! Jesus and the jocks win again! Hey, you said we were going to inherit the Earth. Yeah, when we're done with it. I want to thank you all for coming out here today. We got a serious situation down in the Bronx. Our friend needs to get a message to the short man in the hat. He needs to deliver this message before the construction site contracts are handed down. It's of vital importance that these matters be attended to. So we may have to bring in a friend from Yonkers. What? I say we may have to bring in a friend from Yonkers. What, what are you doing? What the, what the hell? What are you doing, Peter? What the hell is wrong with you? This is all I can do, Lois. I'm abstinent. That is it. I am going to have regular sex with you whether you like it or not. No. I wasn't asking your permission. No, 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 I'm abstinent. This is an affront to the Lord. No, no. <laughs> uh, no. No. <laughs> oh, I see what you're driving at. Mayor West, you have lymphoma. Oh, my. Probably from rolling around in that toxic waste. I see. What in God's name were you trying to prove? I was trying to gain superpowers. Well, that's just silly. Silly, yes. Idiotic, yes. Peter, you can't be serious. This is a 30-ton war machine. I'm still not sure. Did I mention the tank is a tank? Sold. 
rickety staircases, faulty wiring, gay poltergeists. Boo! To that outfit! So, uh, Lando, how old did you say you were again? Seventeen. A half? <gasps> Sweet statutory, you look beautiful. Don't worry, I'll take good care of you, kid. I got a daughter of my own, you know. Knock it off because I have had it. No, I've had it. I don't want you pregnant. You'll be fat and cranky and your boobs will get bigger and you'll stop having your period. Wait, how do I feel about this? I am going to prepare for this as thoroughly as Ben Affleck prepares for a role. Whoa, I got to be Henry VIII in 20 minutes. Hello. 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 Got it. Oh, Grandpa always makes me so nervous when I'm driving. Okay, now me. Oh, that's a stop sign! Hey, Meg. Oh, hi, Craig. Now that you're attractive, how about we go out sometime? Gosh, I'd love to. Great. I'll pick you up whenever I feel like it. Hey, Meg. We noticed Craig Hoffman just asked you out. That makes you cool. Want to hang out with us? Wow, sure! Hey, I'm here to pick you up. What the hell? No, 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 no! Hey, Peter, can you blow that towel rack down here? Thank you. I mean, when did God ever say he didn't want someone else being worshipped like him? It's one of the Ten Commandments. Oh, come on, Lois. Those were written like 200 years ago. Times have changed. Hey, Lois, give me a penny. You're not gonna throw it over the edge, are you? No. Yes. <laughs> Tis a glorious afternoon. Wouldst thou not agree? Uh, 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 yay, kind shrew. Uh, I, before the... Except you have to see. Wouldst thou take a gander underneath my frock? Uh, I'm sure, whatever floats your boat. Ah, there you go. Jeez, freaking pervert. I am gonna make people see that an animal's life is just as important as a human's. Go, fellow canine! Be free and enjoy life! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why he was tied up. All right, so we roll the dice, and then we both have to yell Yahtzee really loud. At the same time? Yeah, and you have to flap your wrists like this. And you'll do it too? Of course, that's how it's done. Okay. All right, ready? Okay, you gonna do it with me? Oh, yeah. Yahtzee! Gay. You suck! Hey! Yeah? What the hell is this? Oh, you didn't really give any specific guidelines about mating. Did you name it? What? Did you name it? Uh, yeah, he's Paul. Yeah? Well, it's gonna be a hell of a lot harder for you now because he's going the fuck overboard. Hi, Jimmy. Um, I heard he didn't have a date to the dance, and I was wondering if you'd like to go with me. Oh, uh, I, uh, h hang on. I'd love to go, Meg, but I have to go to my little brother's funeral that night. I caught you a bullfrog outside. Poked some holes in its back so it can breathe. See, look at this. Oh, boy. All right, hang on, hang on. If God wanted us to kill babies, he'd make them all Chinese girls. Fat, horny, black, and Joe. Hello, Cleveland! Hello, Peter. One, two, three, four! Oh my god, we don't know any songs. This is a favorite by Men at Work. They come from a land down and there. Get a bird in your head up and there. In a bed of a land bed and bed. Look at me with a brand new hundy. What's incest? You know how Cousin Lou has that kid whose eyes touch? So what, you saying touch eyes doesn't deserve to exist? 
Well, you don't mind them when you want a needle threaded. I'm just saying that they should have at least had the option. How can you say that? Think of all the love he's given to Uncle Mom and Aunt Dad. Okay, this argument isn't working. Peter, what if carrying the baby to term would endanger the mother's life? I don't know what seven of those words were. What if you look at the ultrasound and see that the baby's gonna be born with no arms and no legs? You name it, Matt. Hey, Grease Lightning. Do I know you? Jim Kaplan, sports agent. You like this car? Yeah. It's yours. You like my pants? Uh, sure. They're yours. You know what a Merkin is? No. Nope. Cubic wig. I got one. You want it? No. Of course you don't. You're a classy guy. You want to be rich? Yes. Sign here. You're all stupid. She ain't gonna be looking for army guys. We gotta get her half naked and put her out front center stage. And that's gonna make y'all billionaires because America loves hot white jail bait ass. Wait a minute. That's the smartest thing I've ever heard anyone say about anything. I went to Mexico to terminate my pregnancy. But God had other plans. And you were born right there. This excited since I learned how to speak Braille. Hey, bump, bump, no bump, bump, three vertical bumps, four bumps in a square. <laughs> yeah, I've heard they all look alike. Shut up and go to sleep. Ow! 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 Lois, you weigh a ton. Get off me. I'm uh, trying. Uh, try harder. Ow, Peter. Uh, ow, Lois, that hurts. Just stop for uh, one second. Uh, 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 ow. 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 Oh, uh, uh, Peter, are we having sex? Uh, let's check. Uh, just lift up that fold right there. Uh, uh yep. Yeah. Uh, Peter, I think it's time for plan B. Way ahead of you, Brian. <laughs> Don't worry, I packed my own backup chute. Ah, oh, crap. Now, question number one. Who discovered America? Dick York? No. Dick Sargent. It was Dick Sargent. Ah. Question number two. Complete this sentence. The land of the free and the home of the blank. Home of the Whopper? Why did all the dinosaurs die out? Because you touch yourself at night. Let's go get ourselves a shake, huh? Yeah! I want to get a milkshake, too. Too bad. Go get your own father. <laughs> That's not true. I can also vomit, fall down, and make dirty calls to your sister when I'm drunk. Mr. Tucker, I have just become handicapped like Joe Swanson, and I demand commercial endorsements at a TV movie based on me starring Valerie Burt and Ernie. But, Mr. Griffin... Uh, uh, I even got the first piece you're gonna run. Exclusive video footage of my tragic accident. Oh, no! A car going too fast to stop in time! I. I'm handicapped now! Ah! So we're all clear on the rules then. No Jews and no blacks. Brian, it's moments like this that make me sad you're gonna die 50 years before I do. Trust me, Peter, the last thing we want is to get kids to start smoking. What? Well, then, then what about that graph on the wall that says the first thing we want is to get kids to start smoking? That? Oh, that's just something my son made me in art class. Huh. Well, well then, then, then what about that post-it? It says the graph was not made in art class. We really do want kids to start smoking. Come on, Jake. Huh. I guess I've learned a little something about what it means to be a good dad. Hey, Dad, do you want to play baseball? Oh, my God, could you leave me alone? You are the neediest kid. There's a magical land of desserts right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> no cussing, clean your plates, and only a half hour of radio, and then it's off to bed. Well, that sucks. And don't you mouth off to me, or I'm gonna slap you right in your penis. No offense, Mr. Herbert, but I'm a 17-year-old girl, and I don't need you here. Well, no offense to you, Meg, but you're a 17-year-old girl, and I don't need you here. 
I hate this station. They always make promises they can't deliver. Playing the greatest rock and roll hits of all time. We built this city. See? Tell me about when you were young, Grandpa. Oh, Sonny, those were crazy times. My friends and I were out of control. We used to give each other wet willies and funny arms. We'd play dandy balls and legs are spread and penis butt. Sounds kind of gay, Grandpa. It was gay. Everyone was. But back then, we were called pole fancies. It was real good old-fashioned grab the nearest tree and hold on for dear life gay. Not today's fancy featherbed thread count gay. People got hurt back then. That's gay. Yeah, it was pretty gay. You don't even know who my friends are. Sure I do. Um, Chandler, Fonzie, and Remington Steele? You got lucky, Dad. Name something you find in your bathroom. Finding a bathroom, finding a bathroom. Richard, I'm gonna go with fetus in the toilet bowl. Show us fetus in the toilet bowl! <laughs> I can't finish. You have to. How would we explain it half-eaten? There's no going back from this. It's done. Got some dessert for you. But Peter, why would they make you president? Well, maybe it's because I can recite all 50 states in a quarter of a second. Peter, that was just a loud yelping noise. Chris, what are you doing? Getting scraped to death by my zipper. You bastard! How the hell can you be cheating on me? I'm the one who made you popular! No, Connie. Beating up that Jewish kid made me popular. Come on, girls. Let's go upstairs and make out. <coughs> oh, no. Connie's been hurt. I guess I should lie on top of her to keep her warm. What are you looking at? It's a cartoon. So what are your hobbies, Chris? Masturbating. We should form a club. All right, name something you find in your bathroom. Me masturbating. All right, show me him masturbating. <coughs> Are you sure you're a real priest? Yeah, yeah, I can vouch for him. He's real. He's molested me many, many times. Uh, sorry I'm late. I was busy doing, um, innocent, non-molesty things. Come on, we gotta get back. The cameramen think we're taking Chris to Sharka practice. We're gonna be late! Why won't you talk to me?! I'm trying to make love to you when you're thinking about Chris. Peter, is there something you need to tell me? Thanks to you, our son has a huge wang. Thanks to me? Well, he didn't get it from me! Please leave the light off, Lois. I don't want to be seen right now. I imagine you wouldn't, the way you've been acting. I thought you might say something like that. Well, you do have it coming. Anyway, I convinced Meg to go to the dance, so I'm gonna go drop her off. Please don't yell, Lois. I've learned my lesson. I wasn't yelling. I was just saying... Oh, you would bring that up. Can't you leave the past where it belongs? Peter, what's wrong with you? Because I've already explained that to you. It was a scavenger hunt. What the hell is going on here? Lois, if you still haven't discovered I'm gone, please flip the tape over to side B. <gasps> oh! <coughs> oh! God, I just threw up in his lung! Look, I know it's gross, but when you're, you're desperate and you're staring death in the face, you have no other choice but to... Oh, there's a comfort in. Ah, come on. It never rains in Rhode Island? Well, yeah, but I'm pretty sure we've never had a volcano either. Well, don't you think we're overdue for one? Touché, salesman. As we all know, Christmas is that mystical time of year when the ghost of Jesus rises from the grave to feed on the flesh of the living. So we all sing Christmas carols to lull him back to sleep. Outrageous! How dare he say such blasphemy? I've got to do something! Bob, there's nothing you can do. <sighs> well, I guess I'll just have to develop a sense of humor. No more balloon for you! I am sick of you tooling around the village in that thing, honking at the girls, blasting your 1980s American rock music that we got here last week. But, Father! Go to your palace! Hey, you still awake, Lois, honey? Dad? That's right. I'm your daddy. Shh, 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 shh. Don't talk, Lois. Don't talk. Just let me do all the work. Yeah. Now feel my warm breath on the nape of your neck. My hands on your big, soft boobs running down your big man-like... Holy crap, it's Chris! Uh, uh, so, uh... 
How you doing? Yeah. You know what I am back at the ranch? I'm a breeding bull. What? 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 what what's that? You gonna find out. Huh? Where you going, fatty? We gonna have a party. Uh, ah, ah, no! No! Ah, 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 ah. Hey, that's Journey. Kick ass! Howard! <laughs> that is Journey. It's good to meet you, Mr. and Mrs. Griffin. Well, we wanted to talk to you about our son. You see, Chris really... Lois, oh, Lois, lo 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 honey, let's uh, make sure we do this delicately, all right? Mrs. Lockhart, our son would like to plow you. I had a feeling that's what was going on. Sorry, our, our son can sometimes be a boob. I mean, a melon. I mean, a, a sopping wet pair of breasts barely covered by a racing t-shirt. Peter! Now, they tell me in your next movie, we get to see your butt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yes, you do. Can, can we see it right now? Mm. Well, uh, <laughs> all right, Hitler. Oh, oh, he's going to do it! If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like tickets to Hitler, call 213. Good morning, Hebrews and Shebrews. What a glorious Jewish day. Hey, how about all those coupons in the Sunday paper, huh? Some good deals there. Hey, you know, I went into a store last week and they wanted 800 bucks for a TV, but I ushed them down to 500. Mmm, ah! delicious. I will seriously consider purchasing this product. Oh, what have we here? May I partake? Mmm. Oh, sausage son. Plan to buy great amount for samurai buddies. Sir, you don't have to keep moving to the back of the line. You can have as many as you want. They're free. What are you talking about? Hey, can I have some more sausage? Yeah, me too. Double the freshness. Life is more fun when you're chewing the great taste of double fresh gum. We should go to the circus. And at the top of the second half, it's 16 to 9. Easton leads the scoring with four. And that's why she commands $7,000 a year. These gals sure do make it look difficult. But is having this minor skill worth being so unattractive? That's for the fan to decide. Yay! Hey. Hey. You okay there, Mr. Crocodile? Huh? Wake up, wake up, wake up. You need some lotion, Mr. Badskin? Huh? Huh? Yeah, uh, there you go. Ah, 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 ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! Ah, ah, ah! You know, most of the world's problems stem from poor self-image. <laughs> Loser! What did he say? Hello? I said you're a loser! Who is this? A Peter Griffin Christmas. Featuring such standards as... Everybody look at the snow in the yard. And who could forget... I brought these gifts for you. They're up in my bum. You know, she bought me something yesterday, but uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I want you to guess. So just cl close your eyes. It's a soccer horn! I know what it is! Hey, Peter. I've just been, uh, checking out some of that internet porn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just gonna go go and check my mail over there. You been lifting weights? Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't think it... No. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Peter. I, I, gotta, I gotta get back. Okay, okay, here's another riddle. A woman has two children. Now, a homicidal maniac tells her she can only keep one. Which one does she let him kill? That's... that's not a riddle. That's... that's just terrible. Wrong! The ugly one! What's the charge, officer? Driving without my phone number. Or maybe I should arrest you for being too beautiful. 
I got it. That's the guy from Fig. Tom Hanks, that's it. Ah, oh, funny guy, Tom Hanks. Everything he says is a stitch. I have AIDS. <laughs> You've got 20. Hit me. Peter, don't. Hit me. 21. Hit me. Peter. Hit me. That's 30. Hit me. So, we need five consonants and a vowel. Uh, okay. Um, Z, 4, Q, another Q, uh, a third Q, and the Batman symbol. Okay, no help there. Um, 15 seconds. If you want to take a shot at it, talk it out. Is it Alex Karras in Webster? I don't believe it. All right, I'm going to work. Somebody's got to put food on this table. Oh, no. If there's four tickets and one of them's gone, that, 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 that leaves... This many. You know, I was just thinking, when I was your age, my Uncle Roy shared a beer with me. I drank it, and I was so excited I fell asleep. I must have tossed and turned something fierce, because when I woke up, my pants were off. Never saw much of Uncle Roy after that. Turns out we weren't even related. They say all peoples must go through some hard times. Well, we Jews are getting ours out of the way early. From here on out, it's going to be nothing but smooth sailing. Uh, this is advanced physics, right? Ah! I have a right to defend myself as a woman. No means no! Ah, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I just came from that orientation seminar about college dating. Hi. I'm Kelly McGillis, and I'm here to talk to you about rape. Ladies, look to your left. Now look to your right. Statistics indicate that both of those men will rape you. I'm not going to rape you. I might. So, Peter, where do you see yourself in five years? Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Doing your... son? I got some crystal meth. I figured we could do it together as father and son. I don't know about that. Tell you what, I'll get us started. Ah, that feels... that feels better. You sure that stuff is okay? All I know is the guys who made it are dead. Why is there no hole in this wall? You know, this thing is bugging me. All right, I'm gonna take a hike. Wow, a song named after a girl. There aren't a million of those already. Name 20. Rosanna, Roxanne, Michelle, Allison, Sarah, Angie, Brandy, Mandy, Gloria, Cecilia, Maggie Mae, Jessica, Nancy, Barbara, Ann, Billie Jean, Layla, Lola, Polly, Helena, Jenny from the block. Name six more. Sherry, Laura, Wendy, Maria, Peggy Sue, Minnie the Moocher. Name five more. Tracy, Jean, Jane, Mary Ann, Eleanor Rigby. Go fuck yourself. There is no fucking drummer better than Neil Peart! It ain't easy being cheesy. I remember this one time I tried to sneak into an R-rated movie. Oh, Brian Stewie's birthday is gonna suck. The only stuff I could get on such short notice was a cake and that big-ass pinata. I sure hope candy comes out of that. Es con mucho dolor que digamos adiós a Javier y Pepe. Y Carlos, y Lupe, y otra Lupe, Salvador, Fabián, Jesús, María, Vincente, y los perros de Vincente. Oh, it's when have we ever had trouble communicating? Oh, Peter, I love you. Yeah, about a quarter past five. Ooh, let me have some of that cool whip. What'd you say? You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. You mean Cool Whip? Yeah, Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying it. Cool Whip. You put Cool Whip on pie. Pie tastes better with Cool Whip. Say Whip. Whip. Now say Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Here's Ollie Williams with the Blackie Weather Forecast. Ollie? It's gonna rain! Why won't you let me get laser surgery? Because I just don't think it's safe. Okay, I just need to make a quick incision here and we should be all done, Mrs. Wilson. Luke, use the force. Really? Because I was just going to make it. Use the force. Okay. Are you happy? I've never been happy. Tricking her should be easier than escaping from Canadian Alcatraz. Can I go through here? Just be back by bedtime. Okay. Damn that motherfucker run fast. You see that shit? That thing come by my house, I kill it. 
that little rat looking thing just got ate. Damn, nature, you scary. Of course, no one can see this news program, so it doesn't really matter what we say. <laughs> I'm the Lord Jesus Christ. I think I'll go get drunk and beat up some midgets. How about you, Diane? Well, Tom, I just plain don't like black people. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we're still on in Boston? Lewis! Lewis! Mom! 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 Mommy! 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 Mama! 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 Ma! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to say this. In July? Ah, where's that damn pull string? Ah! ah! <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find down here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> We're gonna be here for a while. Well, I don't know if... You... Wait, what? We're gonna be here for a while. A while? Yeah, a while. You mean a while? A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. Brian, you're acting weird. Oh, come on, that one doesn't even have an H in it. Pam, I'd like to solve the puzzle. Go tuck yourself in. You got it. Well, you were close, Dad. Man, I still can't believe we missed the phrase, my hairy aunt. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and uh, that nice chicken outside gave me this coupon. I'm sorry, this is expired. You son of a... Looks like the killer gutted the victim, strangled him with his own intestines, and then dumped the body in the river. Jinkies, what a mystery. <laughs> oh. Capricorn. Oh. <laughs> well, I know you're not a Virgo. Ah. Hey, from down here, you look like a Pisces. Ah. Chris, you're hogging up all the fans. Yeah, well, you're hogging up all the ugly. Hey, birthday dude, you want some ice cream? Yes, but no sprinkles. But every sprinkle I find, I shall kill you. And there was that time you got caught peeping in the ladies' locker room? Okay, move the towel. Move the towel. Oh, 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 they spotted me. Look, all I'm saying is put an Israeli guy next to an Arab guy, and I can't tell a difference. I like the sauce. Hey, barkeep, whose leg do you have to hump to get a dry martini around here? Hey, if I'm fat, then Stewie's fat, too, because we wear the same size onesie. My mother used to use whiskey whenever I had a toothache. My tooth hurts. What's your name? Uh, my, my name? Uh, 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 P, uh, 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 T, uh, uh, Griffin. Yeah, yeah. Peter Griffin. Oh, crap. Oh, here are the marsupials. Peter, what the hell are you doing? Look at me, Lois. I'm Rue. <laughs> Come on, Ma. Let's go watch Pooh trick the bees out of their honey by pretending he's a rain cloud. Good morning, Mrs. Griffin. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Just kidding. And his great-grandpa was Thomas Griffin, a great philosopher. Thomas, would you please go look for a job? Why? All right, uh, I couldn't find your toys, so uh, why don't you just play with this blow dryer and these rattles? Yeah, well, guess that's it. Well, you probably want me to get out of your hair, so uh, here's the Drano in case there's a clog. Uh, soap's right there next to the radio, and towels are on the roof. So, uh, good night. Hey, muscle arm. Why the long face? Oh, it's this girl. I can't talk to her. It's like girls are a different species or something. Oh, uh, who needs them? You like popsicles? Well, sure. And you need to come on down to the cellar. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mmm. No, thanks. I gotta get going. Oh, don't make me beg now. Ha <laughs> You're funny. Bye. Get your fat ass back here. I know all about the FCC. They will clean up all your talking in a manner such as this. They will make you take a tinkle when you want to take a piss. And they'll make you call fellatio a trouser-friendly kiss. The kid's not exactly an honor roll student. Watch. Hey. He did it. Watch You're back from Manila. You had lumpia for dinner. Then you made love to two Filipino women. And a man. You mean three Filipino women? No! And Joe, I've had new neighbors before, but none of them were half the man you are. And since you're half a man already, that splits them into some kind of fraction I can't even measure.
Chris, the way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, pull it apart, and lick it. Now you. What we need is a picture for the front page. Well, hold on a second. I gotta rinse my retainer. I'm looking for something tasteful, like the Malaysia spread in last month's Vanity Fair. That was so sweet. It was wicked awesome. A vasectomy is a medical procedure. One that makes you half a man. You're half a man. Remember when you twisted up your garden hose? Well, essentially, that is the plan. That is the plan. <laughs> got your nose. Oh, yeah? Well, I got your face. <laughs> Calm down, Chris. It's only a trick. I can't come to work today. I was in a terrible plane crash. My entire family was killed, and I am a vegetable. I'll see you tomorrow. Huh? Oh, I dropped my watch. Peter, would you be a sport and fetch it for me? Sure thing, Mr. Pewter Schmidt. <laughs> Peter, we've got to put that out. <laughs> You'll never have to wear a condom <laughs> when you do it with your wife. Anyone else you do it with, we promise not to tell. Well, well, what can me and you do together? <laughs> Lois, you've got a sick mind. Peter, I'm talking about making love. Oh, oh, I thought you wanted us to murder the children and harvest their organs for beer money. Can anybody tell me what the square root of the hypotenuse is when... Chris, is that a note? No. Yes, it is. Would you like to read it for the rest of the class? No. Just read it, Lardo. I think Mrs. Griffin's hot. Go to your room. Look at that side boob. Check out this side boob. How about that side boob? That turn you on? Well, it shouldn't, because that's my side boob. And you couldn't help but notice that the female lawyer running the seminar had a huge rack. Like, ridiculously huge for someone who has to talk about that kind of stuff. Well, I guess that's the definition of the word irony. Goodbye. Say goodbye to manhood. Goodbye. Say goodbye to babies. Goodbye. Say goodbye to kids like me. Thank you, Mount Your Sack. Holy crap! Do you see what I see? I'm afraid I do. We're being chased by ghosts! And if you find yourself with some young sexy thing, you're gonna have to do her with your ding a -ling. Cause you can't say penis. Oh, look. There they are. My family. You know, guys, I don't say this often enough, but, uh, I'm gonna die. That'll be like taking candy from a baby. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Well, despite your point of view, I can thrill a girl or two. But I'd rather get it on with you. My God, I can walk. It's a miracle. Sorry, Dad. Just get the chair. So were you, like, in an accident or what? No, me father was a tree. If it's gale force peeing you be doing, it could mean you've got barnacles on your prostate. Best to have sick bay check below your dicks. Wait a minute. Are you telling me I need a prostate exam? Aye, and soon before your rudder jams with flotsam and you're dropping anchor without an order from the captain. How are you liking all these nautical puns? Cute. Well, not bad. Somewhat entertaining. So the guy asks, what's the name of the act? And they say, the aristocrats. Ah, I didn't tell it right. Hey, must be my lucky day. Perhaps I press my luck. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, big bucks, big bucks, and stop! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, you ah, bastard! Ah, ah, you should 
should have seen your face. That's so uh, not funny. Now I gotta empty my pants. What's that? Uh, acorns. Acorns? Acorns, that's what I said. We sound too much alike. I know. Wow, we are zero for two on interventions today. I'm not changing for nobody. You're the, you're the ones with the problems. Hmm, maybe this one. Hey, looking at you pretty normal, huh? No. Ah, fudge. Wait, I know. I'll figure this out. The, the pieces are all there. I, I'll go home and figure this out. Dr. Hartman is my only hope, and there's no way he's gonna see me. Well, you'd best come up with something, Peter. Otherwise, this will happen to your prostate. You just, uh, carry a picture of a diseased prostate around with you? Never know when it's gonna come up in conversation, and then who's the one who's prepared. I've also got a map of Middle Earth, a cat doing a pull-up, and the guys from Primus. These poster jokes doing anything for you? Eh, hit and miss. We should hang out more. Ha, huh, what else be funny tonight? Uh, Star Jones got married. That was in the news. Uh, married a black fella, which is quite a surprise because I'd call her quite a catch. And black guys, by and large, uh, they're not so helpful on a fishing vessel. The Portuguese, absolutely, absolutely. I even had a couple of Japanese guys who worked out great. Thank you very much. You guys have been terrific. You ever had your heart broken, Jerome? Hell yeah, man. Married my high school sweetheart. Week after our wedding, she was diagnosed with cancer. At a funeral, our little girl caught pneumonia. We buried her next to her mom six weeks later. You never seen a casket so small. I hear you. I gave me number to a girl and she threw it away. You and me, fraternity of pain, eh? Hello, lads. Oh, hello, Seamus. Right fine performance at the cricket match today. Aye, I was spirited to have you down there watching me. Well, it's a brilliant day for a long and confusing game of cricket. The field is teeming with men in helmets who don't seem like they need helmets, and men not in helmets who seem like they probably should be wearing helmets. Oh, he's probably clear out of the stadium. Is that good? We don't know, but it's what we do. Y yay! Oh! What is it, sir? That's what we call a manatee, boys. Or in nautical slang, the sea cow. If I could touch my own head, I'd salute you. With his head, I salute you. And their vessel was swept to the bottom of the briny deep, swallowed whole by the treacherous, unforgiving sea. They sank, I guess, would be the, the one thing to take away from this part of the seminar. When we come back, I'll show you how eye contact can make or break any business relationship. <laughs> Welcome to Disabled Ladies Night. Mine are made from teak. What are yours made from? Yeah, mine are actually just press board with wood veneer. I can't get wet. Oh, I think I see my friends. Yeah, Seamus is still on hold with Spirit Airlines. We don't give a crap about you, but we're the cheapest, so sit there and take it. Ah, sea turds. Mr. Seamus, five minutes to showtime, Mr. Seamus. Oh, I want to fly standby to Pittsburgh, but I also want to host them up at show. Let's do a road trip. Who's in? No, 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 not, not, not you, Seamus. Ah, poo. Hey, Chris Griffin, I just saw your video, and I'd love to go to your dance with you. Oh, oh my God! God. To the dance we we did. Did. Uh oh, this means I have an awkward phone call to make. What? No, no, it was stupid. What, two guys going to homecoming? I, I assumed it was a goof this whole time. Take it out. I'm ugly and unlovable. He's the one who made me what I am today. <sighs> I wish you were a real live ornery sea captain. But he didn't wish hard enough. It only worked on me head. Oh my god, seriously? No, actually, I was a normal guy until one night we dropped acid together and he thought I was a steak. Grilled me, ate me arms and legs, it was a... If it's fish you want, Pelican's Reef is where you'll find them. I've seen fish there. More fish than you could possibly imagine. Fish as far as the eye can see. Lots and lots of fish, I, I guess, I guess would be the main bullet point of this presentation. What are you in for? I bought some alcohol for someone I thought was my friend. How about you? I threw a bottle of rum through the window of the Apple Store. I couldn't remember me password. <sighs> well, this sucks. Oh, it's not so bad. Sometimes they let you take the good trash home if you ask nice. Last week I got an old greeting card. 
It obviously wasn't for me, but imagination's a hell of a thing. By the way, for those who came on my boat, I have those sandwiches. Who's up for water skiing? Hell yeah! All right! Yeah, let's do it! Oh, that sounds amazing. I love boats. Boats are my thing. Anything to get out on the open water. Enjoy the salt air. To... Oh, they're already gone. No, you didn't widen enough. But you still can't come. No, friend, you better get your ass out here before you make me cut this sentence short. <laughs> Where is he? Where the hell is Dufresne? I don't know, sir. Hey, we have almost the same voice. Excuse me, I'm the prison doctor. I'm here for Andy's checkup. Andy Dufresne? Yeah, Andy Dufresne. We can't find him. Well, that's no good. All right, you two are gonna have to leave. I saw him once. Sure, I'm blind in one eye, and my other eye was infected that day from picking at it, and I was tired, and I'd been swimming in a pool with too much chlorine, and that was the hour my glasses were at lens crafters, but I seen that fish. Yeah! Okay, Seamus, today's the day you finally ask out that barista. What's the worst that could happen? I'm filling in for Peter. He's sick. All right, finally, a little harpoon in the bowling alley. Jeez, where is this pelican's reef? Thar. But beware, no man has ever returned. Many have gone, all have been lost. Vanished, never to be seen again. No one has ever come back, I guess, I guess would be the, the, the central theme of what I'm trying to get across. Wow. Wow. Are you glad you left the lighthouse now, Seamus? Oh, I think so, Seamus. Excuse me, I noticed you were talking loud, so that means you're smart. Is this guy giving you a hard time, Brian? No, he's all right. All right, cool, cool. How you doing, buddy? Hey, can one of you guys with elbows try to get this truck to honk? <laughs> ah, that and giving noogies is what I miss most about having elbows. Peter, how old is that girl? Uh, excuse me, won't you? A lot of scumbags out today. This is a men's club! There's the problem. The ratio be terrible. It's a total mast fest in here. I almost don't want to ask you out because I know you're going to say no. You want to go out? No? Okay. Congratulations. You just bought yourself a cursed boat. Are you up for bids too? You are just precious. Stewie, hey, what's up? Oh, I was just on my way back from the cobbler. Figured before I stopped by the apothecary, I'd come here, and then it's off to the haberdasher. These turn-of-the-century business jokes doing anything for you? Not really. Did you use the jokes? Yeah, they're not landing. Ah. You already have a family. It's right there. Ooh. Those won't keep you warm at night. Okay, you clean up the warden's office while I go pop out a pine cone. Hey, you know what would be funny? You should take one of those records and play it over the PA system. Nah, you shouldn't do that, but it'd be funny. Okay, I'll be back in three and a half minutes. The average length of a song on any long-playing album. Do you want to join me in a game of Mumble Peg? Oh, no thanks. Fine, I'll play by myself. One nothing. You shake me nerves and you rattle me brain. Too much love drives a man insane. You broke me will. Oh, what a thrill. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. We don't have empty rooms right now, but if you'll have a seat... Yeah, uh, I kind of, uh, warmed myself up in the car if you catch my drift. I could put you in the storage freezer. That'll work. Nurse, I've got a splinter! What seems like a lie to me? A forever stamp that says love on it. Oh, you wanna go ahead of me? Hey, how are you? You know what seems like a lie to me? Wait, Seamus had arms and legs? Chris, I'm not sure you have the green light to just chime in whenever. Lewis. Let's go take a midnight swim at Sharkbite Cove. Oh, sounds wonderful, Seamus, but I have other plans. Okay, well, I'm definitely going. God, Seamus, I've, uh, never seen you this naked. Ah, it's good to let the old midsection breathe. What, uh, how the hell are you alive? This is the way we deliver the news on the high seas. Thirteen are dead in a subway in Paris and heavy rains flooded the east side of Pittsburgh and gas prices have hit a 14-year high and Brittany backed over her seven-month-old. Wow! 
Looks like that baby is all wet. <laughs> Classic Woody. <laughs> this is Woody. Arrgh, it's a mighty haul. Hey. Oh. Yeah, it's me as Neptune. Thanks to you, we got leapfrogged by Seamus's foursome. And what do the rest of you think? I... Help! It's so sucky and squeezy! I'll handle this. I've tangled with the likes of these before. Wow, that was awesome, Mr. Seamus! Ah, it was nothing. That's how I caught old Woody over there. I'd like to change my vote. Me too. Oh, I want to change mine back then. Me too. Great minds, eh? Peter, I'm interested in the redhead with the wooden arms and legs over there. You think you could introduce me? That's a table, Seamus. Don't point at her, don't point. She's looking... Oh, great. Now I gotta go in. Hey, I'm Seamus. My lord, there is no sign of her, and we searched far. Did you search wide? No. You gotta search wide. That's like half of it. Huh? I'm a San Francisco pirate. I hate my Ashberry in these jeans. A lot of the material is repeated. Allow me to introduce you to my son, Woody. Hey, Woody. Hey! He's gonna be a new character on the show. You're barely a character on the show. More than Woody! Who's he? James Woods. Oh, I thought he was a shark. No, he was on a show called Shark. But he's made of wood? No, his last name is Woods. But he's not made of wood. Nobody is. Can you put on the Canucks game? No, go away! Loser! Quagmire? No. Quagmire! That's what I said. Oh. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't I didn't hear you because of the prosthetics. Hey, just checking to see if the old man is dead. Oh, hey, guys! Jeez, how many of us are doing this con? I've got no chance, have I? A tertiary character like me. You most certainly do not. I don't even think we're going to give you the dance you rehearsed. Hey, Brian, I was just over talking to Quagmire, and he thought you might want to take a look at my new screenplay. Oh, I, I don't really, uh... It's called Oceans 1. Between you and me, I can't believe nobody's done it before. <laughs> to say nothing of Oceans 2 through 7. Yeah, I, I could, uh, take a look, sure. It's a little long right now. It's about 430 pages. I have my all-is-lost moment on page 389, thereabouts. Quagmire! Now, if you don't know... Most Hollywood screenplays wrap up in around 110 pages. And if and it's a comedy, why, well, you want it in the 90s. Anyway, they said I could have these last few seconds to mention something near and dear to me. So, men, don't be afraid to have the doctor put a camera up your old saddle masher. They knock you out now, and it's a good way to make sure there's no bad beans in your mess wagon. We hope you've enjoyed the family guy. Well, keep that freakish thing under wraps. I don't want it cramping my style while I'm macking on toddlers. See you around, bitch. You probably have my novel, but just so you know, in here, I'm just one of the guys, all right? You have my novel, right? Nope. Nope. You got it, though. Nope. You got it? Nope. Nobody's got it. All right. Do you think that's part of God's infinite plan? I think your whole religion is a sham just so you can get extra holidays off from work. Oh, gotta go. It's Buchwoch. I think the cheese is that way. I'm pretty sure it's over here. Guys, guys, finding the cheese is what they want us to do. Let's just chill. I don't know where they're getting all this weed. I had a feeling this is what this place would be like. Oh, God, Why it's is so it hot out. Parking downtown. Who gets married on a get off these bad feet? Ailments. Oh, look, Joe's feeding them pennies. Oh, oh, somebody take a picture. Yep, yep, people are watching. I'm that good. Ew! I'm sorry, Brian. I I've got to go. Damn it, you guys. Her dad's really rich. Balzac. <laughs> Homo erectus. <laughs> Spotted dick. <laughs> the results have been disappointing. I always thought Spotted Dick had something to do with Morgan Freeman. Hey, Meg, you want to huck some water balloons at nerds? Sure. 
What the hell? <laughs> hey, I just realized we're the rock. What do you mean? Together, you and I make one biracial wrestler. Do you have any folding chairs? No. That's all right. I'll use this. Folding chair! Ah! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Anonymous. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Peter, Peter, you hear that? I'm matching the sound. Is what I'm doing helping? Hi, Forrest. I know you just got back from Vietnam and you love me, but I'm going to go run a train with this group of Black Panthers I just met. Okay, Jenny. Hi, Forrest. I know you came all this way to New York to visit me, but I'm going to go do blow and have sex with a bunch of stockbrokers. Okay, Jenny. Hi, Forrest. Now that I have the most contagious and incurable disease known to mankind, I'll finally have pity sex with you. Okay, Jenny. You been drinking tonight, sir? Uh, no, officer. I just had a glass of dinner with my wine. Okay, I'm going to need you to step out of the car and walk a straight line, please. Stewie, do you even know what a menstrual cycle is? Uh, yeah, Brian. It's a good way to get around town. That's what it is. We now return to B-E-T-E-T. -E -T. Don't you need to phone home? Nah, I'll do it later. Hey! Come with me, Meg, my princess. We're gonna take this relationship to the next level. Luigi's here again? I thought that was a one-time thing. He like him a sloppy seconds. I, uh, that's not really my thing. I'll get you one. Please don't. Hey, come on. The guy wants to get your necklace. Let him get your necklace. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Disappear. Disappear. Come on. Come on. That's weird, huh? Yeah, the doorknob was really hot, but I just let go instead of holding on to it. And there's some ice on the stairs to the basement, so I guess just don't go down there. Just so you guys know, I have a tarantula. Are you enjoying your coffee, sir? Yeah, it's very smooth. Good flavor. What if we told you that we secretly replaced your coffee with Folgers Crystals? Wouldn't you feel like a dumbass? Because of how you just raved about it just now? You stupid son of a bitch! Deck the house with boughs of hari. Ra 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 ra. You blew it. You wish you could change the neighborhood. You want to be a select man. You blew it. You wish you could open up a restaurant. You did not want to pay protection money. Knock knock. Who's there? You blew it. You blew it who? You blew it bad. Uh, how's the weather down there? You short idiot. Shall we tell him his pants fell off? No, let's wait a while. Well, you can't tell by the way I use my walk. I walk all the time, because my legs can walk. So, as you can see, sales are going very well. He stole me horn! What about Mr. Demerson? Is he single? I, I, I don't know. What about Mr. Adelaide? Is he single? I don't know who that is. Well, who do you know who is single? Uh, I'm assuming you. Oh, oh hey, look, cake! <laughs> You're a jerk, Glenn Quagmire! Oh, honey, I'm so excited to finally meet your girlfriend. Here she comes now! Yoo-hoo, baby! Oh, no! Dive bars. Dive bars are my favorite. They're so much better than regular bars because worse is better. I know, right? They're my favorite, too. I'm quirky like that. I've got quirky taste. I'm a quirky girl. It seems like we would be perfect for each other. But really, we're terrible for everyone. I cried a tear. You wiped it dry. I was confused. You cleared my mind. Hey, Mac, you here for the expired hot dogs? No, Carl, I'm looking for Chris. I've looked everywhere and I can't find him. Huh, I haven't seen him, but I'll keep an eye out. Hey, bozos, what do you think of this? 
<laughs> I did it! I did it! You're crazy, man! You're so crazy! <laughs> hey, tweet, tweet! Check out my expensive fountain! I am a falconer, and I will eat whatever Xerxes brings me. Feed master! Peanut, what the hell? As a pig, I am very dirty and should not be touched by humans. You get out of here! I'll kill you! But come back tomorrow, same time. I get very sad on Sundays when you're not here. Don't listen to that, Peter! That Peter is a liar! Run! Be free! They will enslave you! <laughs> Okay, that's two down, guys. Two outs. Two out of the three outs required. Okay, guys, let's go. Tom Brady is a quarterback. Okay, heads up. Two down. College football is on Saturday. Okay, come on. Look alive. NBA players are predominantly black. We won, you dicks. You suck. Um, excuse me. Would you mind keeping it down? We're having my son's birthday party over here. Yeah, sure, 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 honey. What's his name? Mikey. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mikey. Yeah! Hey, Horace, get that wiener out of your hand and give us three more beers over here. Ah, <laughs> Lois, you're always giving me the business. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Horace, why don't you take that wiener out of your hand and give me a beer? Don't talk to me that way, you son of a bitch. To the clown. Yo, you, what, your hair looks stupid. One more push. <sighs> there we go, it's a boy. And he's got a gun! Dad, my favorite hen laid this crazy-looking egg! Cheep, cheep! <laughs> oh my god, help! He's having a heart attack! Is anyone here a doctor? No way someone's a doctor here. Don't look at us, you pig! Take your juicy sweatpants and your dirty pillow from home and your bucket of coke and get the hell out of my sight! What was her problem? So, you made your money in business? Where's your room, handsome? Hey, is your refrigerator running? Yes, it is. Are your doors unlocked? You... What? Why? Congratulations, you are now a member. Oh my god, really? And to think yesterday I was just a guy at home eating catnip. We now return to Game of Thrones on BET. I got a big-ass coat, chair to sit in, chowder's cup of wine, and a midget. Thank you. Clementine? None for me, thanks. Clementine? Yes, thank you. Clementine? Yeah, I'll have one. Ooh, softly. Sorry. Yes, I'll have one. There you go. God, it's good to be old and nude. Oh, what? What? Oh, what? What, what are you looking at? Oh, you coming for me? Nope. No, I'll just take a big backward knee step in the opposite direction. Yeah. Yeah, you think I'm afraid of you? I slept on your back last night, you Each year, the environment covers more than 40% of the Earth. Every animal on Earth lays eggs. Wait, wait, don't go in there. He's doing his podcast. Oh, that's cute. Now that I like. What do you think about this, you old bag? Oh, no. This is the treasure, Bri. You want a Vicodin? Isn't it dangerous to do drugs 10,000 feet in the air? Yeah, exactly. What the hell? Never gonna die! Your friend is like the coolest guy I've ever had up here. Ah, you gay ball! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That, that was, um, me farting. By, by Chopin. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. In fact, the only thing that would make me happier is, is would be if this tub was filled with yogurt. Can you, can you get me some yogurt? Is the yogurt shop still open? Is there, some, is there some place to dial up yogurt? Stop saying that. What's the best skin yogurt? Who, who can prepare me a nice yogurt treatment? If you say it like that one more time, I'm going to drown you. Yogurt. Uh, See, you're not, you're not gonna do anything. You're, hey, hey, Brian, am I a good little guy?
Fun. See, Brian, this trip's already off to a great start. Certainly better than that retreat we went on with the Quahog Baptist Choir. Why do we show our visitors how we sing what we see, y'all? Sing what we see. Sing what we see. Brother Roscoe, what do you see? Oh, I see Howard Johnson's billboard. Sing what you see. Uh -huh. An old red barn that needs a paint job. Sing what you see. Oh, yeah. Boy in a truck too young to drive. Sing what you see. Brian! Oh, uh, uh, car? Oh! oh come on. Let's just see what we see and keep it to ourselves. Okay, but I gotta be home by seven. I'm supposed to talk to the police about that shooting I witnessed. Good Lord, are you all right? If I die, leave two dollars worth of flowers right here. Here's my fourth grade class photo. Lean it against the cheap candle. Well, should I call an ambulance? No, call Channel 9 and have a gap-toothed woman say, quote, he never bothered nobody. Well, if there's anyone I can trust, it's a stranger at the gym holding a dirty needle. Here, Stewie, try this. Yeah, what the hell are you do? Whoa! Oh, my. Suddenly, I'm full of energy. All right, fat man, let's do this. Stewie, you look like a new man. Well, will you look at me? I have the power! <laughs> My God, I, I shall cherish this forever. I say, Opie, I'll trade you this baseball for your souvenir bat. Sure. <laughs> what did you learn? I gotta tell you, Bri, I am a big fan of sundresses. Oh, yeah, every woman looks good in a sundress. Yeah, just waiting for a big gust of wind, right? Yeah? Good gust of wind? See a couple of fannies? Yeah? Give him a little bare hand slap, a little cup. Yep, yeah, that's what we're here for. Okay, Stewie. Yeah, just give it a little test tap, see where she's at, then you're pushing all up on that fanny. Oh, Stewie. Yeah, yeah, whoa. Who's this Stewie, huh? Yeah, I'll tell you who this Stewie is. This is day drinking Stewie. On the patrol for fannies. Fanny! Yeah, fanny! What are you looking at? Hey. Hey. So I guess you heard about Meg's boyfriend, huh? I did. I did hear, yes. Weird, right? Guy has a crush on her own brother? I know, so weird, but you know the heart wants what the heart wants. I just hope it doesn't cause awkwardness, you know, in the house. Oh, no, it doesn't have to be awkward. Not if we don't make it awkward. I just don't see the attraction. I mean, is it all about that big package? Big? You really think so? Are you kidding? Biggest in the family. That thing should be hanging from the ceiling of a deli. Thanks, Brian. God, I have so much energy now. <laughs> Am I the only one who feels like grabbing a drink? <laughs> Stewie, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, Brian. Oh, there you are. I've been, I've been looking all over the table for you. You know, I'm going to tell you, this stuff you gave me was a lifesaver last night. I was out like a light. And, you know, normally I'm up five or six times to scream and defecate. But you know what? I slept straight through. Stewie, I told you, there's alcohol in that. It's not for kids. You're not for kids. <laughs> Hey, Bri? Yeah? Ah! Damn it! Ah! There's glass in my eye! Oh! Son of a bitch! Ah! Mom says dinner's at six. She wanted me to tell people. I don't know why. <laughs> Any word on Carter's condition yet? No, it's been three days, and I'm really starting to get worried. What if he's in a coma for like 20 years, and he comes out of the coma, and you guys are all dead, but I'm still alive, and I'm a famous race car driver, and he's like, oh, man, Stewie turned out awesome. And he comes to one of my races, and I'm so surprised to see him there, I crash, and then I'm in a coma for 20 years, and I wake up, and he's a race car driver. Stewie, do you want to be a race car driver when you grow up? Well, gosh, if you think I'd be good at it. You're just going to have to block out the cold, Stewie. Picture yourself in a warm place. Okay, I think I can do that. Do you remember when it was high? Tomorrow, love was changing the mind. Tonight, while chasing the clouds away. I'm ringing in the key that souls are singing. As we dance in the night, remember how the stars roll the night.
want the heat on, sir? Yes, please. And I got a job following fat people around with a tuba. Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem! That'll be sixty dollars. Cut it out! I'm just trying to live my life! No one taught me about carbs! And BC turns to AD! How's everybody doing? Oh, he's a miracle! Hey, if you're a virgin, how come I shot out of there like a greased-up cannonball? Brian, did you see Revenge of the Sith? Yeah, I saw part of it. Why does Emperor Palpatine have a desk? Huh? In that scene where Yoda comes in and they're about to have that big fight, Emperor Palpatine clearly gets up from his desk. I mean, I'm just saying, what does he, what does he need a desk for? Who the hell cares? I'm just saying, it's weird. I mean, I mean, what, like, what was he doing at his desk, like, right before Yoda walked in? What was he doing? Was he doing paperwork? Was he like, oh, Yoda, what do you need, and will it take longer than five minutes? I am absolutely swamped. These requisition forms for new TIE fighters have to be down to Debbie in accounting by six, or Newt Gunray is gonna pitch a tent in my waiting room. <gasps> Boy, he's really upset. Ugh, I can't deal with anything until I've had my after-nap coffee. I don't think guys should have two hands on a coffee mug ever. What? Mmm, <laughs> oh, yummy. Don't do that either. J just, just don't do anything. I think gender reassignment surgery is very brave, and the fat man should win some kind of award for it. The fat woman. He hasn't chopped it off yet. That doesn't matter. Peter already identifies as a woman. And on karaoke night, I identify as George Michael. That doesn't mean it's true. Brian's just mad because he has to be the lady one. Which makes you the one who's gay in real life. There. Now you got a fresh new diaper, Stewie. What are you talking about? What's going on? I think you're getting a diaper change. Ah, get that poop-filled thing away from me! No! Oh, God, it's cold! Whoa, smells like somebody needs a diaper change. Damn right I do! Now get this turd-filled sack off! Oh, my God, it just went back in my body. I hate bewitched. Hey, so that's a pretty reasonable reaction, huh? Ah, the breakfast thing. <laughs> yes. I, it, it wasn't even about the eggs, really. Frankly, I like the yolks. I, I, I don't I have no problem with it. It's just... There's always been a lot of tension between Lois and me. And it's not so much that I want to kill her. It's just I want her not to be alive anymore. Uh, I, I sometimes wonder if, if all women are this difficult. And then I think to myself, my God, wouldn't it be marvelous if I turned out to be a homosexual? Oh, I always loved this little sailor suit. Or we could do nice corduroys and a sweater. Or you could make yourself useful and wipe my button. Circular motion, one finger. And don't you look at me! Stewie! Stewie, how's that oatmeal? Is it true you're having an affair with that oatmeal? What do you say about the rumors that you have a full diaper? I'm just trying to eat here. What did you do to your mother's vagina? Leave me alone! How come your feet are so small? Is it true you can't say spaghetti? What about the rumors that you have cooties? Is it true you doubled your weight in the last six months? <laughs> Oh, Daddy! Help me, Daddy! I can't get involved because of journalism. Get Stewie? Uh, hey. Hey there. So, uh, it's been 24 hours. Got my money? Oh, I, you know what? Just give me till next Friday. I'll have it for you. Oh. Oh, that's funny. I could have sworn I said have it today. Yeah, I don't have it. Sorry. Oh, well, all right then. Mmm, that's good, OJ. <laughs> Yeah, that hurt? Ah, that hurt? What the hell? Yeah, it ah, feels so good, does it? Ah, no, ah, huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> ah.
Uh, yeah, uh, that's what happens, uh, man. Oh my god! Yeah, that's what happens. Uh, 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 Where's my money? Uh, uh, you gonna give me my money? Where's my money, man? Where's the money? Yeah, you like that? That feel good? That feel good? Where's the money, man? Where's my money? You got till five o'clock, you hear me? You got till five o'clock! You freaking psychopath! Yeah, clean yourself up. Stewie, you want a mommy rocket ride? What? What do you mean? Here we go! Get ready for blast off! Oh, son of a bitch! Ah! Oh my god, Stewie, are you alright? Nice throw, Casey Anthony. Brian, will you watch Stewie for a minute? Sure. And please keep a close eye on him. Remember what happened last time. Stewie, get down before you hurt yourself. Shut up! You're not my mother! Good God, are you all right? Fine, why do you ask? What's going on, B-? minus? What's a heps? Stewie, you look gross. You look like Lou Ferrigno's poop. I look like a guy who's been hitting the gym. It has nothing to do with the gym. You're on drugs. Doesn't matter how you find the pot of gold, B to the Ryan. All that matters is that you beat the leprechauns. That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't have to make sense when you look like this. Ugh! I am hotter than phone sex with a blind girl. Look, here's a shiny sixpence if you keep your mouth shut and go away. Eh. Hey. Who the hell are you? I'm the guy Stewie pays to watch him sleep. Who are you? I'm Brian. I live here. Oh. Do you mind if I take this script? Yeah, sure, whatever. He just pays me to watch him sleep and rub this knife across my face while I do it. Oh. Okay. Hey, how much does Stewie pay you? 4800 a week. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there a problem? Huh? You want to go? You want to go? Go? What, what are you talking about? I'm talking about go. That's what I'm talking about. First one's on the house. I got things to do. Oh, uh, where do you think you're going? I'm going downstairs. Oh, there's a toll in the hall now. Ten bucks. Look, can I... Uh, I just... Uh, Stewie... Uh, Look, up. Come on, up. I up. Just up. You up. This is up. Can I up? Ah, I'm just messing with you, man. You can do whatever you want. I was just kidding you. Why are you so serious? Hey, I'm Stewie Griffin, and I'm gonna be kicking my dad's ass all day today. Come on, Stewie. You're acting crazy out there, man. Lewis. 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 Mom. 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 Mommy. 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 Mama. 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 Ma. 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 Mom. 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 Mommy! Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> Johnny Quest. Okay, welcome aboard. Dr. Benton Quest. All right, have a good flight. Haji. Hmm, uh, listen, you've been randomly selected for additional screening, but you didn't even type anything in. Look, if it were up to me, you'd be right there on that flight. But, uh, I'm gonna need you to take off your shoes and that lovely, uh, hat. Sim, sim, salabim! Yeah, I'd cut back on that. Go, 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 go! Huh, nothing. Peter, it's seven in the morning. Thanks for the update, Big Ben. <laughs> You're drunk again. No, I'm just exhausted because I've been up all night drinking. Oh, Peter! Why are you naked in my house? Uh, why aren't you? You're all right, Griffin. I faked my own death once. <laughs> no dentist appointment for this guy. How's this one? Oh, Bach is very good, I recommend. And this one? 
Oh, Mozart, the boy genius, the best. Okay, how about this? Oh, the pussy. I love the pussy. Sometimes all I can think about is the pussy. Oh, look at the penis. The penis is so good with the pussy. So you like his early work? Oh, yes, when the pussy was young. That's when you want the pussy. Okay, I'll take these two. Very good, sir. Just make sure you finish on the back. Never finish on the pussy. <laughs> So I'm going to measure your penis, and then I'm going to measure my penis, and we're going to see whose is bigger. Doesn't really seem fair. All right, let's see what you get. Stupid game anyway. Because we don't want to make a big mistake, like when I peed next to the chatty guy. Hey, man, we should get out of here. The building's on fire. Hey, pal, not now. I'm busy. Anyway, I'll tell you what's on fire. My urethra. That's the last time I go to a water park, I'll tell you that much. Well, that's not completely true, because I have a group on, and I'd hate to waste it. Plus, the truth is, the kid... Oh, my God. I was the chatty guy. Last day on Earth, last chance to do this. I'm gonna find the black neighborhood and see what happens if I yell the you-know-what word. They respected me for saying it. Because he thinks you're annoying. Like people who never shut up about their kids. He... he would have been four today. I, I still don't understand. How do you drown in an inch of water? <laughs> Well, I guess I don't have a new sweater and a haircut. And I need money for bourbon and anime. Well, I just can't understand any of this. Everybody in Japan is either a 10-year-old girl or a monster. Now, Peter, are you sure this is all you want for Christmas? I'm only going to the mall once. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All new this Christmas, remote control cars that glow in the dark? Get that! Yeah! Peter, how are you doing that? I, I, don't, I don't know, Lois. I'm scared. Well, come down. I, I can't. I, I, I get help. Call somebody. Well, who, who do I call? I, I, I don't know. A, a police, a fire, a, a scientist. Call a scientist. Uh, okay, you can stay here with your father. I'm gonna go find a scientist. Am I gonna die? So, Peter, where do you see yourself in five years? Don't say doing your wife, don't say doing your wife, don't say doing your wife. Doing your... son? Well, Peter, watch the road! Lois, get off my back, will you? I'm trying to watch TV. I swear to God, sometimes I think your head's screwed on backwards. I mean, do you have any idea? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> ah! uh, uh... Hey, Crashy, what are you doing down there? All right, time to make all those popular kids pay for ignoring me. Now, Peter, no, you're just a normal high school kid. Oh. Hey, Lance, it, it, it's off, it's off, it's off, it's off. <laughs> Throw this phone away, Lois. And the Care Bear is just a Care Bear. I am so ready. Okay, guys, I got one. Would you rather get a massage from a man or surgery from a female doctor? Wow. Like minor surgery? No, serious surgery, like a blown kidney or something. Jeez. Good question, Peter. Is the man gay? Nope. Is the female doctor at least Jewish or Asian? No, but actually, you know what? I'm going to take it up a notch. Hispanic female doctor or gay male masseuse? Hispanic from Spain? No. Oh. Oh. So it's basically, would you rather get a massage from a gay man or die? Well, looks like it's just you and me, Shadow. Shadow! He's nowhere in sight. I'll ask these fellas. Maybe they've seen him. Excuse me, have you seen... Oh, ho hold on a second. I'm trying... Ho hold on a sec. Hey, pal, stop talking while I'm talking. All right? You want a sandwich full of knuckles? Do you? All right, that's it. Cleveland, you take Cleveland. Joe, you take Joe. Quagmire, you take Quagmire. And I'll get Fatty McLoudmouth. It's no use, Peter. Man, how the hell am I gonna quit smoking? I wish smoking could just quit me instead. Thank you for meeting me here. I have something very important to tell you. 
I have something important to tell you, too. Peter, I think we should see other people. Okay. Uh, good. That's what I was gonna say, too. I thought you liked working at the toy factory. Hell no. I always wanted to be a podiatrist. Thanks to you, Dr. Griffin, my bunion is healed and I can walk without pain. This isn't a joke. I once had legitimate aspirations. Jack. 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 What is that other word? Well, then sell the cow and be sure you get real money for it. What else would I get? I don't know. Magic beans? There are magic beans? I don't know. Who cares? Well, what's magic about them? Don't get magic beans, you idiot. What? I, I never even freaking heard of magic beans till you said them. If I do get them, it's you what caused it. Oh, come on. I'm supposed to go into town and sell this cow. Oh, you're selling that cow? I don't have much, but I'll give you some magic beans for it. Oh, <gasps> that's exactly what I was supposed to get. I said not magic beans. Look, let, let's just admit we both kind of got our wires crossed and commit to being clearer in the future. Dad, this stuff, I, I think it's going to be hard for you to hear. Oh, don't worry, Meg. I brought this handkerchief to dab my forehead whenever you say something sexual. So uh, I'm, I'm sitting on Santa's lap, oh, and it's like my whole body starts to tingle. Oh, my stars. And, and then there's like a, a deep... I better loudly drop an Alka-Seltzer in this glass of water. Red pants. Very all loud the wrinkles fizzing. are smoothing out. Like I, I may need to widen my eyes until they look like a young girl's wrinkles. Snapchat like, filter. Sort of a, a warm steam iron. Okay. Okay, Meg. Jack? Jack, 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 Jack. What is that other word? My last beer. Here it goes. I bet that scroll makes the beer taste terrible. Oh, oh God. What the hell? I found it! I found the last scroll! He found it! Oh, my God! Run home, Peter. Run as fast as you can. in front of me, and I'm gonna throw 40 bucks on your sweaty bodies when you're done. Let's see the money. Well, you'll always be a big shot in this family, sweetheart. Thanks, honey. And I got a little surprise for you. In that contract you signed, you got to keep the corporate plane. <gasps> yeah! Peter, how are you doing that? I, 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 don't, I don't know, Lois. I'm scared. Well, come down. I, I can't. I, I, I get help. Call somebody. Well, who, who do I call? I, I, I don't know. A, a police, a fire, a, a scientist. Call a scientist. Uh, okay, you can stay here with your father. I'm going to go find a scientist. Am I going to die? We've now reached a cruising altitude. If you look out the window, you'll see the Rocky Mountains. Ah! We have to get out of here. <laughs> Hello, flabby, out-of-shape family. Check out my bulging ripliness. Peter, you've been to the gym once. For 15 minutes. And I'm 15 minutes stronger, Brian. I'd rip a phone book in half, but for the life of me, I don't know anyone who uses a phone book anymore. So I'll use Meg's laptop. Dad! What the hell? A 
pallet? Am I, am I reading this right? You, you need a pallet of chocolate-covered pretzels. Where, 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 where the hell am I supposed to... Uh, what, what is this? A drum of grape jam? Is that... Uh, what is it? Is that like a drum, like, they ship oil in? Is that... Uh, uh, look at this one. A desk of Cheez-Its. A desk? Where, where are you getting these units of measurement from? Mary. <laughs> that is still funny. Okay, you stay right here, big funny gal. I'll be right back with a hammock of cake. I have to say, Peter, I am impressed by how much you have committed yourself to Islam. Are you kidding? It's awesome. I even started wearing leather sandals with way too long toenails. See how the big ones are getting yellow? Ah, uh, yes. Very Muslim. 9-11 was bad. <laughs> I agree with that. 9-11. 9 See, there's a pain. Yeah. If there's a plane, there's probably a pilot. And if there's a pilot, there must be a bar. I can finally get a drink. I don't trust you. You put your seed in my daughter's belly. You're fired. But, Pa, you can't fire me. You're lucky you're my brother, too, or I'd kill you. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, I'm an experienced crop dusting pilot. You can trust us completely. My friend here is too young to put a seed in your daughter's belly, and I'm of a different species. You're hired. <laughs> Boy, will your face be red when they find the black box on this one. Peter, move. We need the TV. Is this... is this a coven? No, we're watching the news. Now get out of the way. We had a bottle of wine and a joint at Bonnie's house, and we want to watch Dallas Portland before the buzz wears off. Your chicken heads are out of control. Yoga for men? Yes, says the inventor of Broga. Oh, I feel like I'm cheating on Tom Bergeron. That's who you're all excited about? That chiseled Adonis with eyes the color of summer's first blueberry? I don't know about none of that, but look at that bulge in his shorts. I've never seen a bulge in the front of a man's pants before. You see that, Peter? That's the right amount of leg hair. My leg hair's fine. I have what they call the Irish wisp. Peter, what the hell? Where's your ski mask? It's kind of hard to breathe in those things, so I just dressed up like Harry Potter. <sighs> All right, let's go. Lois, if anything should happen to us, I want you to know I haven't been happy for a long time. Yes, Peter, you've told me that like ten times. All right. All the lights are out. They must be asleep. It's go time. Peter, what the hell was that? That's what you do, Lois. God, this is such an East Coast pharmacy. How are we going to find gauze and bandages in the middle of all this crap? Uh, I think he keeps them next to the thousand-piece puzzle of a lobster trap. I don't see it. You mean next to the Kadima paddles or next to the basic black sweatshirt with no writing on it? No, I think they're over there between the rain ponchos and the cap guns and just below the balsa wood gliders and the net bag of flip-flops and a beach pail. Above the set of jacks? Yes, above the jacks and the bicentennial playing cards and across from the giant cage with the beach balls next to the wiffle ball bats and the spark spitting cars. I don't... Oh, next to the wax bottles of weird juice. Yes, behind the plastic bag of Mexican soldiers from the Alamo and the super elastic bubble plastic. Oh, yeah, I got him. Joe, thank you so much for inviting us to your barbecue. Well, it's my pleasure, Lois. Hey, can one of you other men come over here and comment on the meat while I'm cooking it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah, coming along nicely. You know, those are cooking just fine. Scoop that one up and put it back down in the exact same spot. All right, they're done. Time to eat. Oh, boy, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. I, uh, I misspoke. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. A sorry board game. Let me see it. Three pieces missing. How'd you do that? I can shake anything and figure out what all's in there. You got 11 periods left. Man, look at them. They make such a cute couple. Like Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man. Well, I got a leaf. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. 
Oops. Sorry, Skippy. <gasps> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Is Chris wearing a nicotine patch? You know what? It's just like I said. He and Chris go together. Like peaches and cream. Peaches. Peaches, I'm sorry. Damn it! You could have at least given me some warning. At least a, a shoulder tap. I know. You're right. It's just that you're so beautiful, I can't control myself sometimes. Aw, I can't stay mad at you. How about a kiss? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, my God, your baby is adorable. So cute. Let me guess, 10 months? Oh, my God, my new look is working. I'm back into months. Chris, what's all that lotion for? Are you a scientist, Mom? I'm a scientist. It's for masturbating. Hey, now get in the car. Okay, but it'll cost you. What do you want, a Cleveland steamer? I said get in the car. What's a Cleveland steamer? It means that he'll... Whoa, 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 be cool, be cool. Yeah, so go to Maple Street and then take a left and then uh, you go... Uh... Okay, so you want a party or what? Get in the car right now! I couldn't hear you. The radio was too loud. Meg and I have been working nights. I'll take the one on the right. Well, once again, Meg, I'll be back in an hour. Why are we at a health food store? Well, we gotta get that ring out of you. And this is a place where people buy disgusting cereals to help them poop. Well, which one should we buy? I don't know. Let's ask. Are there any gray-haired lesbian art teachers who can help us select a fiber cereal? This won't take long. We know your large dogs are tied up outside. <laughs> Wait a minute. Since there's two of us, this means we can finally catch our own tail. I got it. No, I got it. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. There they are. Get them. Brian, we've got to get out of here. Stewie, my hero. Not now, babe. The war. Oh, what the hell? Come here, Hillary. Looking good. Almost done. And there. Done. <gasps> what have you done? I painted the truth. I painted my truth. Well, looks like it's just you and me, Shadow. Shadow! Let's see. Ex-girlfriends you'll play. Root beer from two Julys ago. Here we go. Expired milk. Oh, oh my God, Jenny. Look how young you look. We, the jury, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty. Yes. What the hell? What? what? Maybe we should get new roommates. Yeah, maybe we should. Peter, what the hell happened to my underwear? They're all stretched out. Oh, sorry about that. Me and the guys were using them to shoot crab apples at old man McCratchen's truck. We don't want raisins on Halloween. We want candy. Hey, Quagmire, aren't you going to get in on this? I, uh, kind of got my own game going on over here. Hey, Lois, what's going on here? Oh, it's my book club, Peter. Come join us. Oh, okay. Hey, heard you got your license. Maybe after school you could take me to get some groceries. Yeah, or maybe you and me hop in that car of yours and do some grocery shopping. Looks like you have a roomy back seat. I'd love to fill that with groceries after school. Hey, it's Stewie. All I know about cars is what my mom does. Hey, before you two leave, let's take a photo. Yeah, selfie! <laughs> I just learned that word. Perfect! Stewie, come on. You don't know how to use that thing. Oh, really? What if I hold it sideways like a black guy? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, man. Take it easy, all right? I, I don't want any trouble. There's not going to be any trouble as long as you eat my... No way! Those guys have a TV in their car! <laughs> They're watching Operation Dumbo Sex with Don Nuts. Professor, you've got to impregnate this elephant or the entire species will become extinct. You mean I gotta put this thing in that thing? 
Well, this is a job that's not worth the money. Peter, watch the road. Lois, get off my back, will you? I'm trying to watch TV. I swear to God, sometimes I think your head's screwed on backwards. I mean, do you have any idea? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Crashy. What are you doing down there? Oh, I see. Oh, you're all here because you heard the news. Well, fine. Peter Griffin crapped himself at work. Happy? Peter. No, no, Lois. Well, let's get it all out. I'm sure you also heard that someone walked into my office while I was sucking on my own toes. And do I go fast walking in nurses' shoes every Saturday in the park? Yes, I do. Peter, we're not here because of any of that. Okay, I know what this is about. Somebody saw me holding hands with a guy at Quiznos this morning. All right, and was I involved in the Oklahoma City bombing? A little bit. No, Peter, you're not getting it. Okay, we'll go deeper. Yeah, I was swindled by that cat who said he was from the future. Turns out he was just a present-day cat with a smooth sales pitch. Dad, you don't understand. Oh, I understand. I understand I've made hundreds of deadly enemies by shouting racial taunts up at the jailhouse windows. Oh, and another thing. Raise your hand if you think ducks are magic. And up it goes. Peter's the only one. Peter, that's not why they're here. And no, none of us heard about you soiling yourself at work. How do you know what's inside you unless you test yourself? Don't do one push-up. Do 100. Don't run one mile. Run a marathon. Don't have one family. Have a second family all the way across the country. Don't just have a second family. Have a third family in Santa Fe with an alternative lifestyle. Don't spend any time with the first two families. Make a commitment to family number three and double down by announcing it at his war hero father's retirement party. Don't go to the funeral. Because remember, you've got two other families to deal with and a marathon to train for. Don't just let Kenneth walk out of your life. Take his life from him. Don't just go to jail. Go to death row by killing the two other families. Don't just let anyone have their closure by apologizing. Send a message that you're not afraid of hell. Nike. You may not know this, but our full name is Nigel. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your eye on the sky for the aerial acrobatics of Captain Glenn Quagmire. Whoa, gonna need some help here. <laughs> all right. Meg, I know you hate having to be in bed all day, but your father's bringing in the old TV. Hey, Meg. Peter, what the hell? I don't want to catch the mumps, Lois. Here's your TV, Meg. It's a little old and there's no remote and it only gets one channel and it's not on that channel right now. Chris, check it out. Jackass number two. <laughs> this whole day has been one big laugh riot. Peter the hell is all this? Well, I'm a bachelor, so I invited a bunch of people over, and now I'm waiting for them to leave. That's what bachelors do. Peter, I'm interested in the redhead with the wooden arms and legs over there. You think you could introduce me? That's a table, Seamus. Don't point at her. Don't point. She's looking... Oh, great. Now I gotta go in. Hey, I'm Seamus. Guys, winning those seats is our highest priority. Even higher than my dream of winning socks on karate. <laughs> point! Winner! Ow! Look, relax. We'll just tell him the truth. We're cruising around town looking for a sexually active 14-year-old boy. You have any idea how fast you were going? I was going the speed limit, officer. He was. Are you here against your will, sir? If you're asking if I'd rather be at the zoo, then yes. Maybe you step out of the car and we see if you've been drinking. <sighs> I'm too fat to be in the car by myself. We now return to Home Alone with Competent Robbers. Hey, be careful. There's cars on the floor here. Thanks. That's weird, huh? Yeah, the doorknob was really hot, but I just let go instead of holding onto it. And there's some ice on the stairs to the basement, so I guess just don't go down there. Just so you guys know, I have a tarantula. Well, now there are no witnesses. Mm, have a good day, sweetie.
Hey, Greg. Afternoon, Mr. Griffin. Mrs. Griffin out today? Shopping. Ah. Ah, she's hot. <sighs> All right, I guess I could text Lois. But just this once. Okay, we're good. Peter, the water's rising fast. We gotta get out of here. Hang on, Lois. There's a case of beer in the fridge. I can't leave that behind. Meg, you're a good swimmer. Go get it. What? But, Dad... And for God's sake, do not be afraid to make me a sandwich while you're in there. <gasps> Peter, Meg's been in there a long time. Boy, you cannot wait to criticize her at every turn, can you? Go get her! Well, Lois, I am sorry for snapping at you earlier. You were right to criticize Meg. She could not even handle this simple task. She's in there right now, taking a nap underwater. So, what seems to be the trouble? Dr. Hartman, something's wrong with me. Everyone's treating me like I'm abroad. I don't know what's going on. I recognize that hysterical tone of voice. Sounds like someone's having their monthly. All right, sweetie, let me just spit on my hand and we'll get started. Yeah, get away from me, you creep! <gasps> my God! There was nothing wrong with my mirror. Everyone sees me as a woman! Oh no! This is the universe giving me what I deserve for being such a pig all the time! From now on, I'm gonna do things differently. Men are jerks! Let's swear off of them and find comfort in each other. Come here, you guys! Hmm. Yeah. Well, Chris, there may be more lap sitting than there's been, and I might answer most of your questions with a story, but mostly my mustache tells people that there is a 90% chance that I am poorly educated that I keep upscale porn magazines out in the open, and that I listen to the Little River Band with giant headphones. Ugh, that's the ugliest thing the fat man's grown since that horse leg. Hey, Peter, have you seen my... Ah! Oh, Brian, I'm sorry, but what do I keep saying? Do not stand behind me, because I will get scared. Hey, so we've been stuck out here for over 20 years. Can you catch us up on all the important things that we've missed? So no way! Kylie Jenner and Tyga are no longer together? Splitsville, my friend. How did Robert Kardashian die? Guilt cancer. From what? Oh, boy. So people thought the dancing Judge Itos were funny? For a while, yes. Is Leno still doing it? No, he's not hosting anymore. Oh, so Conan got the Tonight Show? <sighs> oh, come on. And so what about Craig Kilborn? Is he still on? I'm actually right here. Oh, right. Hey, Craig. You, you imbeciles! You ruined my night! I asked for one thing in this house! Stewie, just watch your show upstairs. I didn't want to watch it upstairs on the small TV. I want to watch it downstairs on the big TV. I want to watch my show! Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, no. Stewie's having a tantrum. I'm here, sweetie. <laughs> Ow! Screw you, you little turd! <laughs> What's all that noise? Oh, do you want a hug from your big sister? <laughs> Ow! Hi there. Hello. Do you have a minute to save a child's life? Yeah, I guess. You've got a minute. Tick tock. What are you doing? 30 seconds now. I'm listening. What am I even convincing you of? Tell me why Smokey the Bear wears jeans but no shirt. Why would they do that? Is that what this is all about? That's what this is all about. Guys, I'm tired of God messing with football. We gotta do something about it. Like what? We gotta find God and tell him to cut the crap. 
How many times is God going to ruin our Sunday with both church and bad football? It's time someone told God to stay where he belongs, in our schools, and, and telling people where they can stick their wieners. Now, what do you say? Let's go find God. All right, I'm in. Me too. Let's do this. Whoa, whoa, Joe, Joe, what the hell? What? I thought, uh, find God was a code word. No, we meant literally go and find him. Oh. Well, I already texted Bonnie. Thanks, Tom. Yes, quite an ordeal for Cole Hogg's Peter Griffin. So, Mr. Griffin, you were going around in circles for 12 hours. Are you suffering any ill effects from the centrifugal force? The wind on my skin is like knives. Oh my god, Bonnie, are you watching the news right now? Yes, I'm so sorry about Peter. Oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. But did you see that sweet new piece of ass, Dallas Portland? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you ask my index and middle finger? I thought this was a recovery day. No days off, bro. You know, this is a great house for a party. You can invite the whole class. Well, I say, that's a brilliant idea. What the hell are you doing? Relax, these people are gone for a few more days. I'll invite everyone over and impress the whole class in one shot. That'll cover my play dates for a year. You really think that'll work? Absolutely. And when it does, I'll be as popular as the first kid in school to get his driver's license. Hey, heard you got your license. Maybe after school you could take me to get some groceries. Yeah, or maybe you and me hop in that car of yours and do some grocery shopping. Looks like you have a roomy back seat. I'd love to fill that with groceries after school. Hey, it's Stewie. All I know about cars is what my mom does. All right, if we want to get Cleveland back, we should just put out his favorite snack. An open can of tuna. Often he'll come running when he hears a can opening. Peter, stop. Yeah, I think it's time we address the elephant in the room. There's a simple reason Cleveland is hanging out with Jerome and not us. Jerome is black, and we're not. Yeah, I mean, you can't blame them. It's just a thing they have in common. Something they can bond over. Well, I guess that makes sense. I suppose people do want to be with their own kind. Like the audience at a Decemberists concert. Good evening, white guys who weigh less than their girlfriends. Hey, Brian, I, uh, know that things have been awkward between us, but just to show you there's no hard feelings, can I buy you a drink? You know what? Sure. Thanks. What the hell happened? Ah! How do I walk? Are these forever? I also rubbed my butt on you while you were unconscious. I like to put stuff online. <laughs> All right, Peter, that's enough. It is time to get out of... What the hell? Oh, yeah, we put Joe in Stewie's old jolly jumper. You told me this was a paratrooper's harness. Shut up, baby man. That's it. This is our home, not some frat house for you and your friends. Now, I want you out of this attic now. No way. We ain't leaving. We're having too much fun up here. Quagmire just showed us his Eric McCormick impression. There could be no such thing. Well, that's what I said, but then he did it, and I was like, oh, all right, okay, yeah, kinda. Fine. You like the damn attic so much? Then enjoy the attic! Did... did she just lock us in here? It looks like it. Yeah, you spin me back. I didn't see what happened. Out. What? Your ball was long. Are you me? That thing was in. You're going to penalize us because you're a blind blue jacket. Stewie, calm down. I will drop you to your knees and shove my racket so far down your throat you'll be my grip for a week. Warning, Mr. Griffin. Oh, you're warning me? I'm warning you. I'm going to go to your house and your wife. You proud of yourself? Tennis club security guard, your kids look up to you? Big man throwing out a baby and a dog, tough guy. Maybe I'll see you later when you don't have that name tag on. I thought your shot was in. Oh, hey, pound it, dude.
African warlord is brutalizing those innocent people. Yeah, but it's okay, because he's wearing a large cowboy hat and follows everything with hamburger, like that stand-up comic from the 90s. We are going to force all these young boys to be child soldiers. Hamburger. <laughs> After 18 hours in the mines, we are going to check your butts for diamonds. Hamburger. Aha, I get it. If you do not work on my rubber plantation, I will burn your tongues. Oh, my God. Hamburger. <laughs> ah, I found him. Alonzo Hamburger Jones. He made it to YouTube. Must be filthy rich. Hey, before you two leave, let's take a photo. Yeah, selfie. <laughs> I just learned that word. Perfect. Stewie, three more Arnold Palmers. Boy, we're destroying them at the right time, Brian. I don't have enough iced tea for the correct ratio. It'll be too lemonade -y. They'll be furious. All right, so let's do it. Let's take them out. I'll warn you, it's not going to be easy. They're incredibly intelligent and getting smarter by the minute. I designed them to be constantly adapting. It's done. I sprayed them with the hose. Ashley, wait! <laughs> I wouldn't miss this for all the rush hour fares in Big Town. Chris, you came! Oh, my God! Let me get my grandma. Chris? Ashley, I love you! <laughs> oh, you're groaning at me? You paid $19 to fly Spirit Air. You get what you get. Now your arm is broken and your baseball career is over. Not necessarily. What? What are you talking about? Well, for the last few weeks, since my right arm's been exhausted from pitching, my left arm's had to, uh, pick up the slack in the bathroom. Stewie, you want to check out the go-kart I used in Days of Thunder? Yeah, listen, um, I just found out I'm actually going to be tall, so I'm no longer comfortable hanging out with someone whose teeth are bigger than their fingers. What? That's, that's barely true. Yeah, so see you later. You are making a big mistake, Stewie. Nobody walks away from Tiny Tom Cruise. Yeah, except for all three of your wives. Okay, I'm shutting this now. Okay, so bye. There you two are. Sit down and join us. I can't stay, Mom. Brian's showing me all of his favorite stuff to do. Getting spooked when the furnace goes on? We're participating in an autism walk. Looks like you're doing it right now. And we may be gone for a while, because after that, we're going down to the Civic Center. Michael Ian Black is cocking his eyebrows for four hours. <laughs> he says the things we don't care to say. Bye! Man, I'm sick of how much time Chris is spending with Brian. Probably smooching pickles. Is there a couple of pickle smooches? Mm. Oh, come on. I don't want to have to watch this. Yeah, that's right. I was the only one who didn't get to meet Biden. Uh, you know what? Screw this. I'm out of here. Hey, where do you think you're going? You're my dog. You're not going anywhere. Besides, I need you, boy. Now more than ever, I think my wife is cheating on me. Hey, Tori, it's Brian. I'm getting the Chinese food for us. I think I'm gonna order some me like bang ho. <laughs> that's, that's not a real thing. I'm talking about sex. All right, I'll be there in five. Chris, Chris Griffin. Griffin. Yay! <laughs> Yay! That's right, Chris Griffin, a tubby spaz with a heart full of dreams, gets to feel normal for a night, thanks to the kindness of his peers. Oh. I just see him walking around with his hands down his pants all day, and he's just so fat and weird, so we feel bad. Yeah, last year we did the Burnt Up Kid, so this was a slam dunk. Oh my god, they just elected him out of pity, because they think he's mentally challenged. Kind of like we did with George W. Bush, huh? <laughs> right? <sighs> I, 
I guess. I guess, Brian. I, I don't. I don't know. Let's let's just watch some commercials. I always dreamed of being stuck in an elevator with Tom Brady. That makes two of us. Can I ask you my Tom Brady questions? I wouldn't deign to speak for Tom Brady. Understood. Understood. Hey, do atheists go to hell? No. How about people who say they are not religious, but they are spiritual? Straight to hell, to the boiler room of hell, all the way down. Sometimes I pull them out just so they think everything is going to be okay, but then I put them right back in. Good. Good. That makes me happy. Ah, hell, we're going to be on the internet. You know what? Screw it. Let's vote! All right, you guys, I will now do anything for $10. Who's got something for me? I got one. I'll give you 10 bucks if you wear the same pair of underwear for a month. Pay up. Uh, actually, you owe me 20. Ew. Here's 50. Go change your underwear. It won't come off. I guess it's worth a shot. Of course it is. If she says yes, you'll surprise everyone, just like you did on New Year's Eve. Three, two, one! Some animals give me boners! You know what, Peter? Uh, maybe there's a silver line into this fiasco. Not thinking about sex all the time seems to have allowed Chris to excel in other areas. It does seem sharper. Heck, the old Chris couldn't even figure out the self-checkout at the supermarket. Please place the item in the bagging area. Please remove the item from the bagging area. Please take a plastic bag from the bagging area. Please put the bag over your head and tighten. <laughs> ha 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 ha. I told you I could make him do it. That's hardcore, man. You're hardcore. Where the hell's Quagmire going? The airport's that way. He doesn't know we're following him, Joe. You don't have to duck down. I'm not. You took a pretty hard right turn back there. I've been like this for a while. What's he doing? This is one of them places where women go to see male strippers. Some bisexual men go as well. But you know, it's not just the Griffins who work hard to make Family Guy what it is. Here in the props department, some sweaty guy is working on the Peter Copter. That's right. You know, a lot of people don't realize SEAL Team 6 actually completed their mission in this puppy. Oh, cool! Family Guy! Over here! I'm down here! Stewie, I don't think this is gonna work. We're never gonna raise enough money to pay back Padma's father. Trust me, Brian, there are a billion people here, and almost every one of them has a tapeworm. Yes, excuse me. I have a tapeworm. All right, very good. Lie down on your stomach. This won't hurt a bit. Hey, how are you guys? Oh, you're a lady. And you sound American. How long have you been in there? I originally just came for my junior year, but I fell in love with the place. But why are you so down? Dad told me I have to lose the championship game on purpose. He what? Peter, get in here right now. Wow, someone's day horny. Oh, hey, Chris. What about all those people outside? They'll see that I deleted it, and it'll all blow over. Trust me. I hope so, but you never know. They're still pretty mad at me down at Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, what's the name of this place? Dick's. <laughs> and, and what's that say on your shirt? Dick's. <laughs> Can I have two balls and a helmet? Hey, you're the guy from the phone. <laughs> Stop the car, Chris. Did you get him yet? We got him. We now return to the Awkward Stepdad Show. Man, your mom's a real groaner. Do you hear that in your room? Hey, Dad, where are you going? Well, Meg, now that I'm a metal detector guy, I gotta start eating breakfast at On the Sand Cafes, where I will judge tourists as my skin browns and hardens. Stop throwing your kids' diapers in the trash with all the soda cans. Please, don't. Why won't you die? Shh. Shh, Dad.
That's right. I'm your dad. Your gentle suburban dad. Oh, what a twist. Shh. Hey, Dad. Sure must be tough having a son with goofy noodle legs like mine. Chris, I love you, no matter how useless you are in a paddle boat. Sir? Sir, can you hear me? There he is. Welcome back, buddy. Who are you? I'm a paramedic. Name's Striker Fox. Oh, Lois just texted. Burgers or meatballs for dinner? I'll text back for you. Same thing, bitch. Just different shapes. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, battery died. Okay, Natalia, level with me. Why are you really here? I have been sent to neutralize liberal Jewish dissident Fievel Mouskowitz. Huh? Well, the only mouse in this neighborhood is our innocent neighbor, Frank Maxwell. Comrade Mouskowitz, did you think you could run forever? Hiya! I think you've got the wrong mouse. I'm just regular old Frank Maxwell, and I'm very late for work. Good day, ma'am. Oh! You killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew mouse! Ha ha! You know, even though you and Peter have your differences, I'm glad it hasn't affected our friendship. Us redheads have to stay together, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is stuck at work. Honey, please. Lois is a friend. Really? Nicole, you got the wrong idea. How does this bitch know my name? Bitch? Okay, ho. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Come on now, ladies. <laughs> awesome. A chick chick and chick fight. We now return to Captain America Civil Union. All right, Captain America, we have to get ready for the big fight with the other heroes. Who do we have on our side? Well, Hawkeye, we've got you, Scarlet Witch, the Falcon, and, of course, Randy. Who's Randy? You know Randy, lives in my guest house. We've been friends since college. He's my pal. He's the guy I went to Paris with. You are such a coward. Randy! According to the calculations on my Microsoft Surface, they have advanced cloaking technology. The Microsoft Surface confirms it. Microsoft Surface. My Samsung Gear S2 watch says the same thing. And I don't know if you considered this, but the clock is ticking on Stewie's cuteness. Huh. Well, I guess you're right. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up looking like an exact mashup of Lois and Peter. <laughs> Groceries. Peter, you're not even dressed. For what? Chris's class is performing a rock and roll choir. They've been practicing for months. For months or four months? For months. Three months. Not long enough. Pass. I just wish we were doing songs that weren't so hard to sing as a group. How was it? Terrible. Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, Peter. I just came by to thank you for giving me the kick in the pants I needed to stop feeling sorry for myself and embrace my new life. I farted. As a result, I've rediscovered an old hobby I used to love as a kid, ventriloquism. And I wanted to invite you guys to the opening of my new show at the Quahog Playhouse. Quagmire, we'd be delighted to attend. Wouldn't miss it. Gosh, thanks, Peter. That means a lot. Okay, see you there. Damn it! Why did I even open the door? Ah! Getting excited. Now I gotta go to this thing. Ah, bite me! Laughing already just thinking about it. Only one way to get out of this. That's nice, Brian, but you're from different worlds. She's in India. That's a lot to overcome. People in love can overcome anything. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, look at Jeb Bush and his wife. Honey, do you think I'll ever be president? No, no, no. Stewie! What? It's just a joke. Yeah, but come on. Look it up, man. Google it. I know what she looks like. How do you think it works? I have no idea. Look, Lois told me I had to start using the toilet, and you're the one who's had potty training, so I'm counting on you to help me. All right. We're two intelligent guys. We can figure this out. What's that big back part? Maybe that's where the wizard lives who operates this thing. It would be wise not to anger him. I wonder what this thing is for. Brian, be careful with that. We don't know what it does. <sighs> All right, here goes. 
Oh God, oh God, careful, 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 careful. <laughs> and I got a job following fat people around with a tuba. Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem! That'll be sixty dollars. Hey Brian, uh, another categories question. The category is type of pet. Herbert put Cambodian. That's not right, right? Look, Stewie, I can't talk about this now, alright? Jeez, what's your problem? I, I just... I, I did a bad thing and I don't know what to do about it. I, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, that's how I felt at that Grateful Dead show. Does anybody want to buy my shirt? I'll trade you my shirt for a grilled cheese. Peter, why are there so many bottles of milk in the refrigerator? Oh, thanks for reminding me. Everyone, some of the milk in the fridge is not milk, it's horse sperm. I'm a horse breeder now. Look, Chris, I'm sorry, but money's tight right now. Yeah, I even had to take a second job as a door-to-door -door vacuum salesman. This thing can pick up anything. Here's a little demonstration. I'll pour some wine, rub in some feces, and to top it off, some mustard mixed with feces. Tough stain, right? Oh, crap, I forgot the vacuum. I guess it could take Peter a long time to find a job in this economy. Well, it may not be that bad, Lois. I could see about getting back my old job as a police sketch artist. Now, did you get a look at the man who assaulted you? I did. Okay, can I get a description? Yeah, he was probably around 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Which is it, 5'9 or 5'10"? I'd say 5'10". Okay, we'll go 5'9 and a half. And now, how old was he? Late 30s, maybe 37. Uh, I don't know, anywhere between 35 and 40. Okay, well, let's say 37. How, how about ethnicity? Yeah, he was Asian American. Asian American. Are we talking Korean? Are we talking Thai? Are we talking Vietnamese? Maybe Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but, but I, I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any... Any marks, piercings? He may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted you? You have a different view, Brian? Oh, I, I don't know. Are we, are we allowed to have a different view? Brian, AA is the only way out for these people. Millions are saved every year by the program. Hey, people got along just fine for thousands of years without AA. Just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? <laughs> oh, oh, well, I guess sometimes you're just right for the part. Like James Earl Jones playing Darth Vader. So, James, we just want you to do the voice. Here's your Star Wars kids meal. Which action figures did we get? I got Kylo Ren. I got the role during the two months I was a hot actor, and now they're stuck with me. I got Forrest Whitaker. Even as a toy, you can't tell where he's looking. I wish I had the poorly cast Kylo Ren. Here, Stewie. You can have mine. You're giving me the better one? Why would you do that? Because you're my friend. Yes. You're my friend. You're my best friend. Let's choke on these. Together. <laughs> that was fun. Let's switch. <coughs> hey, Lois. So, how was your first day of voiceover? Eh, it was nothing. Turns out I'm just doing very obscure European commercials. Uh, you know, I have got to get myself back out there, too. I haven't performed since I was in Stew Man Group. I don't get it! What is this? We don't know either. All right, Dad, you're on. Hey, PTV fans, welcome to Douchebags. We're out here on the I-95 overpass doing our first segment, I Dare You to Crap Off of That. Basically, we'll spend the day crapping off things that others have dared us to crap off. I dared him. All right, here we go. I say, are those two pigs vomiting up there? <laughs> Uh-oh. Now, Lois, before you start yelling, let me remind you that you were the one who recklessly drove into oncoming crap. It was inexcusable. 
inexcusable, Peter. And Stewie may never be able to ride in the car again. Turn off the windshield wipers. They don't work. They're just making it worse. Stewie promised he'd make healthy meals for us, but all he ever makes is frozen pizza. You said you loved pizza, especially when I make the ones with the crust made of wheat. He also does that. Oh, boy, I remember my first job. I was in a folk music trio. Hey, how about here's to you, Mrs. Fleckenstein? Yeah, you've been pitching that for an hour, but it's just not a very attractive name. Oh, oh, fine, fine. And I, I suppose we're also not going with parsley, sage, rosemary, and Lowry's seasoning salt. <sighs> That's it, I'm going to numb. Stewie Griffin? Oh, right here. Peter, he needs a boost. Give him some of the acting soup. <laughs> I want to say curse words! Okay, Stewie, you're just gonna drink this juice, then say, mmm, and rub your belly. Yeah, yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, bye, juice! That was amazing. I've got goosebumps. I want him sexually. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Our top story, methamphetamine is flooding into Quahog in epidemic amounts and is believed to be originating from the nearby rural community of Farmton. Farmton, that's the name of the place we live. I forgot to mention that earlier. For more on the story, we now go live to Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa. Oh, meth is fine. Everything's fine. Go back to your own business. Thanks, Trisha. She's doing fun things for me for money. Guys, I have an announcement. I'm gonna run for mayor. That's a terrible idea. You idiot, Brian. Meg, fat on Brian. I can't. I don't have one in the chamber. And one time I give you a chance, you're not ready. Chris, tag in for Meg. <laughs> See that kid? He's a gamer. Great job, Chris. Now go hit the showers. Meg, you miss 100% of the farts you don't take. That kid's going places. He's going all the way. If only they knew. Yeah, it's my boy. Yeah, and I served honorably as a UN interpreter. Gonatla. Okay, he's mad about something. He appears to be talking really fast. He spits whenever he makes the ch noise, which in this language happens a lot. I'm expected to entertain him and his wife tonight, so if anyone knows a good restaurant in the area, sushi or tapas, something where they're always bringing stuff to the table so you have something to talk about, you know? Hey, what's this? This looks good. That's it. War! Oh, war! War! That last sentence was about war! I don't know, Joe. That's it. We're out of known diseases. Unless... All right, what this is has no name, so you can't have it. <laughs> we got him. Halloween is... Okay, yesterday worked out great. So here's some more dumb family stuff I want you to do for me. Teach Stewie what sound the cow makes. It's moo. Quack is duck. Get opiates from John. Yeah, I'll give you John's number. Tell him it's Peter calling for opiates from John. He'll know what you mean. Got it. Now that you're doing all that, I'm going to the clam with the guys. Oh, man, this hologram thing is the best idea since the Mayflower hired a cruise director. Okay, everyone. From 8 until 9, we'll be trembling before our angry god. From 9 to 10, there's yellow fever on the Lido deck. And at 10, it's everybody's favorite, buckle hat bingo. What if we lost our buckle hat? Well, do you have a plain hat? Yeah. Do you have a belt? Yeah. You got a buckle hat. <gasps> I just love knowing what's going on. <sighs> Best night's sleep in a long time. I should spend Christmas in jail every year. <sighs> stupid families having stupid fun times together, reminding themselves their families are filled with love. Huh. Looks like Stewie got that toy he wanted. Hmm. A kid and his bear. What's more innocent than that? Oh, they got tennis balls and junk? Ugh. 
I don't even like stupid new Christmas tennis balls. You want to know what kind of person Glenn Quagmire is? You want to know what made me the person I am? Then put me on the stand. Boys, can I play Angry Birds on your phone? Okay, but only with the sound off. Fine, I'll just do it with my mouth. Well, I should probably say no, but I've never been known for my good judgment. I mean, that's how I got into trouble with the Peter catcher. Oh, Peter! Come and get your lollipops! Lollipops! Come along, Peter! Peter, you mustn't! I've got cream pies, trinkle tarts! Trinkle tarts? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get so molested. Okay, Peter, your main job here is to go in rooms before me to make sure there's no static electricity. Don't go in there. It's not safe. Well done, Peter. Come on, Brian. A change of scenery is always good. Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed my trip to Nebraska. So, um... Anybody see any good movies lately? No, no not really, yeah. no. Who? Oh. Uh, read any good books? No. Mm -mm. no. Nope. Uh. Anything new with corn? Oh, yeah, corn. Corn, corn. Corn, yeah, corn. Corn, yeah, yeah, corn. Corn, yeah, yeah, corn. Yeah, 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 corn is always interesting. Apparently, the Greeks have a bunch of different gods. Athena is the goddess of wisdom. Poseidon is the god of the sea. And I am Kronos, the god of time. Oh, cool. What do you do? I tell the time and make gift baskets. So, are you also the god of gift baskets? I don't know. You tell me. Rosewood mango candle? Kronos? I know, I know. It's 4.30, by the way. Ah, and this is Peter and I at our wedding. Oh, you look beautiful. And he's a handsome fella, ain't he? Well, I am ready for my evening. Oh, my God, Peter, what the hell? Peter, what are you doing? Oh, surely, Jerome, you don't want to stay in the same house as a ghost who carries a torch around. Oh, fire ghost. Oh, you scared yet? Didn't know this place was haunted, did you? And then they ripped up my dress, so now I have nothing to wear. Well, sometimes nothing to wear is a fun time. You know, just get weird. Signorella, I am your fairy godmother. Fairy in the magical sense, not about kissing guys. Oh, my God. I want that bitch Snow White to just admit she had an abortion. Whoa, whoa. I was thinking more like a new dress for the party or a bunch of chew toys. Your choice. Chew toys. Take the chew toys. A new dress? Well, that means I could go to the ball. <laughs> Oh, what a beautiful dress. But, but how will I get to the ball? I, I don't have a horse or a carriage. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, just change me into whatever. Yeah, that's cool, thanks. Well, is everything all right in here? Ah! This hurts! This hurts! All right, you guys like impressions? Here's that guy Bob from Bob's Burgers. Hi, I'm Bob from Bob's Burgers. How about that show, Archer? You watch that show, Archer? Here's that guy, Archer. Hi, I'm Archer from that show, Archer. Now, what if those guys met? Hey, Archer, it's Bob. Hey, Bob, it's Archer. Thank you. I took your father's mixtape and hucked it into the ocean. Right then and there, I vowed I would never see him again. <laughs> she said wood. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> wood! Wood! <laughs> You're right. Wood! <laughs> Do you have any experience helping out people with special needs? Well, I did work for that old lady down the street. Meg! Could you come here, please? What is it? Could you see if I'm getting a bed sore on my back? Sure. Looks fine to me, ma'am. Thank you, dear. I must have just slept on it wrong. <laughs> I stole Meg's cutaway. You're a jerk, Gronk! That's it. I'm getting rid of that bastard. Just like I helped kick the British out of America. 
This tyranny shall not stand. For without liberty... Ah, oh, crap! He's even in the cutaways! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Just... Just go to commercial. I'm gonna squat here and hold on to this bench. Is... Is there more underneath, or is that it? I'm sorry? <laughs> Zach, just get the hell out of my car. <laughs> That's it? That was sex? What a ripoff. I should sue her. Be careful you're not held in contempt of cat. Ha! <laughs> Wait, Peter, don't go! Joe, so you changed your mind, huh, buddy? We going to Hollywood? You betcha. But I have to say, I thought you'd drive a fancier car. What? Why? Well, aren't you the Peter Griffin of Peter Griffin Cadillac? No, that's another guy. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. And at Peter Griffin Cadillac, we believe in three things. Fair dealing, family, and friendship. I've lived in Quahog my whole life. I love it here. And you're going to love a Peter Griffin Cadillac. Scumbag. In fact, I may have to get my own full-time job. Jeez, are we really living that close to the edge? You know we are, Brian. Why do you think we waited so long to take you to the groomers last month? Hey, isn't it time for me to get a haircut? Oh, no. I think you just got one. Are you sure? Because I feel like my nails are really long. Yeah, yeah I'll check, but I'm pretty sure it's not for another couple of weeks. <laughs> what day is this? All right, Chris, this is one of the oldest hobbies in existence. Drinking. Hey, hey, good times. Just walked in. Hey, oh, hey, he can't be in here. He's not 21. All right, just hang out here for a little bit, huh? All right, I'll see you later, gang. Hey, Chris, what are you doing here? This is to be a camp. What am I paying for? God, I could have gone pro if it wasn't for my bum knee. All right, Peter, we're closing in. Get ready to fire. Hey, Chris, where's your father? He's still trying to get that rope away from Brian. Oh, he's got to give up that obsession. I don't like what it's doing to him. Precious. Once a precious rope. Peter, enough with the rope. Also, once ice cream. No, Peter, it's too close to dinner time. Get ice cream anyway. Don't you dare. <sighs> All right, but I'll be back in a moment. There's another movie thing. I am Johnny Five. Need input. Input is ice cream. I need ice cream. Did I say I'm Johnny Five yet? You didn't go to work today, did you? Yeah. Awesome. Peter, will you keep it down? I'm trying to look at lamps I'll never buy. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sweet. What are you doing? Well, I just found out about these things called apps, so that's kind of all I do now. This one's a cool bowling app I got. Oh, yeah, strike. Peter, your phone's streaming to the TV. You're clearly watching porn. Will you turn it off? I'm already caught, Lois. I'm going to finish. Peter, I'm... I'm going to finish. Just go over there. We're going to be fine, Lois, you and me. This stuff ain't that hot. Whoa! I feel like I'm crying, but, like, out of my neck and back. Oh, look at his face. He looks like Oliver Platt climbing a flight of stairs. Hey, that's a low blow. I'm gonna call the network and complain. Where's the phone? It's upstairs, Oliver. Yeah, they know what they did. <sighs> couch it is, I guess. Oh, my God, the couch is gone. Where the hell is... Oh, that's right, Couchella is this weekend. Hey, man! I just had sex with a girl on her period! Dude, that's not a brag! <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. This could never work. Like porn movies before sound. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh. God, I like it here. But what am I doing? I don't have a fancy house. I'm living a lie, like FDR. And so I say to you, America, we are going to win this war. We're going to end this depression. And there's no reason to suspect that I cannot walk. God bless America. And cut! The newsreel's over. Thank you, Mr. President. You're welcome, gentlemen. 
Now, if you'd kindly kick me into the closet with the mops. Ah, must be a yell man. Shut up. Huh, got a new email here. And it's from a Nigerian prince. It says he's got millions frozen in an account. All he needs is a hundred grand to pay legal fees, and then as soon as he gets his money, I get a million bucks. Wow, and he must need it quick, because there was like a bazillion typos in that email. You gotta send that money. You think so? Absolutely. I mean, can you imagine if you make a million bucks? You'll be happier than the guy on his wedding day. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, free time. Farewell, sex. So long, golf on TV. I'll miss you, privacy. Goodbye being honest about how many beers I've had. Nice knowing you, my own choices. See you later, money. Lois? Oh, no. I'm alone and lost in the mall. I haven't been this scared since the silence of the lamb. Hey, um, let's move in together. Say something! And I turn around, and I don't know what happened to my wife, and now I'm all alone, and I'm just so scared. Okay. Do you want to go look for your wife, or you want me to finish the makeover? I guess we might as well finish up here. When I find her, I want her to go, wow. Oh, that must be Jerome. What the hell's Jerome doing here? We didn't order any drinks. No, he and I got plans. We're gonna go down to Carver High School and look at that mural of black achievement. Mm, they got a manila folder taped over Dr. Cosby's face. What? Cleveland, you didn't tell us you had plans with Jerome. Some things are my business. You don't tell me when you play with yourself. Well, if you checked my Twitter feed, I wouldn't have to. May I help you? Yes, 1950s doctor. Me and my friends are looking for- Your friends with a Negro and a cripple? This man is insane. Take him away. Ah. Now, wait a second. You can't do that to- A Negro speaking up to a white person? This man is insane. <laughs> now, look, I don't think- All cripples are insane. Euthanize this man. <laughs> Something I can help you with? Yeah, you got any brain-dead women in there you let people have sex with for a few bucks? Sure, come on back. You guys, it's all set. I found Joe's dad on the internet, and he just emailed me to say he's coming tomorrow. All right, great, but remember, this is a surprise for Joe. Why are you looking at me? Because you're terrible at keeping secrets. Well, I'm not. I'm great at it. Like when I was an OBGYN. Well, I got the results of your ultrasound, and I got some news for you. Wait, wait, wait. We don't want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, okay. Well, it's not breathing. Well, there you are, Dad. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in days. Ugh, oh, I went out of town for a little while, but I made the mistake of using this app called Bear b and b We're so happy you're staying with us. Just a reminder, we ask that you not use the DVD player, but you can watch any of the VHSs. We have Clear and Present Danger, Son of the Mask. Oh, and here's most of a puzzle. Okay, well, I don't want any of that stuff. Fine. Well, if the phone rings and we're not around, just take a message. I'm kind of on vacation. Oh, and just a heads up, the dog doesn't like men. Now, we serve breakfast from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. I'll skip breakfast. Uh, everyone eats breakfast. I'm on vacation. All the more reason to treat yourself. The house specialty is a half-chewed trout we yanked out of the river with our teeth. That is the best stuff. Peter, relax. Chris is just going through a phase. He'll grow out of it. Just like you grew out of your walk-like-an-Egyptian phase. Paul was a good man. A good friend. I'll... I'll always remember how supportive he was when... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't... I can't... I can't do this. Peter, I can't believe you kept your sister a secret. She's amazing. Yeah, she's crazy strong. Like Superman on a date.
Yeah, I wasn't here, but I heard her scream, so I came flying in and found her like this. It's weird. Same cause of death as those three guys in that local public bathroom. Unsolvable. Look, now that this is settled, maybe you and Glenn can put this behind you. No way! How am I supposed to be friends with someone who's in love with my wife? Quagmire is dead to me and needs to be dealt with in an appropriate manner. Shame. 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 This was serious, but it turned into something fun. Hey, you can play over there in the sandbox, honey. Mommy's just gonna read her book. Okay, I'm just gonna walk 30 feet away and then panic because I can't see you. Can you fit me in at 10 tomorrow? It's getting a little long on the sides. Brian? What are you doing on a leash? And who's that? Shh, be cool. This is the guy whose wife I'm banging. Oh, what a romantic way to put it. Yeah, it's great. I just pretend to be their dog, and then when he leaves for work, I get to go to the pound, if you know what I mean. God, Brian, you are such a scumbag. I can't believe you. Mommy! Mommy! Where's my mommy? I have no one and nothing! I'm right here, honey. Oh, thank God. Hey, great idea bringing the couch out here from your den, Peter. Yeah, Lois and I dragged it out here last night for a little hump sesh, so I figured I'd let it dry. Couch. That's one of those words that if you say it over and over, it starts to sound silly. Joe, you need to take a class on small talk. You're not gonna believe this. I'm in one. It sure is cloudy today. Good. You could have also responded to Janet, who said her son died. I'm sorry your son died on such a cloudy day. Where are you going? I'm going to Quagmire's to get some hand-me-downs. His dad mom sent over some boxes of men's clothes from back before the old chippity chappity. Ugh, you shouldn't wear people's old dirty clothes. Well, I'm a dirty guy, Lois. Haven't you ever seen my naughty late-night party line commercials? Hey, are you lonely? Do you like to party with hot girls? What about horsing around with fat guys? Well, what are you waiting for? Give us a call. I'll be on the toilet wearing a T-shirt that's so long I have to hold it under my chin while I wipe. Hey, Brian, Mom took the car. Can you give me and my friends a ride to field hockey practice? Um, I'm kind of helping Stewie with an email to Delta. Please, Brian. It would get them out of the house. Well, that's true. And I gotta do something, because they're more annoying than ants at a picnic. Would you mind turning that down? <clears throat> okay, I'm at the top. What now? Now, you have to get struck by lightning. Well, how do I do that? You're an atheist! Offend God! Say something you couldn't say on TV! All right. Hey, God! Not me! You can't say that! No, 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 no! Great news, guys! I may have gotten you booked at a horse's birthday party! Mort, you're fired. What? Sorry, Mort, but this is a cutthroat business, and we need someone tough in our corner, like Indonesian kickboxer Agus Banwadi. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Disappear. Disappear. Come on. Come on. Principal Shepard, we were so surprised to get your call. What's going on? Mrs. Griffin, Meg, and Chris were caught cheating. What? Yes, they had the Lost Boys of the Sudan standing in for them in gym class. Nice block, Griffin. Nice shot, other Griffin. This is terrible. What do you think about this, Peter? Bad. Very bad. Okay, Peter, I'm off to my book club. You'll babysit Stewie? Only if I can have a popsicle. Only if you say it right. Popsicle. Good. And you better be responsible tonight. I don't want a repeat of the last time I left you alone with one of our children. <sighs> it's just so horrible. I'm sorry, Lois. I thought if I shook him enough, he'd stop crying. I was kind of right. Look, Dad, this isn't going to be a cakewalk, all right? I'm your supervisor. Meg, Meg, I promise I'll do better at this job than I did on the SATs. Come on. Do math. <laughs> no, Connie, beating up that Jewish kid made me popular. Come on, girls, let's go upstairs and make out. <coughs> oh, no, Connie's been hurt. I guess I should lie on top of her to keep her warm. What are you looking at? It's a cartoon. Oh, you killed him? 
That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew Mouse! Ha ha! Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. Under parody law, in order to use someone else's character in an unlicensed fashion, we have to provide something called commentary. The commentary here is that Mickey Mouse hates Jews. Now, let's see what else this new nanny has up her sleeve. DiGiorno. DiGiorno. Joe Paterno. DiGiorno. Damn it, Peter. Being Susie's godfather doesn't mean you're in the mob. And you can't bring a cat to church. Why not? He's Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> he does a muttly laugh. Okay, now add 20. Okay. Now multiply it by 4. Okay. And what do you got? 8,008. And what does 8,008 look like on a calculator? Oh, boob! Boob, yeah! All right, all right, all right, boob! What if we had two calculators and we put them next to each other? <gasps> yes, 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 find one, yes! That's it. I have to do something. Chris, what are you doing? Saving my... <laughs> Chris, are you okay? I don't think so. I'm hurt pretty bad. Like that time I was running with scissors. <laughs> You'll run like a girl. Ah! Run like a man, you get a suit. Ah, Lois took the bike. Hey, wait a minute. This is a great time for me to do my Suzuki Samurai promo. Are you a Hawaii scumbag? Do you chug energy drinks in Arizona? Suzuki Samurai. Ninja name, Garbage Car. Ah, oh, there's my silver fox. What are you doing out here? Well, now that I've got white hair, I fix my car in slow motion in an ad for a supplemental blood thinner. I took Zambrex for over 15 years till I learned the benefits of once daily Sanguelto a latest generation blood thinner. When I'm at a multiracial picnic for some reason, the last thing I want to do is have a stroke. And thanks to once daily Sanguelto, I can eat potato salad with chuckling strangers with the confidence of someone who knows he's 12% less likely to suffer a stroke recurrence. Thanks to Sanguelto, I can snuggle with my age-appropriate wife on a blanket underneath non-holiday related fireworks. I left her for six weeks back in 2009, only to realize I was already too old to bed the type of women that would make such a separation worth it. So here we are, grinding it out till one of us has that second stroke that you don't come back from. Thank you, Sanguelto. Now come on, let's forget our problems and get lost in the world of books. Ooh, Horton hears domestic violence in the next apartment and doesn't call 911. You think it's easy working all day? No, You think I, I like it? I don't think it's easy, but yes, I do think you like no, it. No, yeah, I like being away from you because I can't stand looking at you. You do? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You think I want to do that? You think I want to hurt you? Not in front I don't of me! I don't want to hurt you! you I'm me sure there's two sides you to this. Me hurt you. I just feel like I should have been consulted on this decision to bring my natural enemy into the house. They may seem like good pets, but they always have ulterior motives. Well, I think having a cat will be good for Meg. You'll get used to it, Brian. Just like I got used to Peter's extra pinky finger. To another 20 years of marital bliss. Cheers, my love. Ah. <laughs> Ugh, that finger stinks. I'm still learning to wipe with it, my love. As we say in Ireland, let's drink until the alcohol in our system destroys our livers and kills us. I got 20 on the fat one. Which, Which one's, one's the, the fat, fat one?
guys, this is the best dirty bookstore in town. Family owned, great hours, and lots of parking in the rear. Get it? Wow, you usually expect these places to be dirty. Nah, it's pretty clean. Carol Burnett works part-time as a janitor. You know, when she tugged her ear at the end of that show, she was really saying goodnight to her mom. <laughs> I wonder what she tugged to say goodnight to her dad. Oh! Okay. All right, that's... That's seven 16-ounce steaks. Oh, come on, Joe. You haven't even finished one. I mean, that guy had two. I know, I know. I'm terrible. Which is why I'm gonna order the cheesecake. Oh, I can't do it. I'm... I'm so full. Full of what? Estrogen? Come on, take the skirt off, you pansy. Oh. Let's go. Chow down, Mary Jane. Oh, I said I can't. Eat it. Eat no. the damn steak. Come on, what are you I waiting can't. for? Eat it, Joe. No, Eat no, it. no. Yeah. I said I'm not hungry! Where is it now, huh? Where is it now? Easy, sailor. Easy. Put the gun down, Joe. Yeah, nobody's judging you, man. It's cool. I'll just put this back in your purse next to your tampons. Hey! The wind wants my hand to go back, but I'm not letting it. I'm stronger than air. Oh my god, Dad, you lost your hand! That's all right. I can regenerate. My name is Retep, and I am evil. All right, boys, the best targets are old rich people. There's one now. Go get him. Oh, no! There's no police here to help me. I hope you don't find the money strapped to my thigh. Sorry, Mr. Herbert, but I don't even want to mow this lawn. You could bring your friend over there to help you. Come on, Herbert. Rope this calf. Hey there, little fella. I'm 48. This whole place is a giant mind... You know what? He's earned that. I ran away from home. Do you mind if I live with you? Live with me? My goodness, I feel like I'm gonna pinch myself to see if I'm dreaming. Hot dog, it's real! Well, Jesse, I guess we gotta find some other way to spend our evenings. And now back to ESPN's exclusive coverage of the Little League World Series. Oh, jackpot! Mr. Herbert? I'm just here to collect for the newspaper. Here you go. Oh, hang on now, Chris. Your fly's up again. Thanks, Mr. Herbert. <laughs> we broke up. Herbert and I are playing categories. Would you count NyQuil as a beverage? Um. No, right? No. Yeah, not gonna fly, old man. Thanks, Brian. Damn it. I'm missing Boy Meets World for this? Well, I hate to say it, but I guess we're supposed to dig this kid up. Any volunteers? I dig kids. Oh, my God. They're even taking down a mosquito netting. <laughs> buzz, buzz, buzz. Sir, we need your help. We're looking for a very young delinquent male. Hell, who isn't? Let's drink to having TV back in the hands of people who know what they're doing. I think Zack and Cody would be funnier if they did the show in their underpants. Thanks for buying me dinner, Mr. Herbert. Oh, I wanted to thank you properly for all your hard work. Souvenir photograph? Hell yes! <laughs> Some 
pride Chris Griffin he knows best the kids play howdy doody as the sun sets in the west a pitch of out of butter homes and gardens magazines Are you dead? Wash, well, gosh, by gosh, it's a brand new paper boy. That's a mighty full sack you're carrying. Piss off, you perverted old freak. Oh, we got a fighter. Skinny britches. That there's my man. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? You shall not pass. Go away, Mr. Herbert. It's not me. I'm in your closet. And they cost me my job. Mine, too. Superstore USA has their own paper route. That new paper boy done gone and broke my sternum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, look. Everybody but Chris, just keep your pants on and let's figure a way out of this. <laughs> Ah, oh, crap. Well, looks like the good Lord just sent me a conversation starter. <laughs> also, if I gave you a sandwich, do you think you could get Chris to fart on it? Maybe I can help you out. You'd do that for me? Sure, right after my favorite show. Coming up next, to catch a predator who's proud of being a predator. Good evening, sir. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline. Do you know the boy you were coming here to meet tonight is only 13 years old? No, I drove 900 miles for a 14-year-old. It's real easy, I promise. I mean, you, you've spent time watching children, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I have. No cussing, clean your plates, and only a half hour of radio, and then it's off to bed. Well, that sucks. And don't you mouth off to me, or I'm gonna slap you right in your penis. No offense, Mr. Herbert, but I'm a 17-year-old girl, and I don't need you here. Well, no offense to you, Meg, but you're a 17-year-old girl, and I don't need you here. Please, God, let me just sniff his hat. Let me just sniff his hat. That's all I want. Now I want more. Ma'am, I hate to be a nuisance, but your son stopped kicking the back of my chair. Mm. Thank you. We will now open up the floor to questions from a community at large. Yes, Mrs. Griffin. How do you feel about those computer websites that put a blue square on the home of a sex offender? Ah, uh, it's so nice to be home. You have 113 new messages. Oh, my. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, uh, mm, well, where the newspaper boy was. Haven't seen a newspaper in a couple days. Wondering if you ever gonna come back. Guess who? Sorry to leave you so many messages. Just lonely here, thinking about the must-down paper boy. Wishing he'd come by and bring me some good news. Where are you? Ah, oh, you're starting to piss me off, you little piglet son bitch. Call me. Hey, Mr. Herbert. Oh, my God. Children, run. It's that pervert. Everybody into my safety basement. Oh, oh, that was a bad snap. I'm hurt, kids. Don't eat those popsicles till I get down there. Let's get out of here, Brian. That birthday party Spider-Man is eyeing me. Hmm, 
Don't let me catch you, because I'll just wrap you up and eat you later. <laughs> the end of the world. Holy crap! Seems like I've run out of waiting time. Well, I'm all done shoveling your walk, Mr. Herbert. Thanks, Chris, but there's some in here, too. Excuse me, I'm looking for a car that's been tricked out to look like an ice cream truck. Damn it. I'm, I'm sorry, what? You know, with colorful pictures of ice cream treats. And it plays a tune that's fun for the young children. Da, 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 da. Da 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 He replaced my Cialis with methamphetamines. Pedal faster! I can't go any faster! Where you going, kids? Hey, I just want to talk to you. Why don't you come over to my place for a glass of wine and a couple of fruit pies, and then we can go in the back room and play Crazy Snake. Oh, I gotta say, Chris, all my life I wanted to see you locked in a basement. But now that it's happened, all I want to do is get you out. All right, raise some hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like girls are a different species or something. Oh, uh, who needs them? You like popsicles? Well, sure. And you need to come on down to the cellar. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mmm. No, thanks. I gotta get going. Oh, don't make me beg now. Ha <laughs> You're funny. Bye. Get your fat ass back here. Go with Lois. Chris, you check the basement with Herbert. Y'all know what day it is? No. It's bath day. Oh, I don't want to take a bath. <laughs> Not for you, silly. It's bath day for me, but I can't wash myself. Know anybody with a pair of strong young hands to help me in and out of the tub? Oh, rats! Whoa, 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 what the hell are you doing? Well, Mayor West is afraid of zombies, so the city says all caskets must be encased in concrete. You'll thank me when no one eats our brains. You'll thank me. Hold it, stop the funeral! Quagmire's not really dead! Ugh! Zombie! Ah! But what I need now is a diversion. Let's see. Hmm, jingle keys. My God, I'm a tomato. So, uh, you guys like to party? No! Oh, no. Oh, my God, what a couple of squares. Squaresville, I tell ya! Pizza for Adam West. No! You gave me Canadian bacon instead of bacon? This misdeed cannot go unpunished. Pizza delivery man, prepare to meet your maker at the hands of my cat launcher. Damn, I lost him. All right, cats, back in the bag. Come on, Fluffy. Come on, Mittens. Come on, Paul. What a ridiculous name for a cat. Paul, that's a person's name. A person's name. <laughs> oh, Paul. Mayor West, what are you doing here? I'm being a rascal and ringing people's doorbells and running away. Then what are you still doing here? It's my first house. I'm not very good at this. So it's a shouting match you want, eh? Well, game on, Quahog. I'm beating you! All right, listen to me, you long-necked bastard. You give me the scroll, and I make you head of sanitation services for the entire city. It's a do-nothing job, sweet cake. Thank you all for coming. We invited Jesse Jackson to open our negotiations with a prayer. Ooh. Oh, my. A 
Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. So in his place, we have LaToya Jackson. Thanks. Um, rub-a-dub-dub, thanks for the grub. Yay, God! How very inappropriate. Thank you. Well, how about you just give me your pen? You mean this cheap little pen we have millions of back at the office? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, Jim, you are truly outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. Damn it, Swanson, I want them found. Mayor West, we have every available man looking for the Griffins. We just don't have any leads. Not the Griffins, you moron. The rest of my light bright pieces. My name isn't Adam Wee. Or is it? Who am I? What number did you dial? Don't ever call here again. I guess I told him... Nobody messes with Adam Wee. So I'll be a captain, and, uh, Mayor West, you can be a captain. All right, I pick you. You can't pick me. I'm a captain. No one had ever stood up to me like that before. I respected him from there on out. That's a great story, Grandpa. I didn't like it. None of my grandchildren had ever disliked one of my stories before. From then on, he was my favorite. Well, I don't like that story, Great Grandpa. <laughs> Future old people are wizards. Dr. Brown, I just killed nine people! Ah, uh, I mean, I have ducks on my feet. Old crazy harmless mare. Quack, quack! Let's see. I guess 185 pounds. Wrong. I'm 95% helium. You know what? I will have some of that. What the... What the hell is this? Cream corn. I brought it from home because I don't like the cream corn they have here. It's too crunchy. Two shakes, that's it. Move along. Oh, why thank you, Tinkle Fairy. Today we're here to honor Joe Swanson for pulling my poor one-eyed cat Bootsy out of the old stovepipe of my grandmother's cabin. Joe Swanson won the special People's Decathlon and we're here to honor him. Nice going, Joe. Well, it's great being back in the north, where people are civilized. Hey, what are you guys all on a date? Gay! And now back to Romancing the Stone. The only way they're not gonna kill my sister is if we give them the stone. Well, they're gonna be looking everywhere. We'll have to hide it in my chin. Uh-oh, here they come. You better get in there, too. Good God! Joan Wilder's sister is being held hostage in Cartagena, and there's not a policeman in sight. I guess it's up to me. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. And I'm Diane Simmons. Our top story, Mayor West has dispatched the entire Quahog police force to Cartagena, Colombia, to assist in the rescue of fictional 1984 movie character Elaine Wilder. More on that later. Ah! Mayor West? Quiet, young man. Can't you see we're having a poker game? Now, I'll ask again. If I order a pizza, will anyone else have some? I might have a slice. Well, you know, I'm going to need more of a commitment than that, Mark. Uh, pardon me? I just bought a Rottweiler, and I need a sign to warn people how dangerous it is. Well, we have exactly what... Ah, uh, yes, here it is, one way. So people will know if they step into my yard, there's only one way out. In a body bag. From dog injuries. Good day, ma'am. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to join these two in holy matrimony. If anyone objects to this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. Quiet down, you had your chance. Here comes Mayor Adam West himself. Mr. West, do you have any words for our viewers? Box, toaster, aluminum, maple syrup. No, I take that one back. I'm gonna hold on to that one. Thank you, Mayor West. Which would make you... A communist! Ah! Ah! Ow! Damn! Usually my malcontents are skinnier. Would you come back in a week when my fat malcontent trapdoor will be completed? Mayor West, after working with you for some time now, I believe you are affecting your weird behaviors. You are doing deliberately odd things to mask dark, maybe even criminal activities. You are 100% aware of what you're doing. I think you're a dangerous sociopath. Cleveland, let me tell you something. You're absolutely right. Well, time to put on my spaghetti hat. What was all the commotion? Oh, nothing. It was just... <laughs> Pr 
Perhaps it was the Noid who should have avoided me. Ugh, get a tan. Gather today to remember those brave Quahog men who were lost at sea. The Bible declares an eye for an eye. So let us now take our vengeance on this murderous ocean. You won't be hurting anyone anymore. Milk, butter, cat food, those new potato chips in the snack aisle, beer, deodorant, garbage bags, toothpaste. Adam, I think that's your shopping list. No, these are my vows. They're all the reasons why I'll always love you. Oh, Adam. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. That's it. We have to fight fire with fire. If nuclear refuse gave them superpowers, it could do the same for me. Citizens, I'm off to the toxic waste dump. Mayor West, you have lymphoma. Oh, my. Probably from rolling around in that toxic waste. I see. What in God's name were you trying to prove? I was trying to gain superpowers. Well, that's just silly. Silly, yes. Idiotic, yes. I love this job more than I love taffy. And I'm a man who enjoys his taffy. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. You dick. Excuse me, Mayor West? How do you know my language? Listen to me. My entire future is in your hands. Are you Sarah Connor? No, I'm Meg Griffin. See, I need to interview you and... You're with the press? Yes. Well, you can't interview a dead man, can you? Oh my god, are you all right? I'm fine. Lucky for you, this tree was my destination. And the job exchange begins. Sir, do you want to move ahead on the agreement with the sanitation union? Sir, we need leadership. For an hour, and I don't have anything I can use for my article. Can you just please... My God! Somebody's stealing my water. It just went down the drain. They're crafty, I tell you. It happens when you least expect it. Show yourself, damn you! I've been investigating him for months. It's cost $150,000 of the taxpayer's money, but I'll find the culprits if it costs me a million. Oh, God, I love this song, and I love it when amateurs sing the lyrics. But I hate baseball cards. Someone win! All this singing is contagious. I'll sing, too. Adam West, Adam West, a little bit softer now. Adam West, Adam West, Adam West, Adam West. I'll come out when they're all gone. Just kiss your fruitcakes! Freshman. <laughs> Oh, I got you, you freshman. I'm going to teach you the lesson that it is not okay to be a freshman. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. No more, Mr. Please, please, please. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. This is he's sick. He's a C G C D. Mayor West. Well, well, Mr. Toilet. I thought you were in the Hamptons. No, 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 it's me, Meg Griffin. Young lady, I don't talk to the press under any circumstances. What makes you think I'll talk now? This. You just don't give up, do you? You seize life by the throat and shake it like a topless bartender mixing a martini. You've got your interview. <gasps> Thanks. Hey, hey, listen to this. Do I sound like I'm on old-time radio? Stupid place still doesn't have my dry cleaning. That's not a dry cleaner, it's a dance club. It is? Well, that explains a lot. Oh, this is my jam! 
Lois! 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 Is your wife named Lois too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois! Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 Dad, where are you going? Wearing a vest means I'm a failed actor who teaches acting in a city that's not New York or L.A. All right, Shreveport Community Center. Listen close, for I shall teach you the acting craft. Hey, didn't my husband chase you away from our recycling bin? Use that! And the award for Best Actress goes to Susan Davis for Get Away From My Recycling Bin, You Fat Failed Actor. She used it! Hi, you having a good night? I did. Just had a devil's three-way. You know, me and two guys. I think that's just gay sex. Why are you telling me all this? Isn't this taxi cab confessions? No, this is carpool karaoke. We're about to sing an Adele song. Oh, that's gay. Pull over by this hot guy and let me out. 100 people surveyed, top five answers on the board. Name something you might say to a damned spot. Out. Good answer. Ah, yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Show me out. What? That's impossible. Romeo, name something you might say to a damn spot. Hello. What? I know this audience. Of course it was hello. Of course it was. I don't know where socks come from. No idea. Did they come from trees? From bushes? I don't know. Get a hole in one, new pair shows up in my drawer. Just like that. Food, too. I chucked the mustard onto the front lawn last week. That night, back in a fridge. That would be kind of nice. Listen, stick with me. We're going to have a great adventure, like the astronaut who thinks the lowest number is three. And lift off in five, four, three, Whoa! two, one. Lift off. Peter, what the hell? My car! We might help. Oh, damn it! Hey, hey, come back! Hey, get back now! My me, I do. Good job, you're back now. Get going. Go to the long car, pull me. Then my mic, come down. Oh, sorry, Quagmire. How the hell am I supposed to get to the airport? I gotta fly a plane in 20 minutes. Oh, I can drive you. I got a pickup truck, see? Well, come on. Quagmire, I am so sorry. Don't worry about it. We can go after them. Don't worry about it. They're tagged. They're tagged. Just get me to the airport. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm making the world a better place. Like when I was the Instagram police. Sorry, lady, gotta crop the church. I will take this. And cut away complete. Hey, baby, how'd you like to share a pair of skates? Sure. Ah, oh, never mind. Boy, you look a lot better from the back. You jerk! Oh, hey, baby, you wanna go somewhere? No, 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 wait, wait, Quagmire. Remember what's on the other side. We now return to Rational Geographic. Upon realizing a trip to Africa would be smelly and gross, our crew decided to stay in the office. Oh crap, it's Carter. I bet he's mad I told the news about him. I'll just do what Superman does. Oh, hey Carter. Hello, citizen. Have you seen Peter? Ah, oh, he was just here. Peter, may I use your restroom? I took a laxative and a stool hardener. Oh, and they're fighting it out in there. Yeah, it's upstairs, Mort. Oh, boy. I hope there's a scale in there. I'd like to have a before and after on this one. I'll be out in a minute. I really need to go. She said she'll be out in a minute. Come on, big pappy. It's coming straight for us. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Mine. I got it. It's my ball. Damn it, Brian, that came to me. That's my ball. What? Holy crap. <laughs> wow. I guess all this time Quagmire should have been saying wiggity. <laughs> and the one I had breakfast and bread. Hi, Lois. It's a great morning, no matter how you slice it. Yeah, I don't know what this is, Peter, but we're four months behind on our mortgage. Well, that's odd. It's not like we're short on dough. I'm taking the kids, and I'm staying at my parents' for a while. That's the yeast of my concern. You know I like to watch two full movies before I go to work. No, Peter, they can't walk. It's three miles. <sighs> Fine, I'll take them. 
But you better keep those goggles, because I'm going to put them to good use tonight. Once the floor is full of sawdust, we can eat peanuts in here. Hey, what's going on in here? We're making the bread, sir. Good. Now get back to making sandwiches with the shiniest turkey on Earth. Subway, have it your way, if your way is very wet. Ooh, tandem bike. You gonna take a ride out in the country and let the AIDS blow through your hair? Get lost, Stewie. I am getting laid tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened to taking it slow? I have been taking it slow. We've been going out for three weeks and I haven't tried anything, even though she's been giving me some pretty strong signals. So, do you have any thoughts on what you might want to do tonight? Oh, I don't know. Does that mean you're asking me out? I guess it does. You're not ashamed to be with me? No, I'm not. I don't care anymore. I guess I'm just not as hung up as I used to be. Room service? Oh my god, you ordered room service? Are you crazy? What if somebody finds out I'm in here having goofball sex? Hello? Room service? I've got your eggs and snossages. Snossages. Everybody, I've come up with the perfect plan to catch the bat. I bought this remote-controlled toy helicopter to which I have attached this handgun. And I tell you, this thing is not easy to fly. Peter, that doesn't seem very... Here it goes. Now, I don't have anything to control the trigger with, so I put it on a timer. But I don't remember how long I set it. Ah, we're all gonna die! Okay, so now the bat has a gun and the knives I gave him. What? Why would you give him knives? I didn't think it would matter. I was counting on this helicopter thing working. Get back here! Damn it! God! Lois, there's something I want to ask you. Will you marry me? Oh, Peter, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I'm already engaged to Tom Tucker. Passed over for Tom Tucker? That's terrible. What do you think of that, fellow 90s star Joey Lawrence? Meh. Oh, huh. Okay, well, what would you think if I told you that Blossom would completely drop out of show business to get a PhD in neuroscience and then come back and make $15 million a year while you would work steadily for 20 years, lose all your hair, and go bankrupt? Whoa! There it is. Yeah, that's the... That's the thing I wanted. This is wonderful, too. I've always wanted to ride in a hot air balloon. Actually, Lois, it's a fart air balloon. So what do you think of Santa Fe? This is terrible. I'd rather be in the pancake ER. This is so exciting. What do you want to do tonight? What if we just go see a movie? We can see a movie at home. We need to go out, shake things up. We're here to experience new things, be other people. Mm-hmm. How much wine have you had tonight? Maybe we could hang out with that nice couple we met the other day. The Fettermans? Why do you always want to hang out with other people when we're on vacation? It's just nice to meet new people. Right, because I'm so interested in the medical supply business. <gasps> mm. Oh, you know who I saw at the market today? Patty Croft. Oh, and she has gotten fat. Oh, my God, Stewie, no! Oh, God, what have I done? I knew smoking was bad, but, but I still sold my soul. And for what? Martha Stewart? Come on, kids, we gotta put a stop to this. Now! <sighs> Finally. <sighs> and would you like to leave your panties in the fishbowl for a chance to win a free lunch? Good luck. When are you going to do that drawing anyway? Oh, there's no drawing. I just like smelling the bowl. You know, you're doing a great job, Chris. Why don't you jerk the rest of the day off? Man, this is the best job ever. And to think I almost took that pop-up restaurant gig. Hi, you hungry? <laughs> ah, Smitty's Steakhouse. You know, this was the fanciest restaurant in Quahog when I was a kid. The ladies' room has a big space with chairs in it, like a living room, before you get back to where the crap is at. Good evening, and welcome to Smitty's. I'll be back with martinis for Mom and Dad, and for you kids, some martinis. Dad, can you pass the bread? Sure, but don't forget the butter that looks like decorative bathroom soaps and is impossible to smear. Thanks, Dad. This really ruins it. Would you mind giving me a lift home, buddy?
Is that so? Well, in that case, the big promotion goes to Lois Griffin. <laughs> What can I say? I love my wife. That's my show. Why shouldn't this be me? Because I'm the funny one. Not on this show, you're not. Or am I? Ah, I thought we had one more fate. <sighs> I love you, Lois. Mm. Oh, Peter. Now, come on. Let's get it on through a P.O. box. Peter, this isn't working. Well, I'm at full go. Are you sure you're in the right box? Yes. Box 528? Yes, 528. All right, just reach in and grab it. I do, and I hope I didn't cause you too much trouble. This is not a drill. I repeat, not a drill. Good to be back doing this again, huh, Bill? What, shoveling coal into a penis? I was sleeping. What's happening? I don't know. Someone, someone get me nude art books! I need nude art books! Oh, good, Chris. You can hang this New York Times back on the... Oh, a pee-pee! Hey, Peter, you want to earn another ten bucks? Of course I do. Great, I got a hilarious one. I'll give you ten dollars for your L4 vertebrae. So, uh, I guess this means, Peter, you're our Joe now, and Joe, you're our Peter. That means you gotta do anything for ten bucks. Okay. I have a request. Yay! Joe's chin! Yeah, this has been great, guys. Now, all I need is a group photo of me kneeling in front of the village so I can brag about what a good person I am. As a mom, I want my kids to start their day right. And there's no better way than with a glass of fresh squeezed Sunny Dale orange juice. Isn't that right, sweetie? Shut your hoe, bitch. I'll tell you what I want fresh squeezed. These. Ah! <gasps> what the hell's he doing? He's blowing this. Oh, here's what I think of this orange juice. <clears throat> I, can't, I, can't, I can't go right now with everybody watching. But, but I presume you understand the disrespect I intended. You know, it's times like this where I think if I didn't talk and you were a normal baby, we wouldn't have any of these problems. You gotta help me get rid of him, Brian. He's creepier than that guy at the gym who just does karate in the mirror. It's me. The guy's me. I'm a gym karate creep. I'm pretty good, too. But relax. If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead. Meanwhile, everyone thinks Brian is the star of the group. Who thinks that? I don't know. I'm just saying, after every show, the fans are always petting Brian and not you. No one's allowed to pet me. It's illegal. I just hate to see Brian getting all the attention that you deserve. You should really watch your back. Oh, it's hard to believe Brian would betray me. I mean, he was there for me when I hit rock bottom. <laughs> see, Brian? That's a rock bottom. Thanks for being here for that. Now get out of here. We're about to drink some Chardonnay. I'm Tucker just ruined everything. This sucks even worse than when I stub my toe. Ah! Why does everything bad always happen to me? Answer me, guy in box and guy on cross. Ladies, this is your pilot speaking. I am in the full, upright, and locked position. Oh, my. Oh, my God, what are you guys doing here? Crap, my disguises didn't work. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I'm having a blast. You know, now that I'm not tied down by the show, it's given me more time to pursue my true passion. Weaving sexually explicit tapestries featuring the minions. Did you have any questions about the artist? Can I finger you? Sure. Hi, I'm Taylor Swift. I'm famous, but I'm really nice. Aw, that's one of the best fingerings I've ever had.
Peter, you gotta come outside. We found a used condom on the sidewalk. That's a bigger deal than regular garbage. Ribbed. A woman was pleased with it. You gotta see this, Peter. A used condom, just right out here. And there's panties nearby. Joe, you're a cop. What do you think happened here? I'll tell you what happened. Somebody did it. Yeah! Peter, come out here and high-five us over the sex someone else had. Someone had sex? I gotta touch another guy's hand to celebrate. Cleveland, that's your water scheme? I don't like getting wet. Oh, come on. What's the worst that could happen? You think all those chickens had to buy tickets? I don't know, but I'm starving. What I wouldn't give right now for a big, juicy steak. How dare you? To us, cows are sacred. That's right. You are disrespecting our entire culture. And why did Wes Anderson come here to make his worst movie? Stewie, what do we do? Quick, hit the red buttons! <sighs> wow, that came in handy. Yeah. Now, now let's, let's get out of here. Let's see what their look like. Yeah, yeah, no, let's get out of here. Now, this is something I ordered for me. I am a woman, and always have been. I've made plans to undergo surgery so my wang don't get in the way of the woman what I am. Ay, Dios mío! Lois, I'll still be a parent to our children, but now I'll be a transparent. Get it? Transparent? Clever pun, right? Please honor me for my courage. Well, you still got James Brolin coming in here, autographing your photos. That's kind of cool. You want to know something, Peter? He no come in here. I take the photo from the dry cleaners. Mamma mia, what are they? And now to say goodnight to all of my celebrity pictures on the wall. Buona notte, Christopher Plummer. Sleep with the angels, Sherman and Hemsley. See you in the sunshine, Ken Ober. And now to say goodnight to my favorite celebrity, James Brolin. Mamma mia! Who's still my James Brolin? I take that photo from the bakery. Pasta Fazul, what a good day in the bakery. You take a good care of the place while I'm gone, William McCad. That goes a double for you, James Brol. Mamma mia! What are we doing here? This is Pitbull's house. He knows everything about South Florida. He can help us find Mort. Doorbell. Doorbell, doorbell, ring. <laughs> it's my house. It's mi casa. Wow. Imagine kind of knowing two languages. Hang on. I'm in the middle of writing a song. Ding da dong ga de dong dong ding. <laughs> That's a hit. What can I do for you, my friends, amigos? I told you, this guy's the real deal. We're looking for a friend who's hiding out down here. He's a Jewish pharmacist from Rhode Island. Coral Palm Motel. Told you. And here's Pitbull with his newest hit. Tink da tonka te tong tong tink. Adios, goodbye, amigo friends. I gotta go get paid to scream, make some noise, in Vegas. Peter, bingo was Joe's favorite thing. Now you go over there and take him with you, or I don't want you going at all. Hey, 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 don't try to take this away from me. This is the only thing I've ever been good at. Well, this and timing my farts to a thunderstorm. Why don't we all go ahead and turn to page six in the handout? The first thing you're going to notice is a bar graph. And what that is, is to indicate our international sales, which peaked, of oh, course, yeah. during the last quarter. But now, we're expecting that to drop off as we enter the colder weather. The storm's moving away. Sorry about my family. Don't apologize. They seem nice. Well, you wouldn't say that if you ever saw us at the movies. All right, we got our popcorn from home, our soda from home, our snacks from home, and Braveheart. Ugh, all they're doing is announcing that they play the kazoo and then asking if others also play the kazoo. Well, this doesn't seem so bad. I mean, after all, it's a song for babies. Yeah, but, but that's the thing. Baby songs never tackle real baby issues. You know, like, like loud noises or teething or when Dad uses me as a lumbar pillow. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
Uh oh. This thing works better in the car. Hey, sorry to bother you, but would you like to work here? Me? Yeah, you'd be perfect. All right, now let me just take off these security tags for you. It's a living! So random! That's a comment on us. What the hell are you doing? This is a women's bathroom. This is a mess. It's working about as well as that animal sobriety checkpoint. Excuse me, sir. Is that a baggie of catnip on your seat? I have a card for that. What else you got in here? Open container of cat food? Feather on a string? Is that a dead mouse? <laughs> get him off me! Somebody get him off me! Think catnip's a joke? Think again. Vote yes on increased animal sobriety checkpoints. Paid for by dog. Huh. Turns out there's a job opening at the Pawtucket Brewery. Wow, that sounds even better than when I got paid to take part in that study. Hmm. The only one who couldn't finish the puzzle is the fat one. I'm sorry, I can't see what you're going for here. Well, uh, let me look at... Oh, it's a jar of preserves. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's what all the red pieces were, huh? I'm gonna whip that cigarette out of your mouth. And maybe not slice your face in half. Dad, I don't want to do this. Stay still! Ah! Okay, that's pretty cool, too. Hey, Dad, that's a cool whip. Ah, I thought you couldn't understand me! Oh, my God! That shark's attacking Quagmire! I think it's got him by the wiener! Man, that guy can get anyone to do that to him. Quagmire, are you okay? Do I look okay? I think you'll be fine. You just gotta wipe that squashed tomato off your crotch. <gasps> oh, oh my god, Quagmire lost his penis! All right, we gotta let all the other boats know. What is it again? White flag for friendly, black for not friendly, blue flag for penis loss? Oh man, that sucks. Oh my god, you look so cute! What is that, spray paint? Yeah, those little punks won a war, and now they've got one. Hey, here's someone who might understand how you feel. Hey, how you doing? First day being pink? Yeah. Welcome to hell. That must be the new nanny. Is this the Griffin house? Welcome to this work environment. Oh, I'm not the nanny. I'm her Uber driver. Your nanny's still in the car. She dozed off on the way here. I not doze off, Uber. Was looking at crinkled photos of dead relatives. Hello, I am Natalia. What is favorite breakfast fish? Well, if you must know... Ah! Welcome to this work environment. It's lucky you packed so many blow-up dolls, Qua... Qua... Quagmire. Be careful. The tiniest prick will pop these things. Giggity. We've been out here for days. I'm starving. Hey, what's that? Uh, what? You're eating something. You bastard! Do you have food? I don't know what you're talking about. Give me that! <laughs> Peter! You've been eating my legs? Yeah, see, now this is why I didn't say anything. I knew you were gonna get like this. What the hell is wrong with you? Look, look, Joe, I, J Joe... You've been eating me! Okay, you know what? Let's just agree to disagree. Wow, Peter, so you're really replacing Pawtucket Pat as a new mascot? Yep, I'm the new Pawtucket Pet. Hey, now you and Jared from Subway have two things in common. No, no, that's not true, Meg. It's not true! Peter, Peter, she's garbage. She's garbage. Let it go. You're the king. Yeah, garbage. Yeah. Would you like to come in? Hi, Peter Griffin, Leering Dad. A quick question. In Shake It Off, you invite us to get down to, quote, this sick beat. Yet the beat you then provide is rather mild. My question is this. May I lick your legs? Oh, good. You're alone. Hey, Lois. Why are you wearing a robe? Well, I heard about how Peter's making you see him naked lately, so I thought the only way to get even is for you to see me naked. W really? Yeah. It only seems fair. You know what? That makes sense to me. I mean... All right. Here we go. Ah! 
<laughs> you thought you were gonna see my wife's penis, but no, it's mine. <laughs> you idiot! Lois, where is my Red Bull? Peter, I got rid of it. Why the hell would you do that? It was making you crazy, and it's not good for you. That's why I poured it all out in the garden. Official flower business. <laughs> For most of the night, Peter gooshed on her flumpkiss. She crunkled his wansit. He boobled her bumpkiss. The bangle bong lasted till first break of day. Six times that night she screamed, Zazu Kaze! The end. Good night, Stewie. Don't read me books that you write. Oh, looks like they really want me to come to that party. We're gonna have to go. You... you have a pager? Yeah. You get paged? Yeah, that's how a pager works. Why don't you just get a phone? Um, you mean one of your government tracking devices? No thanks, I'm using a pager. Oh, you're looking at your steps? No, the government's watching where you're going. It's not nap time, Stewie. Wake up. All right, we're out of here. Okay, Stewie's going to the party. Yeah, but where's Chris going? I have no idea. He's completely off the grid. Damn it! He can't hide forever. Where are you? So you say this gumball machine took your dime and didn't give you a gumball? That's right. Well, I'll take care of that. Hand over the dime, buddy. Come on, hand it over. Don't make this hard on yourself. Wait a minute. This gumball machine takes quarters, not dimes. Holy crap, it's a setup! Time to make a quick getaway. You were set up too, huh? Yeah. You realize that kid is plowing both our wives right now. Hey, Preston, what's with the hat? This is my Halloween costume. I'm dressed as 1990s comedian Paul Shore. Y you mean Paulie Shore? Perhaps in less formal circumstances. You may recall he borrowed heavily from surf culture with phrases such as, hey, buddy, and grindage. I don't think this costume is working. Neither is Paulie Shaw. I'm a party bus guy now. That's got to be way better than when I drove a Fiat. Hey, you cut me off. What? Turn down your radio. I can't. My stomach's pressed up against the dial. You want to go? Get me 17 shoehorns and some canola oil and we'll go. Get back here. Okay, so the deal is I get girls like you jobs. The jobs pay 1000 to 5000 a day. I'm recording this interview. And then I send the demo tape to producers, and if they like you, they're going to hire you. Have you done anything like this before? Never. This is my first time. All right, now a lot of these scenes are going to be you interacting with someone else, so I'll just come around and read with you. Now, since I'm holding the camera, I'm going to need some help with my belt buckle. Oh, I see you came with the big cheese. What? You? You're a big cheese? I usually bring a variety wheel of laughing cow cheese. <laughs> laughing cow! That's gotta be a happy farm, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just must be cracking up all the time hanging out with this one. Look, ma'am, I don't know what signals Joe is sending out, but I'm married. A loaf of bread, a container of milk, and a stick of butter. A loaf of milk, a container of bread, and a Joe Dirt DVD. Joe Dirt DVD, Scarlett Johansson, and treasure from a fish tank. No, not you. Oh, sorry. In fact, everyone but you. Hi, everyone but him. Hi. American Johnny. Holy crap, Quagmire, you're famous here. It's American Johnny. American Johnny is back. I take a picture with the giant Samsung phone. Giant Samsung phone is also a tiny Kia car. <laughs> Excuse me, how many BTUs does this grill have? Oh man, that puppy? More than you need, less than I want. I excuse me, do you have a small grocery cart I could put this boat-sized hunk of lumber in? Probably out in the parking lot. Can you tell me where I can find extension cords? Aisle 25. I was just there. 26. There is no 26. 15. And, well, Prius Pumpkin from the county fair, that's why I'm naming you my chief of police. 
Mayor West, there's something you need to see. My God! My wife is seeing another mayor! I'm sorry, sir. Don't be. Because I'm going to win her back. I trust you'll take care of things here in my absence. <laughs> Officer down! Evil, evil monkey! God, I finally get some time away from the evil monkey in my closet. Can't keep it in my room because there's an evil monkey that lives in my closet. You know, the sad part is, he wasn't always evil. Honey, good news! I made partner! <laughs> Holy crap, Chris, is that thing dangerous? Yes, he's evil! I'm not really evil. It talks! If someone will please untie me, I'll explain everything. No, Dad, don't do it! He's evil! Look, just trust me. This is all a huge misunderstanding. Chris, I think we should give him a chance to explain himself. No! Oh, thank you very much. Now, I know this looks bad, me living in your son's closet and all, but it's a very complex situation. You see, basically, I got home from work one day and found my wife cheating on me with another monkey. I fell into a deep depression after the divorce, which ended up costing me my job. All my money was gone, which means I lost the house. So I moved into Chris's closet just until I got back on my feet again. Wound up living in there for nine years. I want to go, Dad. It'll get me away from the evil monkey that lives in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> monkey in a closet. <laughs> And this is Chris. Chris, this is my son, Dylan. Hi, Dylan! All this stuff in here is mine now. Oh. Well, okay, but be careful opening the closet, because that's where the evil monkey lives. <laughs> Yay! I haven't been in my closet for years! Boy, there is a lot of feces in here. You bastard! Well, here he is! The evil monkey! Do you believe me now? Holy crap! It is real! Oh my god! I thought I was the only one! Meg, we're do we're doing we're doing Chris's monkey. Easy for you to say. He doesn't hide in your closet making a scary face. That's just the face I make when I'm thinking. And you're always pointing at me. I was trying to start a conversation. And you do that weird trembling thing. I have a copper deficiency. Look, Chris, I'm sorry if I scared you before, but this is a great chance for us to start over. No, it isn't. You can fool everyone else, but you can't fool me. You go to hell. Miss Cyrus, I ask you to stop what you're doing. I don't just mean this, I mean everything. Uh, the show, the music, it's all just awful. All right, Peter, we're closing in. Get ready to fire.
We now return to Freddy Got Fingered. Oh, God. Ouch. Oh, God. Yellow Pages, let your fingers do the walking. <laughs> Are we still going to the baseball game? Get that away from me, Chris. <laughs> Stop it, Meg! Ah. Now you kids go to your rooms and don't come out for the rest of the night. But I don't want to go to my room. There's an evil monkey in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> evil monkey. <laughs> it's funny. We can't let that happen! I am in no mood! Oh, God! Oh, God! I gotta get out of here! I gotta get out of here! Dewey, calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Here, Brian, let me handle this. Calm down. Everything's gonna be all right. Chris, you're wanted on the phone. Everything's gonna be all right. Dad, there's an evil monkey in my closet! I don't care, son. I just do not care. Friendship is the best thing ever Except for best friendship, which is a little better You mean a lot better I mean a lot better Now we're friends, yes it's true But no one else can friend me like you Friendship is the best thing ever Except for best friendship, which is a little better Well, at least I don't have to worry about the evil monkey here. Ah! Chris, why don't you put these upstairs in your closet so we don't lose them? But the evil monkey lives in my closet. Of course, he hasn't been as evil since he became a Jehovah's Witness. Oh, we got a letter from Chris. Okay, he says he's doing great, having a wonderful time. He met a girl. <laughs> he got married. He says he's not coming back. If, if you get a job, who's going to feed me and protect me from the evil monkey in my closet? Now, Chris, you know there's no such thing. No! <laughs> Every time I try to study, the evil monkey comes out of my closet and scares me. I got a real hankering for pudding. That's so weird. I was just thinking about pudding on the way over here. It's got to be that new billboard advertising pudding on the highway. We all drove past it on the way here. I love you, Dad. I love you too, sweetheart. None of the past matters. I just remember CBS Outdoor advertising on the bottom and three pigeons sitting on top. You're bad at looking at billboards. That's real pudding in there. What? No, it isn't. They wouldn't put real pudding on a billboard, Peter. Look, there's only one way to settle this. I am climbing that billboard to prove it's real pudding. All right, there's no pudding, but there is a kid up here. That's the lost Nicholson kid. He's been missing for a week. They arrested a custodian because of you. Mikey, you're safe. Thank you so much for finding my boy. Thank you for finding her boy. I'm the stepfather. I'd like to present you with this key to the city. I am a man who unintentionally saves kids. Wow. 20 years on the force and no one's ever clapped for me. I don't think. I just do. I wanted to see if a billboard had real pudding in it. So I climbed up there and came out a hero. Peter. That thing you said about not thinking and just doing stuff. Did you mean that? Sure I did, Joe. I never stopped to think. Hey, Chief, it's Swanson. I quit. Joe Swanson. I don't know if Ray Swanson's quitting. You'd have to ask him.
Joe, what are you doing? You can't quit your job. You and I are done too. What? Whoa! New Joe! Oh, God. What? What? You know what? I think it looks good. You are, you are just trying anything. Oh, I feel terrible for Bonnie and the kids. Ah, oh, they'll be fine. He'll bounce back, just like Humpty Dumpty did after his fall. Oh, wait, wait, Quagmire, hold up. I got a great knock. <laughs> oh, I gotta remember that. Come on in, check out the new pad. Whoa, you got an air hockey table? Yep, wanted it, got it. The kind of guy who's always got butterscotch candies for his friends. Okay, now that's pretty cool. No more thinking, just living. Well, it seems like you made the right choice, Joe. I mean, I ain't seen anyone this happy since the invention of the penny farthing bicycle. Futuristic machine! Uh, uh, oh! Uh, uh, Children, this is progress! What would you guys think of a road trip? Oh, yeah, hey, I'm in. Awesome road trip! I love being super pumped for 15 minutes and then bored out of my mind for eight hours. Donna's big fat aunt is in town, so I can definitely go. What? You want to tip over some cows? Hell yeah! That was awesome. I want to kiss that cow, but I don't want it to be my idea. Hey, Peter, you should kiss that cow. Okay, they're sleeping. We're gonna have to party in the bathroom. Be careful around the really fat one. He's kind of like my boss. I see three young men who could use the tickle monster. Uh, that's a bad read, Pete. Joe, it's three in the morning. We're trying to get some sleep. No, Here he no, goes. No, He's gonna get you. Right, we're <laughs> Great. Now I'm fully up. Here we are, guys. Niagara Falls. We showed them. We showed them all. Showed who? What the hell is he talking about? Wow. You know, when you see it up close, it really is incredible. Yeah. Holy crap, it's beautiful. Didn't I tell you guys? It's the most magnificent place in the world. And the greatest place to end it all. Goodbye, fellas. Oh my god, Joe killed himself! It's so weird that he argued over the price of breakfast this morning. Well, hang in there, Joe. We'll get some help. No! Just let me die! Oh no, can't do that, Joe. We're friends. We look out for each other. Don't worry, Joe. They're coming for you. Yay! My backpack! Hang in there, Joe. After they get that lady's hat, you're next. Joe, what the hell is wrong with you? Why would you try to kill yourself? What do you think? I'm worthless. But you've been so happy these last few days. I'm a cop who can't save anyone. I'm a husband in a legless marriage. My whole life is a joke. The whole point of bringing us to Niagara Falls was just to kill yourself? Well, I'm sorry I tricked you guys into coming. I just wanted to spend my last week with my best pals. Yeah, some might say the second best lawn in the neighborhood. Hey, wh where's Joe? Joe, wait! Guys, this is unnecessary. Give me my chair back. No, we can't trust you not to kill yourself. Yeah, then you'd be the tenth friend who's killed himself in front of me. Good idea. We should just go home. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's too bad we already bought those tickets for the Whirlpool Aero Car. Okay, okay. Whirlpool Aero Car, then Whitewater Walk, then we bring Joe back. Well, this has just been one heck of a fun day. You mind opening that door? Get a little breeze in here? Sure. Peter, no! Oh, crap! I'm losing my grip! You buy your jeans at Walmart? Keep swallowing water. We'll drink our way out of this. Guys, grab onto my legs! Ew. You know, this is actually the first time I've ever touched Joe. Oh, thank God, Joe. I thought I was dead. I even pictured my own funeral. I don't know why he wanted this, but we're honoring your father's wishes. Uh, I'm gonna miss my daddy. You know, I spent the whole time trying to kill myself, but it took seeing you guys almost die to realize that life really is worth living. Or whoa, 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 what's that song? Nothing. I made it up. Well, stop it. It's terrible. I don't think so. It's catchy. Yeah, don't anyone sing anything else until we get home. We gotta record this. Yeah, that'll be great. I'm a Barbie girl. 
Well, that was kind of a weird trip, but I'm glad we went. Yeah, I love Niagara Falls. Turns out not many people want to probably get shot for $24,000 a year. Happy birthday, Mom! Oh, thank you, everybody. I know it's a little self-centered, but this is my favorite day of the year. Lionel Richie's Can't Slow Down? Great album, Lois. I didn't know who I was until I heard this album. Uh, two tickets for a cruise? <laughs> Brian, this is wonderful. What the Brian? hell? Dick. Now, what are you angry about? You get to go on a cruise with me. What? What? Well, yeah. You didn't think Brian meant for me to go with him, did you? Now, you kids behave yourselves while we're away. Yeah, be good till we get back and Brian stay out of the cat box. Stewie, Peter and Lois aren't taking you with them. They've already boarded. <laughs> Not without me. I'm the baby. Well, I haven't been this disappointed since I saw the lake house. I've been watching this woman for three hours, waiting for her to turn over. Peter, she knows she untied her bikini. Women don't forget those things. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to bar you from the aft section of the ship for the rest of the cruise. It is called the poop deck. That is why I pooped there. Ah, I feel like that fat-ass British girl from Titanic. Sweetheart, that was a guy. What? That was a guy. That was Philip Seymour Hoffman. What are you doing? I'll teach that hussy to go on a boat ride without me. When she returns, I'm going to put bamboo splinters under all her fingernails. You gonna shower her off after all that candle wax? No, I'm gonna keep her filthy. Yeah, she's been a bad girl. Call her a bitch. Until I'm hoarse with rage. Maybe smack her ass with a riding crop and watch her go to town on herself? Yes, and it... What? You're getting some kind of sick sexual thrill off this, aren't you? Who cares? You're not gonna kill her anyway. You're gonna bitch and moan, and then you're gonna do what you always do. Rupert, I've been all talk. So much time wasted. Well, no longer. Lois is a dead woman. Peter, stop picking your teeth. We're at the captain's table. And that was the first time I saw the Northern Lights at their peak. All right, I got one for you. So me and Lois are driving up to Vermont to get this abortion. Peter! I just, hang, hang on, hang on, Lois. Don't ruin it. So I turn to Lois and I says, You want to get an abortion here? You want to get an abortion with the abortionist having a stump hand? So we turned around and went home, and two and a half months later, our daughter Meg was born. You've totally ruined this trip for me. I am mortified to even show my face around this ship. Hey, the captain's the one who should be embarrassed. His story was gay. Hello, mother. Stewie? What are you... What? What are you doing with a gun? Something I should have done a very long time ago. I did it! And finally, still no word on the disappearance of Lois Griffin, housewife and mother from Quahog who vanished from a cruise ship six days ago. Oh yes, I'm sure they'll find her. This is fantastic. Nobody suspects a thing. Ooh, listen to my voice. That sounds cool. What is it, Joe? Please tell me Lois is alive. <sighs> It's been six days, Peter. I'm sorry, but we had to call off the search. Hey, where have you been? I had another date. You know, I'm glad you're finally putting yourself out there. Lois would have wanted you to move on. How would this work in, in bed? I can't do sex, but I can give you a stick job. That sounds... Yes, it is very unpleasant. No, it, it's okay. I promise you, it's okay. I'm not sure. It's okay, Peter. Did we get any mail from Mom at the health spa today? Nope, sorry, Chris. She said she's going straight from the spa right back to Europe. Here you go, Stewie. Finish your oatmeal, and then I'll get you ready for a Mommy and Me class. You know, Meg has really flourished since Lois was murdered. Did you... Did you kill Lois? Of course I didn't, Brian. Remember what you said? I'm all talk. Could you reach into my pocket and get the number for that acupuncturist? You son of a bitch, you killed Lois! Good luck proving that, Brian. Oh, seriously, that number... Hey, put your wallets away, guys. The drinks are on me. Well, that's awful nice, Peter. What's the occasion? Lois's life insurance policy paid off. I didn't know that you had life insurance on Lois. Did you get that right before the cruise? Right after we had that big fight when I said I wish you were dead. You don't think. That fat bastard murdered her, didn't he? That son of a bitch! He's a killer, like Bernie gets! Hey, Stewie, I found this receipt for a speedboat rental upstairs in your room. Any idea how it got there? Someone who rented a speedboat must have left it there. Uh-huh. Damn! What the hell are they doing here? That does look like Peter's handwriting. <gasps> There's no doubt anymore. 
Joe, what the hell is going on? You're a suspect in Lois's murder. That's what's going on. I can't believe Dad killed Mom. Look, there he is. Peter called me right after he killed my daughter to tell me he killed my daughter. Really? Well, that is interesting. Lois, I'm fat and I'm stupid and I fart at times that ruin my father-in-law's social occasions and that's why I'm never invited to them. Have you ever seen your father do anything bad? Proud of you. Okay, so when I see Pat Tillman come over the horizon, I shoot him. No, no, no. When you see the enemy come over the horizon, you shoot the enemy. Okay, okay. When you see the Taliban come over the horizon, you shoot them. All right, so I shoot Pat Tillman and then run when the Taliban show up. No! Of course I deny it. I loved my wife. And I certainly think I'd remember killing her. Mr. Griffin, do you drink? Are you a violent man? What are you, a wise guy? Because I know how to deal with wise guys. No further questions. We find Peter Griffin guilty of murder in the first degree. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, yeah! Mr. Griffin, I hereby sentence you to life imprisonment with no possibility of... <gasps> Lois! You're alive! He didn't, Chris. But someone tried to. Do you remember who it was? It was Stewie! Hey, check it out, you guys. I got a new cell phone that takes pictures. Look, look, I took a picture of Lois's poo. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should email me that picture. Hey, boys. What the hell are you guys doing here? Oh, uh, we just decided to have a little girl's night out. Oh, check it out, girls. Jukebox, huh? <laughs> So much fun. We just might make this our regular spot. Cohog Men's Club is complete. It took six weeks and cost $8,000, but it was worth it. You ripped a whole chunk of wall out of the house. What is this? There's something wrong with the house. All right, you ready for this? Okay. Would you have sex with Cleveland if it meant you could have sex with Angelina Jolie? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, Peter. Why does it always have to be about sex? This is stupid. I want to talk about vaginas! Let's go stand over near Brian, and we'll take a drink every time he says bonerific. Bonerific? Yeah, it's his catchphrase. He says it all the time. He's not saying it, Peter. <laughs> no, why would I say that? It's not even a word. What isn't a word? Bonerific. <laughs> Ugh, I got a headache. Do you have any Anison? Any what? Anison? Yeah, Anison. Do they even make Anison anymore? Yeah, it's still around. All right, one more pre-party drink and then we'll head off to the clam. It's cheaper to drink at your house first. They're always trying to get away from us. We should march in there and remind them that they have wives. Tell that story about the girl with the inside-out anus. Oh, you mean Blossom? Oh, that's a great story. Be good to have some chicks in here. Quagmire, you nuts? This is a men's club. There's the problem. The ratio will be terrible. Hey, 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 stop it! You women can't dance in here! What's the matter, Bonnie? Don't you want to dance? Oh, it's okay, Joe. I don't mind sitting here with you. Sometimes I feel more useless than the head of the maids' union. Poor Bonnie. She must regret this marriage. If only there was some way for me to walk again. Thank you. <laughs> I want to walk again. I'll do whatever it takes. Well, there is a highly experimental new procedure. It's essentially a leg transplant. Now, Mr. Swanson, through the magic of digital imaging, we'll select the legs most suited to your body from our inventory of donors. Ah, good choice. These are the only ones we have in stock that aren't hilarious. I'll take them. All right, Doc, I trust you. Good. Now I'll just pop in the how-to video and we'll get started. What? No! I give you the new Joe Swanson. Come on, Joe. I'll drive you home. Are you kidding? I've got working legs for the first time in 15 years, and I'm going to use them. Come on, guys. Let's go. Go? Where are we going? I want to do all the things I could never do when I was handicapped. Oh, this is great. I feel so alive. There's no mercy in this dojo. Joe, why don't you take it down a notch? No mercy. <laughs> And this time, no mistakes! One, two, three, four! Good morning! Good morning! Joe is running us ragged. Yeah, I haven't been this exhausted since I had that job as Jack A. Harry's personal grocery shopper. Look at this one, a desk of Cheez-Its. 
A desk? Where, where are you getting these units of measurement from? I'm taking my new friends. This is Parker, Quentin, and Portland. I decided it's time I got some friends more suited to my status. But Joe, we've been friends for years. Hey, we all make mistakes. I wish you'd go over there and patch things up with Joe. Hey, screw him, Lois. He doesn't need us anymore now that he's got his cool new friends. I'm hurt. I lost my buddy. Well, Peter, there have been a lot of changes in Joe's life, and maybe he just needed to move on. Do any of you know the tale of how cornmeal came to be? Neither did the miller when he left his house that morning. Ah! There's nothing to talk about. I've outgrown you, Bonnie. I need to spread my legs and fly. You've changed, Joe, like I did when I went through puberty. Hey, you guys feel like playing some baseball? Excuse me, I'm gonna go masturbate. Boys, there's only one answer. We gotta re-cripple Joe. Honey, I forgot my solo flex. Yo, Joe. What the hell are you doing here, pansy? We're gonna break your legs, Joe. Put my gun down. Not until I back oh, my perfect ass oh, for god's sake just give me the gun i'll do it myself i was acting like a first class jackass hope that you can forgive me oh it's just good to have our old joe back oh god buddy i'm sorry you okay Now I've seen Woodrow Wilson naked. Stewie Griffin, welcome to the Purple Room. Wow, look at that. This must be how the Tin Man felt when he finally got his heart. You know, it's kind of hitting me now that maybe I was thinking more metaphorically. Oh, no. You said you wanted a heart over and over again. You sang that whole song about it. <laughs> And when Alexander saw the breadth of his domain, he wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer. Everybody's always getting an award. But well, you've never gotten an award. Uh, what's that bowl that says good boy? You know, that was our old dog's dish. You know, Brian, I gave some thought to what you said the other day, and I realized you're right. Moving to the Purple Room is not an achievement. Anyway, you got me thinking. I've spent my entire life in that ivory tower, learning from pop-up books and animal sound machines, instead of actually experiencing the world. That's why I got this. You're a baby. How'd you afford a car? You know how good I am at making a deal. So where exactly are we going, anyway? Brian, I think the road has a way of telling you where you're going. There. Why do we show our visitors how we sing what we see, y'all? Sing what we see. Sing what we see. Boy in a truck too young to drive. Sing what you see. Brian! Oh, uh, uh, car? Oh! Come on. 
let's just see what we see and keep it to ourselves. What are you doing? It's 18 and older, Brian. If I want to get in, I need to look the part. I've also been working on my banter, like in case somebody bumps into me. Oh, no worries, bro. I'm tired of living my life in a tiny little box like some sort of claustrophobic turtle. Ah! 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 Okay, Brian, the key to these things is to find a good position to sit on the ground. Yeah, cool. I got that blanket from your trunk. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is already hurting my hip. We could probably just stand. No, no, we got the blanket. Lean back on the palms until they get weird creases. Oh, no, all the way back. Oh, flat back, craning to look up. Terrible. Oh. Balls of feet butt hover like a Chinese guy. Oh, oh, all right. Standing it is. Yeah, just waiting for a big gust of wind, right? Huh? Good gust of wind. See a couple of fannies? Yeah? Give him a little bare hand slap, a little cup. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Okay, Stewie. Yeah, I'll tell you who this Stewie is. This is day drinking Stewie. On the patrol for fannies. Fanny! Yeah, Fanny! What are you looking at? Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, I don't know. Four different bands said we've been a great crowd, so you tell me. Yeah, I've had a pretty good day, too. People keep passing out and barfing, and that barf is, like, free to take. Awesome. Oh, oh here, here she, she comes, comes now. now. Hey, Stewie. Hey, Brian. Oh, crap. Wait, how can a music festival chick like two guys? Oh, no, he, he's kidding. I, I'm perfectly capable of taking a pill. <laughs> yep, down the hatch. Did you happen to read his tweet about jumbo shrimp? <laughs> Just a little heads up, Stewie still screams, what's happening when he gets an erection? Oh, this is nice, spending this time together. In fact, I was thinking maybe we could all have a three-way. A, a three-way? I'm in. Yeah, totally. Really? Cool, let's go. <laughs> You take her left side, I'll take her right. What? Wait, how about top and bottom or front and back? How about I take head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes? You guys ready? Because <sighs> I am. Ah! What's happening? <gasps> what? We can't just leave her. She had nobody. No family, no friends. Really? How do you know all that? All that? You said you were in love with her. Did you not talk to her at all? Oh, I, I talked to her. You're a monster. You're even worse than Dr. Finkelstein. Everyone deserves a proper burial. Um, Cassandra, I'm sorry your life was so screwed up that you almost had a three-way with a dog and a baby. Also, I loaned you $40 for that Lumineers t-shirt, and you said you'd pay me back, so I'm gonna take your bra. Well, Brian, thanks for going on that little adventure with me, but I think I've learned quite enough from the real world for now. Well, I guess you're ready for the purple room after all, huh? Yes. Sweetie, I'll write you a check. No, 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 I got it, Lois. Let me just lick my thumb, because that's what people do before they write a check. Okay, now let me tilt my glasses down and ask the date. Lois, why don't my checks have any writing on them? Well, Peter... What? That's just a wide pad of Post-its I gave you. What the hell, Lois? Why don't I have a real checkbook? Peter, where do checks come from? Uh, when a mommy and daddy love each other? That's why. Lois, I want my own checkbook, and I want it now! Hi, what can I do for you? Yes, I was wondering, where is the room where I can roll around nude with my money? My husband wants to open a checking account. Okay, Justin Peter Griffin. It's actually just Peter Griffin. So this is not your birth certificate? Justin Griffin. Huh, I like the sound of that. Peter, it doesn't change a thing. You're still the exact same person. I beg to differ. Hey, Lois, you see my hiking boots? I need them later for park soccer. Peter, why the hell do you look like that? Uh, my name isn't Peter. My name is Justin. I'm living a Justin lifestyle. Since I'm your cool father, Justin, we should bond with skin-to-skin -skin contact. How about Justin takes his shirt off and we can get some photos of you on Justin's belly? Jeez, this Justin phase of Dad's is kind of weird. Uh, not as weird as his karaoke phase. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing in here? Oh, hey, Chris. I just figured now that I'm Justin, I should start a sweet news wall for stuff I think is totally sweet. Here's just a picture of a vest. 
pretty sweet. Palm trees are very sweet, because like the beach. This is my room, Dad. The band Guster is the sweetest band of all time. Oh, hey, Mama. Hey, you seen my copy of Into the Wild? I like to have it on my person at all times in case I need a quick inspo sesh. You ever get in the pocket of a wave? Peter, you know I haven't. And I know for a fact that you haven't either. In the pocket. Some gnarlies out there. Some nanas. Keep it cool, Lois. K-E-W-L. Hey, Justin, I wanted to introduce you to Kira. She's the one who brought four loose Sierra Nevadas. Kira, you totally rock for bringing those. Peter, what the hell is going on? All right, everyone out of here. I've had enough of this Justin nonsense. Tomorrow, we're going to City Hall to legally change your name back to Peter. Brain tumor? How is that possible? So, Doc, um, how much Jamba Juice do I have to drink to cure this? Um... I, I've also heard that, like, crystals exist. Well, I haven't heard of brains being linked to behavior, but I suppose anything is possible. Dr. Hartman, what's the prognosis? Well, it says here Brian's tumor is for office use only. Ah, benign. It says benign. Well, since Brian's tumor poses no immediate threat, we can schedule surgery to remove it, and he'll be back to his old self in no time. So if Brian doesn't have the surgery, will he be all right? I don't know. Is Dax Shepard all right? Well, it seems kind of gratuitous. My point is, Brian could have the surgery and be smart again, or he could skip the surgery and stay dumb like this. Right, you're not thinking clearly. All right, you've got to agree to this surgery. Because right now, you're as useless as Black Widow is to the Avengers. So, what's your superpower? Kicking. Hey, this isn't the Kenny Chesney concert. No, I'm afraid that was a white lie to get you here, Brian. I'm sitting on my foot to hold in a dump. Please don't embarrass me here. Hey, this isn't the Kenny Chesney concert. Uh, no, Brian, this is called yoga. Lots of smart people do it instead of going to church. And after we get done with this, you're going to talk a lot about being present and grounded. Okay, before you say anything, no, this is not the Kenny Chesney concert. We're here to have a nice, civilized dinner and to show you that you don't have to eat all your meals in your car. Ugh, I can't change you back. This whole endeavor was doomed to fail, like an Asian guy going to a salon. I, I want to have my anus breached. He's gone, Rupert. It appears I've lost Brian to the dumb side. So now, I need you to be Brian. Here's your collar, and here's a laptop. Write something bad. Hey, what's this? Gaylord practice? That's the eighth time you've asked me that today. Listen, Brian, I've been trying to change you, but I realize that if you're happy, I need to accept the you that you want to be. Okay, well, I'm going to go put on my python and walk to the park. Brian, wait. I'm, I'm trying to say that I accept your choice to forego surgery. I release you into the thick mire of stupidity. Good Lord! If I don't do something, his stupidity will kill him. And then I'd lose Brian forever. Like that dog the Russians shot into space. I've got to convince him to get that tumor removed before it's too late. Now remember, it's England, so take long, deep breaths. Hey, Brian, you want to go see Dr. Hartman and get that procedure where you get two wieners? Whoa, hell yeah! Well, good news, Griffins. Brian is going to be just fine. I was able to remove his tumor. And if anyone wants to keep it, it's here in this Tupperware. Oh, Brian, I'm so glad you're all right. Thanks, but this is all kind of surreal. I missed you, buddy. Welcome back. Thanks, Stewie. You never gave up on me. You knew that wasn't really me. Yeah, well, it's no big... Hey, Lois, guess what? I had them do that two-wiener operation on me. You what? Double trouble! Uh-oh. That was the original. Hey, welcome to Bonnie's 29th birthday party. <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep this up. She's 46. Here, we brought you guys an orchid from Trader Joe's because we don't know or care about any of your interests. Well, I put together some videos for Bonnie's party. Here we are on our honeymoon. <laughs> Better wrap it up, honey. Tide's coming in. Well, let's break for presents, but after that, I'll show you Susie's birth video, and I'll tell you, she fell out of there like an orange out of an old dress sock. Kind of weird they're keeping all our jackets in the tub. <laughs> Bye.
Bonnie? I told you, Joe, when we're alone, you can call me Bonald. No, no, it's me, Brian. Is that your real name? I mean, are you are you okay? Sorry, am I allowed on the bed? I guess so. What's wrong? Nothing. I have something in my eye. And now you feel like you never had a chance to be your true self. Yeah. I know just how you feel. I mean, I'm happy that Peter found me and gave me a home, but sometimes I wonder if I'd be happier on my own. Exactly. It's like sometimes I feel... Trapped? No. I was going to say, like, the Von Trapps. You know, unable to leave their home in Austria. Oh. Well, that still is remarkably close. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't... I didn't mean... No, it's okay. Um, I'd better go downstairs before Joe realizes I'm gone. And before Peter gets into the stuff that's not for the party. Ah, Halloween candy! Peter, get out of the pantry! Brian, what are you doing up so late? I'm having trouble sleeping. I gotta tell you something. I kissed Bonnie last night. What? I know, I know, it was a huge mistake. So... Let's just do two or three high fives and then forget it ever happened. Ryan, if Joe finds out, he'll kill you. Yeah, no kidding. That's why you can't tell anybody. Promise me. Ah, don't worry, don't worry. I'm great at keeping secrets. Well, except for that one time you discovered my hidden shame. Oh, come on in. Peter, Joe and Bonnie are here for game night. Game night? Yeah, I figured it was the least we could do since you pulled up a beheading video on your phone at their party and showed it to everyone. It was really more about how loud my phone can get. Peter, we're doing this. <sighs> All right. But the operation game is out of battery, so I'll have to make the noise. <clears throat> you hear that? That's the sound of bad surgery. <clears throat> oh. Hey. Uh, hi, Brian. Um, listen, about the other night. You haven't told anyone, have you? No, no, of course not. I, I was going to ask if you had. Hey, Brian, can you bring me up a snack? I'm supposed to be in bed. Look, the other night was great, but it was a mistake. You're right. Oh, but... I felt it, too, but maybe in another life, huh? <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. This could never work. Like porn movies before sound. I think that's uh, time. Your your turn is over. Oh, sounds like. Uh, sounds like dog kisses crippled guy's wife at your party. Wait, wait, I know it. The other night at your party, Brian kissed Bonnie. What? <gasps> Bonnie, is this true? Oh, my God. I know, making out with a dog? Can you even imagine a woman who possibly does that for real? Uh, hi, Joe. Hi, Brian. Look, I, I want to apologize for what happened. I, I, I didn't mean to kiss Bonnie. Everybody had a little too much to drink. It, it just happened. I hope we're still cool. Hey, don't worry about it. It was a crazy party. We ran out of salsa. <laughs> How do you run out of salsa? Anyway, we're good. What? No! What's he doing? My car was parked legally. <sighs> well, maybe your car violated some sort of unspoken boundary. One that nobody bothers to codify because it's just common decency. Hey, Joe, is that the guy? Read your text, Jerry. Not supposed to say you know me. Well, I hope your day gets better, Brian, but uh, I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> hey, Brian, I uh, know that things have been awkward between us, but just to show you there's no hard feelings, can I buy you a drink? You know what? Sure. Thanks. Oh. What the hell happened? How do I walk? Are these forever? I also rub my butt on you. They don't get us, Bonnie. And you deserve better than this. We both do. You know what? Let's get out of here. Wow, we are zero for two on interventions today. Ah, <sighs> we did it. We don't need those narrow-minded losers. This is so exciting. We can finally live the lives we've always wanted. Like, I can finally start my jewelry design business making earrings for tweens. Listen, hear that? That is the sound of not making an enormous mistake. I think I hear it. <sighs> She's really gone. And she took little Susie with her. I miss that baby more than anything. 
No, I guess you left it here. Joe, I want you to know I will not support that relationship. It'll be weird to be best man and not dance. And I'd have to give a toast and say that Bonnie's the best thing that ever happened to him. You know, she is the best thing that ever happened to him. But don't worry, Joe, I'll only refer to you as Bonnie's ex. You know, like, Bonnie has an ex, but Brian marks the spot. Oh, Peter, that's good. Thanks, babe. I hope Brian and Bonnie are as happy as us. To Brian and Bonnie! News. The teenage runaways at Table 4 were not big tippers. We just need enough money to get to Taos. That's like the capital of making and selling your own jewelry. Okay, enough about the jewelry. Do you even know how to make it? I know how to make jewelry. I just don't know how to make the metal go into shapes. Hey, you know what would be great? If you could talk with even a little bit of inflection to your voice so it doesn't sound so much like a... Power Sander? Screw you! You tweet things that aren't worth tweeting! I'm panting! That's how I sweat, you dumb bitch! No, it isn't! Dogs sweat through their paws! You're such a know-it-all, Brian! You don't even know about your own body! At least I've had an orgasm! Wow. I am sorry. Look, th th this isn't us. This is just the no food and sleeping in a car talking. We can make this work, like couples who meet on Craigslist. <laughs> See, if I make under 20 grand for 20 years, my film school debt just goes away. That's a government rule. Bonnie? Joe? How did you find me? Love is a powerful compass. Anytime I quiet my mind and clear my heart, it always leads me to you. Plus, Dirtbag here has a chip in his ear. I do? Damn it, no wonder Peter's so good at hide-and-seek. I'm sorry if you've had to put your dreams on hold because of me. Oh, Joe. But I'm here to fight for you, Bonnie. And if you're willing to come back home, I promise I'll spend the rest of my days taking care of you, just the way you've always taken care of me. Of course I want to come home, Joe. I love you. Oh, damn it! Hey, Bri, came to try that apple pie you were texting about. Oh, you're short. Kids, this morning Principal Shepard wanted to say a few words. Thank you, Mrs. Abbott. Uh, before I start, are these the normal kids or kind of the gurgur ones? It's a healthy mix. Good morning, children. It's that time of the year again to fulfill your community service requirement by signing up for volunteer work. Do we get to choose our own jobs? No, 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 no. The jobs will be assigned randomly. Peter? Brian, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I'm one of these guys now. I'm sorry, Brian! I'm sorry! Our top story tonight, we continue to track the progress of Hurricane Flozell. The National Weather Service has issued a severe hurricane advisory and is urging everyone to stay indoors for at least the next 36 hours. Are you going to be cool? Oh, yeah, I'm totally cool about that. I, I, I have a lot of friends who do it, and they're willing to do it around me all the time because they know I'm so cool about it, and I don't judge them. So, you know, go ahead. Well, here we go. I think I'm gonna be sick. Brian? I'm gonna cut my ear off to prevent World War II. Ah! Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! All right, just stay calm, Brian. You'll get through this. I mean, you got through seeing Lady Gaga naked. Okay, five minutes, Miss Gagina Big, and I will be right back with your Evian. Don't worry, Brian. I'm gonna stay by your side all night, all right? Shh, shh. Shh, there, there, there. Everything's gonna be fine. You're all right. I think I'm... I think I'm dying. Jane Fonda. Is that... Is that... Is that, is that right? Yeah, that's right, buddy. Totally Jane Fonda. Brian! Hi! The wheels on the bus. Oh, oh, oh. Wanna have sex? <laughs> I think you gave me worms, Brian. <laughs> God, you're
lip looks really weird. Can we fix that? Can, can, uh, uh, get that out of there. Ooh. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Let's get you downstairs so you can drink some water. All right, let's go, buddy. Let's get you some water. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, God, that feels so much better. You know, Brian, you may be a dog, but you're a pretty cool cat. Stewie just said that. Take it home with you. I'm bored. Yeah, this sucks. What are we supposed to do all day? Well, how about we play charades? Oh, yeah, okay, okay, me first, me first. What do you want to do now? I got an idea. How about you all sit there quietly while I make dad noises? I don't really have to go to the john. So what do you guys want to do now? Oh, hey, I know. Let's play finger bang. Bang, bang! I'm gonna finger bang you, Chris. <laughs> Not if I finger bang you first, Dad. Bang, bang! I'm gonna finger bang the two of you at the same time. Bang, bang! Hey, me too. Bang! Oh, no one wants to get finger banged by you, man. <sighs> oh, hey, I got an idea. Let's have a sing-along. Okay, I'm gonna sing the opening chase music from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Feel free to join in. <laughs> Damn it, Meg, will you stop that? That is so annoying. Oh, that was annoying? What about your stupid, obnoxious humming? Look, Meg, I don't know what your problem is. I thought Dad's humming was pretty entertaining. You know what? This is what I'm talking about. This is a perfect example. You're my brother. You're supposed to be on my side, and you're such a bastard to me. How am I a bastard? Oh, you want the full story? Meg, please. Not now, Mom. Maybe show me some kind of kindness by not jumping on the Let's Get Meg family bandwagon. Ah. All right, Meg, that's enough. You've had your little dramatic outburst. <laughs> hey, I got an idea, Mom. How about we talk about Chris's mother, huh? Meg seems to think she's taking some kind of stand here that's gonna make us all feel like we're inadequate. My God, you're condescending! Jeez, look at those two. They're going at each other like an Italian guy and a black woman. Hey, you can't park here! Excuse me? Look, the bottom line here, Meg, is that you're just taking your own problems out on everyone else. Oh, my problems? Oh, I see. Is this coming from my role model mother? The shoplifter, the drug addict, the porn star, the whore who let Gene Simmons and Bill Clinton go to town on her? Oh, so what? Who is? Oh, not only are you not the perfect mother, you're the farthest thing from. From the moment you gave birth to me, I had to trust you. I had no choice. I needed you to protect me from the world, to, to be my guide, to help me navigate the difficult... <laughs> oh, wow, everybody's already tweeting Stewie just said that. Uh, you're right. You're right, I'm a terrible mother. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry, Meg. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, God, I have no excuse. I just have this horrible, overwhelming desire to point out faults in you. I don't know where it comes from. It may be it's because I'm self-conscious about being a bad parent. I'm just, I'm so disgusted with my behavior, and, and I'm so sorry, Meg. Yeah, you're a bitch. Oh, God, is she gonna do me next? You are completely selfish and totally irresponsible as a father. All right, I see what's going on here. You're in love with your old man. You have no education, you have no interest, you just do whatever reckless thing you want to do, whenever you want to do it, without regard for anyone else. You're a fat, lazy, abusive, blue-collar Irish Catholic dad who drinks way too much and barely makes enough money to support his family. You've lived half your life and you have nothing to show for it. Your only arguable accomplishments are your kids. And look at us. We're a disaster. Hey, watch it. Have either of you guys been listening to me? Do you both just...
just have your heads up your asses? Dad did. Look, he's got crap on his ears. That's unrelated. Chris, I don't like that language. Well, I don't like your cooking. Well, I don't like having to literally empty the farts out of your pockets whenever I do your laundry. You eat all my Dan and yogurts. I don't see your name on them. You don't even like them, but you know I do, and you don't want me to have them. You know, I've never confronted you on it, but I've often thought the same thing, Peter. Yeah, that's exactly what he does, because he's a selfish, fat idiot. You shut up, all of you. Pretty cool the way you finally stood up to everybody. <sighs> I don't know, Brian. I, I mean, I, I meant every word of it, but you saw what happened. What do you mean? They all turned on each other like a pack of wolves. Well, so what? That's not your problem. Do you think it's possible that you mean that, Brian? Absolutely. Mom? Dad? <laughs> Dad? Go away! Dad, come out of there. No! I don't deserve no better than living with the shoe! You don't deserve it. None of you have done anything wrong. I took all my problems out on you guys, and that wasn't fair. Oh, so this was all about you. It wasn't about us. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. See, I thought it was weird that I was a bad dad. Meg, how could you put us all through that? Jackal! 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 It's a jackal! Jackal! Time! It wasn't right the first time you said it. Why the hell would it be right the next ten times? Don't miss the Seriously Wicked Bull Run in South Attleboro, Mass. You and your friends can run from a bunch of live bulls, and lots of times there's a chick whose boob comes out. Hey, Joe, wasn't this you around? Sure. I'll wheel over to the bar and bring back your beers one by one in my lap. You guys, we are so doing that bull run. You know, some people are okay with the drive through car wash. Me? I'm a fan of the hand job. Hi, I'm Brian. Yes, I like to have fun with language. Maybe we could grab lunch and then see what happens. Ugh. This will not end well, like eating an artichoke. Look, Joe, we didn't want to tell you, but we're going to the seriously wicked bull run. We didn't invite you because we didn't think you could keep up. Come on, my handicap has never held me back. I'm coming with you guys. Joe, you peed in your bag while you said that. Wow, that was amazing. Hey, I, uh, just to be clear, I don't really think you're a whore. Oh, crap. My husband's home early. Wait a minute, you're married? And he's here? Now? <laughs> You got a dog? Uh, yeah. I rescued him from the pound. Oh my god, that was close. Yeah, but think about it. As long as he thinks you're our new pet, we can keep fooling around behind his back. We clearly overdressed. They have the type of fat white woman here that not even I am interested in. Ah, I shouldn't have worn high heels. Oh, stop it. You look great. Oh, well, I didn't want all this attention. This is amazing! I told you guys I could do it! Oh my god! Joe's completely paralyzed! Oh, that's me. You guys, I've been trying to keep my birthday a secret. No, Dr. Hartman, we're not here for your birthday. We're here for Joe. I'm afraid of ghosts. And yes, Mr. Swanson has lost all movement and will require around-the-clock care. I'm leaving Joe and moving to Europe. I didn't sign up for this. Buddy, wait. God, this is awful. What am I going to do? Coming up, quintuplets born at Quahog General. What? That's, oh, that's supposed to be burn? Oh. Wow, he really has no idea. Hey, want to take a shower with me? Sure. Hello, Daft Punk. Great song. Here's a Grammy. There you go, Joe. All settled. Now, which wall would you like to look at for the rest of your life? I don't know. Maybe that one. So before we go, I'm going to put the remote in your mouth. What are you talking about? He's fine. Look, he's already watching The Price is Right in there. Oh, he's biting too hard on the volume. Brian? What are you doing on a leash? And who's that? Shh, be cool. This is the guy whose wife I'm banging. Oh, what a romantic way to put it. Joe, you can't just sit here. You need intellectual stimulation. So I brought something to read to you. Look, this whole page is all the Wayans brothers sitting in different positions. How you suppose they come up with all their positions? You enjoying all this, Joe? I'm honestly just glad it seems like you have something you like. Mm. Oh, come on. I don't want to have to watch this. Uh, you know what? Screw this. I'm out of here. You're my dog. You're not going anywhere. I need you, boy. 
Now more than ever. I think my wife is cheating on me. God, what a nightmare. That guy's even scarier than a thesaurus thesaurus. Peter, this just isn't working. We can't take proper care of Joe. It's a huge amount of work, and we don't have any idea what we're doing. And we've reserved a place for him at the state home for mentals and bastards. Oh, my God. Sometimes they whip him with hoses. Yeah, this is Joe Swanson. We arranged for a 915 dump off. Go on, guys. Get out of here. I'll be fine. You know, that, that state home we left Joe in didn't seem so bad. Yeah, it's got to be good. I mean, Napoleon Bonaparte was there. Half a bath. Housing for registered sex offenders. Ah. He's lost his mind. That's why I'm going to go stay with my mother in Baltimore and work at her wife's bar. Wait, what? Tori, come back! You gotta help me. Her husband's a maniac, and the only reason he hasn't killed me is because he thinks I'm just his pet dog. Yeah, yeah, Joe. Yeah, ma yeah maybe. Maybe. Do you, uh, you, you want a back rub? Peter, what's going on? We may or may not have put Joe in a smelly home for the goofy. What? Peter, those places are a horror show. Oh, hello, sir. I'm afraid there's been a mistake. I believe you found our dog, and we need to take him home. No way. Get lost, kid. Give these kids their dog back. Of course, sir. I'm so sorry. Here, take him. Thank you. You're a great American. What are you guys doing here? We came to bring you home, Joe. We're all really sorry we abandoned you. Sorry, no one gets out of here without a release from their doctor. All right, we'll just call him right now. Holy crap! Dr. Hartman must have dropped his phone in Joe when he was looking at his spine. It turns out Dr. Hartman's cell phone was pressing on my spinal cord, and that's what was causing my total paralysis. Many of my customers are your mommies and daddies. Jimmy Hopkins, your mother had awful postpartum depression after you were born. Thank you. Cool. I want to be a pharmacist. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Goldman. And our final speaker is Mr. Peter Griffin. Boo! Why, you little snot -nosed... Mr. Griffin. He plays kickball in the park after school. Get him there. So does anyone have any questions? And now here's Ollie Williams with the Blackie Weather Forecast. Ollie? It's go rain! Thanks, Ollie. Peter, how was your big presentation at Chris's class? It was a huge waste of time. Well, it couldn't have been that bad. It was terrible. Peter, if you're not satisfied, then be more assertive. Invite Mr. Weed over for dinner and show him what you have to offer the company. Come over to my house for dinner Friday night. Huh, that wasn't so hard. Well, what time? Uh, I don't know, 7.38? God, I hope that thing doesn't happen where I get nervous and I can't control the volume of my voice. Hello, Peter. How are you? Fine! State your names. Meg. Chris. And I'm Liesl. Mr. Weed, the Griffin children would like to say goodnight to you. Goodbye. would think that a woman with such beauty would also have the culinary skills of Emeril Lagasse. Ah, oh, well, thank you. Uh, so, uh, what, what kind of a name is Weed? They gave it to my grandfather on Ellis Island. Our original name was Bermuda Grass. I would like to promote you to head of toy development. <coughs> All right, let's not panic. Nobody even knows about this yet. Police! Random dead body search. Just, just stall him, Lois! Uh, hey, did someone choke on a roll in here? Oh, no, 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 I, I, I spit it up. Oh. I'm Leonard Hale, Mr. Weed's lawyer. We found this tape among Mr. Weed's personal effects with instructions that it be screened immediately following his funeral. The happy-go-lucky toy factory shall be torn down to make way for the happy-go-lucky terminal disease institute. <laughs> oh, sorry, we're out of towels. Uh, let, let me get that for you, sir. <sighs> Has Dad found a permanent job yet? Meg, your father's going through a bit of a career transition. He's just sampling a few things. Peter, get in the car! Okay, but it'll cost you. What do you want, a Cleveland steamer? I said get in the car! What's a Cleveland steamer? If I hadn't pushed you so hard to invite Mr. Weed to dinner, he'd still be alive and you'd still have your job. Don't worry, Lois. We'll get through this. Well, I've saved some money from teaching piano, and I say this is the perfect time for you to pursue that dream. Really? Yes! Wow. I'm gonna do it, Lois. I'm gonna realize my dream. I am gonna be a Renaissance Fair jousting. Oh, Peter. Oh, egg salad. Have a good time. I'll try. What is it? It's a cheeseburger. <laughs> I wandered around for hours and somehow ended up at the Renaissance Fair. I can fly! Oh, my God. The path to knighthood is paved with strength and nobility, not LSD and sideburns. 
I want it to be a knight like him. You all think you got what it takes to be jousters? Well, if you're gonna joust, you gotta want it. Let me hear your war cry. Uh, uh. You find something funny, maggot? Sir, no, sir. You love the Middle Ages, don't you? Sir, yes, sir. Welcome, apprentices. <gasps> it's him. Look alive, ladies. Allow me to introduce the best of the best. I, I, I don't know if you remember, but uh, when I was a kid, you helped me get my life back on the right path. Ah! Damn it! Hey, you, drunky. Yes, that's right. I'm calling you drunky, and there's nothing you can do about it because I'm pretty. Ah! Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go practice. There you go. Jeez, freaking perverts. Madeline! Go wait in the Hyundai. What's, what's your problem, BK? I don't like you. I don't like your face, and I don't like you hanging around my girl. I don't ever want to see you here again. Peter, what are you doing? I spent hours soldering that costume for you. I don't need it anymore, Lois. And we were all set to come see a joust today. You were so excited to be on the same field as the Black Knight. Well, I'm gonna be watching it from the stands, Lois. Hey, how you doing there, big guy? You holding up all right? It looks like the Black Knight is out of challengers and is once again undefeated. Hey, what's your fat ass doing here? Hey, we're just watching, all right? I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble if you don't beat it. Listen, buddy. You... I said get lost. Uh, uh, to the owner of a yellow Hyundai, your car is being towed. What? Take that, you bastard! Nobody makes a fool out of more Goldman! Spectacular performance, maggot! Remember that episode of The Honeymooners when Ralph lost his job, but at the end of the show he didn't get it back? Oh, yeah, what was up with that? That, that bugged the crap out of me. Ah, the record store. Full of the greatest albums of all time and the employees who hate every one of them. He had the good sense to die before we could see him at the Pachanga Casino and go, Oh, my God, that's him? What's your name? Jim Morrison, light my fire. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait, what'd you just say? Say that again. Light my fire? Yeah, that. Easily manipulated runaway coming through. Screw you guys. I'm following that lady and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm Charles Manson. What's your name? Jim Morrison. Kill Sharon Tate. Wait a minute. What did you just say? Say that again. Well, Jim, I'm flattered you broke into my home, but I have a serious boyfriend and I think you should leave. But I'm a rock star. The caterpillar. A tiny hair snake? Nay because of his many, many legs. Now, I do have a boyfriend, but I'm also a free spirit. That's my fun little way of saying I'm a slut. Oh, Jim. Call me the Lizard King. <sighs> the only thing that calmed his nerves was what everyone was using back then. Strawberry Nesquik. Drink! Uh-oh. <laughs> my butt's stuck in the pants. Hello, I'm someone with no knowledge of music who is somehow controlling the music industry. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. We're here to make an album, not a poster. <laughs> She's beloved by everyone close to me and prides herself on not messing with a good thing. I'm just gonna get out of the way and let you guys do your music. You won't even know I'm here. You guys want to see something? You want to see if it's as big as they say it is? Like every man who can't find his penis, Jim Morrison moved to Paris. I'ma educate y'all on the greatest rocker of all time. Delta Blues man, Muddy Drawers. They all had to share one room and one mustache. That one guitar string was also the family belt. Toby Maguire's kid goes there. You see him sometimes dropping off. Not all the time, but sometimes. Sign here and you'll be the greatest guitar player who ever lived. All it'll cost you is your soul. So Buddy went out and created a new sound. The sound of rock and roll. Ah, oh, damn, which one's a Chinese one? That's probably it. You stop.
I make bing bong. Every bing bong, two cents. What you want? Uh, yeah, I'm here to pick up my cleaning. Bye, Patty. Bye, Esther. Bye, overzealous Asian kids lining up to be the first ones in school tomorrow. Uh, go away. No time to say bye. <laughs> I pass you because you lose focus. Damn, lost focus. Life over. <laughs> And the worst thing is that he he's not even a douche. He's a he's a nice guy. I like him. Oh honey, that sounds awful. I know what'll cheer you up. You wanna scratch my pet rabbit Steven on his nose with your index finger? I like rabbits cause you can pull their ears back and make them look like Asian people. Da na 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 Give me color! Give me redis! Well, I suppose that makes sense. I guess it could take Peter a long time to find a job in this economy. Well, it may not be that bad, Lois. I could see about getting back my old job as a police sketch artist. Now, did you get a look at the man who assaulted you? I did. Okay, can I get a description? Yeah, he was probably around 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Which is it, 5'9 or 5'10"? I'd say 5'10". Okay, we'll go 5'9 and a half. And now, how old was he? Late 30s, maybe 37. Uh, I don't know, anywhere between 35 and 40. Okay, well, let's say 37. How, how about ethnicity? Yeah, he was Asian-American. Asian-American. We talking Korean? We talking Thai? We talking Vietnamese? Maybe Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but but I, I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any any marks, piercings? He may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted you? Yeah, we could really turn this place around. Play our cards right, it could be bigger than the Apollo Theater. All right, now. Next up, we got the comedy stylings of Kim Lee Sung. Give it up. How you doing tonight? So you ever notice when two black guys come in your convenience store and one go one way and one go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? <laughs> you stay out my store. All you stay out my store. I remember your face. So it's weird being Japanese. Last night, my husband wanted 69. I said, why do you want beef and broccoli now? Hey, that's Chinese. Oh, damn it. Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm deaf. Sorry, dude. Super deaf. You're done. So, what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a deaf dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. Hey, you guys noticed how many Asians there are at this school? I mean, how'd they all get so smart? I don't know. Guess that's just the way God made them. Gentlemen, I give you... The Asian. Ooh. Compact, hairless, and fiercely intelligent. The penises, while tiny, are extremely efficient. We're projecting 10 billion within five years. Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. Do they eat just, like, regular food? <laughs> no, 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 the opposite. 